Oh my goodness, we made it. Holy holidays, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone joining us on the live stream and everyone watching the replay. Gosh, I am joined by my co hosts, Jethro Bot and Smilex. How are we doing, guys? Hi there, everyone. I'm very good. Thank you. You sound That's well. Weird. We're doing excellent. Um, before the broadcast, we failed to discuss which one of us would be Barbara and which one would be Jay. I think well, I'm being a Barbara right now. My legs are wearing the dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your avatars get cuter every episode. Man. <laughs> well, I don't, know. I don't know if I can be lower. Okay, I'll be Jay. I'll, I'll just, be Jay. I'll be Jay. <laughs> just, just increase your volume. Just, uh, I don't, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Just talk over the rest of us. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, someone's got to do it. <laughs> Very cool. So, uh, uh, Jeff, being the only other American on the show, mm -hmm. uh, did you do anything oh, wow. for Thanksgiving? Uh, for clarification, I'm Texan, uh, but uh, oh, I'm sorry, I did. I'm sorry. I did want to make sure I took in a turkey, uh, which was uh, King Kong versus Godzilla. Um, nice. Which has a ridiculous uh, businessman villain, um, a completely laughable King Kong, yes. and like an insane amount of blackface, native blackface, you know, oh, done that's by. Right. Yeah. It is yeah. like, whoa, daddy, you know? <laughs> A little too much yeah. foundation there. And yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Smilex, how's your week been? My week's been pretty good. Yeah, I've survived another one. It's incredible. I don't know why, because my work tries to kill me at least once a week. Um, I, I find myself with, with new cuts, bruises, and uh, and little little things wrong with me every single night. But never mind that. I make it. It's like I've come out of here like a Vietnam vet veteran. But uh, uh, as long I as it's it go. swinging, that's cool. <laughs> well, I hope it works out for you. Thank you. I'm very happy about your new schedule for personal reasons. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I do enjoy it. This is this is the highlight of my week. Is that sad or is it good? That's sad. Yeah, it is, isn't it? it I'm, yeah, you're right. It's sad. <laughs> but we're happy to have you as always. You. I'm glad you can make it on the regular, and you're <laughs> you're now an uh, honorary host. So wow. Uh, Barbara Lawrence is out tonight, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, she's got some severe bronchitis going on. Uh, Jay may be showing up a little bit later. Uh, he's doing the holiday thing. Um, one of my horrible cats is here, so oh. that's good. Phineas, knock it off. He's just saying how we all feel about Barbara's absence. Oh, look at everybody in the chat. Hey, Gemma. Hey, Amelia. Thank you for making it. Hi, Laura. Without any further ado, let's bring out our first guest, the uninspired reviewer, all the way from 48 hours of a coma. <laughs> yeah, speaking of cats, there you go. One of the ones on the panel. I think he was calling for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He he sensed my presence. You know, our, our people, we know each other. We feel each other. That's how it is. <laughs> He's a big fan. <laughs> Loves the dead video. I, I oh. Heard. <laughs> now there you go yeah. everyone's a critic <laughs> i know right <laughs> he wants outside real bad I'm not How happy are you guys doing tonight <laughs> oh we're good we're good it's nice. been a weird day but um you know happy for our end of the week therapy session oh yeah, yeah. Kind, kind of like smilex these are my highlights of my off weeks of two hoes i just oh. you know, it's it's a relaxing. Mm. You just come and watch a shitty movie and you just phone it in. <laughs> <laughs> Tom has some thoughts as joined us. Hey Tom, really hey, Tom. appreciate you showing up. Mm. And, yeah, I have, oh yeah. I have a glass of uh very cheap Italian wine. It's called Il Bastardo. I thought that was appropriate. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't get a French mm -hmm. wine, you know. Oh the French. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Make me pull the up. Italian have a way of making a cheap red wine. Now, nah. <laughs> Amelia's after your dress. Hey, <laughs> oh, smack it off! Meow. Oh God, I'm gonna kick him out if he doesn't stop. Also joining us tonight, the one, the only. 
Canadian Firestorm Brown Magic Bonus Hole Vex Electronica is here. Why, hello, everyone. Wow. You're looking <laughs> very manly. What's going on there? Uh, well, for for since it's Friday, I figure it would be more appropriate to change my avatar. So for today, I am Sex Electronica, and this is mm. my Henry Cavill Cowboy avatar. I man, Cavill is <laughs> looking at me so so mad. It looks like he wants yeah. to eat me, man. I, think I know. I it's, it's nice, right? Mm. <laughs> Got a little Wolverine going on there. It's good to I feel know. desired by Cavill. Yeah, yeah, we know who the new. We know who the young Debs is in this group, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> it definitely, it definitely seems like Ernest is thrilled to be looking at this happen. You know, like, I, he's like I'm not a young man. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you for having me back, guys. It's a pleasure to be here. How is everyone? I'm good. Weird, yeah. but good as usual. I mean, why no weird but good? Did someone finger you today? Is that why? Whoa! 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Just means oh, pointing I, you out. Am I pointing you out in the lineup after midnight? Is that it? After yeah. midnight, we're okay. <laughs> uh, I don't. It's think like I, now you can. Yeah, yeah, you can do a finger. It's like it. It's like a game of guess who, you know. You want to get that that finger card up or down, you know. Like, <laughs> was there a finger? No. Okay. It was Vex in the parlor with the finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my! Mm. <laughs> well, anytime you want to be here, Vex, we are happy to have you. I know your schedule is very, very booked in advance, but uh, you've always got a chair here. If I if I didn't work on Saturday. Days, I would be here literally every Friday, but oh. I work Saturday morning, mm. so I can't. What's your job? Yeah. <sighs> you know Man, what? You're kind of like me. I, I I don't come on here whenever I have two hosts on the next Saturday because this is at like three a.m. There you yeah, go. I know, I know, it's rough, but uh, we appreciate it very much. I did not pre-watch the movie this time, by the way. Oh, <laughs> you I, it because I didn't time? have no. time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I had to see what a movie with Frankie Valley and Klaus Kinski, Frankie Avalon, to, or Frankie Avalon, right? Yeah. Not Frankie Valley. Well, you know, they're uh, kind of the same person. I'm sure he morphs into Frankie Valley at some point. <laughs> Zax is in the chat. Hello, my brother. Hey, Amelia. hey Zax. All right. Um, yeah, Klaus Kinski is a peak performance in this movie like peak weirdness um yeah i don't want to spoil it but it is a uh, one hell of a cameo and i think at this time in his life he's doing what would cause him to be the mad part of mad genius later on yes this no. is the descent into uh, <laughs> genius i guess yeah uh, he's dressed a little bit like smilex in this episode mm. <laughs> excellent <Yeah. laughs> look forward to that yeah, there's some. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. Do we have more lesbian propaganda today as well? No, but we there, do. there's always closeted gayness in, in in any of these streams. Any anything that we watch, there's someone coming Beautiful. out of the closet every Beautiful. time. All right, you know, if we just hold the thought in our hearts, maybe we'll see women <laughs> initiate women in some way sometime tonight. So just well, keep that. Keep that with you, women I, initiating women. I do. Just think about it. I'll and all pray. my waking hours, not just for the show. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure. I am not surprised. Klaus Kinski, well, you know me from back in the day. So, yeah. Klaus Kinski uh, will not disappoint in that department. And uh, there is a lot of softcore, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? SM torture I and stuff. Uh, are, are you for real? <laughs> what the right fuck? Now? So should yes. I be putting a towel down uh, this evening? I don't know why you would ever go without one, knowing you as well as I do. But... Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm watching some sort of softcore S and M thing with Vex. This yeah. is the highlight of my life. <laughs> Never mind my week. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a shamwow, something that's like super absorbent. Maybe some Pampers. I got some Depends going. You know, it's the only thing that really catches it all. <laughs> Jay's on holiday, but he might be here later. Black Lives, thanks for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> Woo wee! Uh, what are we at? Are we at fifteen minutes yet? I can't find the clock. Well, that's if... the hallmark of a great conversation, right there. 
Yeah. Can I find Second, the cop? Check out my watch. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> Here's the outro. <laughs> it's usually right on the StreamYard page, but I don't see it. Never mind. Oh. Uh, it, does anyone uh, want to add anything special? Any uh, Anything you want to plug or any uh, appearances? I mean, there are mind? people I'd like to plug, but it's not uh, past midnight yet. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if, you haven't, if you haven't done it already, go and look at um, Uninspired's uh, review of um, uh, The Night Nightmare Before Christmas. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed hey. that last week. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, man, Nightmare Before I'm I'm more of a corpse bride person. I kept saying that too. During, during the review. It's like, yeah, yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas is cool, but corpse bride is cooler. I'm kind I, of I'm exhausted a, I'm about you. Nightmare. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah, kind of burned out on it. I really like James and the Giant Peach. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, such an underrated one in all honesty. You know, I love that. I mean, movie. at I first I was disappointed because you know that title to me really suggests something else, but <laughs> You could eat a peach for hours, and you could eat that peach for days. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> you could eat that one for a lifetime, at all. So, hey, oh. <laughs> oh boy, we are we're in the groove, guys. The I'm groove. writing it down. I'm writing that one down. <laughs> I have a question. I do have a question. If you uh, intend to give someone the uh, popcorn surprise in a movie theater, and they're like, "No, thank you." Do you just continue to eat the popcorn? Or... I will. No, I will. you force them what happens? into the surprise. You do. Otherwise, it's all for naught. You force them. That's like $8, them. bro. I'm eating that popcorn. No, no. Damn. I, I yes, true. Popcorn is expensive as fuck. I think we have the movie for you. I, I think you're at the right movie tonight. If, if the answer is you force you force them to enjoy the popcorn. There's going to be a lot more scissoring than popcorn tonight. <laughs> oh. I promise you that. <laughs> Uh, do we do we have any drinking rules? No, just drink. That's the okay. Rule. That's that's fine. Um, <laughs> Tom it. has some thoughts for Uninspired. Uh, what do you think about Coraline? I'm a huge You've never fan. seen never seen Coraline. Oh, it's very Fire. good. Very it's good. Ever. It's ever. Oh my god! I've never dude. even seen a clip of Coraline. It's like craft porn. Like the yeah. the, the amount of work that went into yeah, that movie, stunning. I know really that like uh, Coraline is what put uh, Laika on the map, but I've, yes. I've never because uh, I never had the opportunity to watch it as a kid, and then as an adult, I fell in love with the uh, Paranorman, and right. I've just been rewatching Paranorman ever since instead of going and watching Coraline. Bro, mm. get Coraline, get it, get and, a physical uh, copy of it. You can get it with three D glasses, even. It's amazing. no, dude, don't worry, I can get like it. Your whiskers, <laughs> trust yeah. us. In <laughs> India. Yeah, I'll see. I'll see. I'll see it. I'll, I'll probably watch it this week. I'll probably watch it after the stream, maybe. Okay. Well, I I cannot recommend it enough. It's definitely in my top twenty as far as like the just the craftsmanship that went into it is mind blowing. Absolutely mm. mind blowing. Is the story any good? Yes, very good, very very good, good. and yeah. creepy and cool in all the right places. I actually had a chance to go to the comic book museum in San Francisco and see some of the uh, the actual miniatures, the models and the puppets mm. that they used. And mm. Huge, that's cool. Just how beautiful. big? Like how big are they? Like what's the what? Like uh maybe one twelfth scale. The Coraline figure is about six inches tall. Something mm. like that. Um, but they're insanely detailed. I watched all of the behind the scenes stuff over and over because I was doing that kind of work back then. And yeah. there is a woman, like a, a 50, 60 year old woman, knitting sweaters for Coraline with sewing needles. It Jesus. is insane. It's wow. just insane. The way I, I, I've never seen Nine. Uh, I actually ha have had a copy of it forever, but have never gotten around to that watching it. That one's really good, too. I, yeah, I, me too, actually. I'm with you. I've had it for, for years, and I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I haven't watched yeah. it either. Oh, my God, you guys. You have homework. Yeah. homework. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll write it down. I'll write it down. I did go see Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm watching it next week. It only comes out next week. Over well, on the 29th, yeah. it comes out in France, which is fucking yeah. annoying. So I'm gonna watch Napoleon. I was supposed to go watch it yesterday, but my dad would wanted to cook beef Wellingtons, and he was like, <laughs> "We're gonna be, we're gonna be late. It's That's either we go to the cinema on time, 
and you just eat like normal uh beef or either i make beef wellingtons and we go to the cinema tomorrow and i was like that's very fuck it. that's a very appropriate meal to have before you go see napoleon isn't it beef wellington. <laughs> also you, how is it that you, the british have got this film before the french that's ridiculous yeah. <laughs> you uh oh, yeah. You weren't going to consider sneaking the Wellington in? I mean, <laughs> I mean how, how, how difficult could that be? Get a baby uh, stroller? I don't know. Uh, yes, Amelia, I can cook. My my dad my dad is a professional chef, so he he yeah. has taught me a bit. Nice. So yeah. your dad is a chef as well as a casino nice. owner. I want to date this man. <laughs> <laughs> in this dress, I reckon I've got a chance. <laughs> All right, Smilex, you're closer. Let me know how Thank it is. You. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, doors open. I'm I'm here anyways. So. <laughs> oh man, what a great dad! That's awesome. My dad can barely <laughs> make hamburger helper. Uh, dude, my dad's hamburgers are the best hamburgers I've ever had in my life, and mm. this is unbiased, like seriously yeah. unbiased. And uh, yeah, my dad is ha happily married. Well, he's married. I don't know if it's happily. That's <laughs> after him. Yeah. You don't talk about that during dinner. No, my dad. My dad made a mean kettle of choy. You know, it's <laughs> it's made with dragon fire. Did you know that dragon, dragon fire. fire? Never saw the crispy noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I am so in love with those commercials. Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah, I, mean, I can see why my dad was always buying that stuff. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Jim Henson compels you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Good. Good stuff. Let's get into this movie. Um, Vex, do you have your seatbelt on? I don't. I don't wear seatbelts. It takes the edge off. Uh, yeah, I need that edge. You know, she it's the only the thing. Danger. Yeah, <laughs> only thing that gets me going these days. So. Yeah, the only thing Next. that can hold her down is Henry Cavill. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <Next I'm> <laughs> or a room full of uh, butch lesbians. You know, whenever Vex drives, <laughs> instead of instead of a seat belt, you just have Henry Cavill's arm that descends over oh, her chest. It's like, oh, oh my yeah, god, that's Don't, it. Oh my I, god. Now why, I feel why? safe. Oh no! Why have you done this to me? Why have yeah. you? Oh, why have you put that image in my head? I feel <laughs> like oh. if if you chop his arm off, his arm ceases to be sexy. I mean, right? <laughs> no, no, that's it. Still works for me. I can. It, I can it depends. It. it depends on the state of decay. You know, you never know. <laughs> Oh yeah. man, I was watching uh Get a shellac the, it. the uh MST Turkey Marathon. Uh I've been watching it for two days now. Sweet the turkey marathon. The, okay, yeah. so, so they do a Thanksgiving marathon every year where they show like 24 episodes. It's about 48 hours long. They do a little stretching out in between the breaks or whatever, but they show some of their best stuff. And it's just a oh. marathon, it just goes on and on and on. Um, you can watch it on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure where you can watch it on their website, which is this very confusing thing called like Gizmoplex, and there's also MST3K.com. But that's a yearly thing. It's every like Wednesday night through Friday afternoon, Friday night uh, mm. marathon. It's really fun. It's like great that's background cool. stuff if you're working or whatever. Uh, Mr. Brown spaceship st uh, streams are a marathon, aren't they? They're about 15 hours long. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that way. <laughs> Robocop definitely felt that way. Uh, <laughs> any Star Wars movie is going to take eight weeks or something True. like that. <laughs> All righty, you're gonna see you're gonna see your boy Kinski. You're gonna see your boy Kinski in a big way. <laughs> I brought it tonight. I brought it for yeah. the holidays. Um, he's a, he's a coming. I was really happy to be able to get a remastered Cinemascope copy in hd is this is a beautiful print slash it really is file. yeah and um i don't know who did it if it was shout factory or who but um god bless them for putting this on the internet and it's copyright yeah. free maybe yeah. so the stream uh, isn't going to crash yeah. and get claimed again is it well not yet it will it's but already, not, it's maybe already not been on one. yeah it's already been on youtube for a while like right so yeah, it has been for a little bit. Well, I mean the uh, the like the pan scan, like the terrible old print that uh, MST three K originally did. But uh, yeah. you know, I don't even a... know who who tracks these things on YouTube because last time I was looking for my zombie list and I found the entire two thousand and four Dawn of the Dead movie for free on YouTube. Oh, I was like, what crap. the fuck? I bet that's not still there. No way. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, yes. 
Amelia, there are a lot of strong female characters, and they're scantily clad, mostly. But they're going to kill people, and it's going to be great. Amen. All right. It's also going to get weird, so it gets weird quick. Klaus Kinski. <laughs> it's kind of a synonym for weirdness. Yeah. Let's dive in, shall we? Let's do it. Ready. Oh, my God. A movie in color. <laughs> A treat. Well, Technicolor. <laughs> Aspect ratio. This was filmed at the Shaw Brothers Studios. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. It's not one of their movies, but it was filmed there. They got uh, C-3PO in there. <laughs> Just the, the, the parade. This is pride. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're proud of, but it's this, it's this is the mo monochrome in the day. Be <laughs> you can carry big logs. <laughs> I had heard that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can store them for a short period. Damn, bro, these old guys are being overworked. Yeah. This oh, Chinese guys? No, never. Man in the world. Ugh! Yeah. How's the volume for everybody? For me, it's good. Okay. It's good. Let's see. It's fuck shit up a clock. <laughs> Man, her, her eyes are... Uh... Damn! <gasps> Death out of funeral. I have a million eyes. For I don't know why you would open the movie with her face, but they did. Yeah, it kind of looks like she's dabbed come on her entire face. It's so pale and weird. I, I, <laughs> I have an allergy to frosted lipstick. I really do. Frankie Avalon. Georgia yeah. Lindo. These are two wild, <laughs> wacky guys right here. Shirley Eaton. Are we all doing the, the accents? Klaus <laughs> Kinski. Ah, I do like Wilfred Hyde White. <laughs> Wilfred Hyde White, right? Who wait Wait, with the slaves of Sumeru? Huh? What? Yeah, this is amazing already. <laughs> and Joe Suzu. Johnny Sukoto. Oh, too many names. Too many names. Oh. Williams, who I mean, yes, Zach, I'm doing it right now. I mean, look, <laughs> Alan Morrison, no, Terry Burke, Tony Way, you know, my legs already has that little uh, Chong Sam on, so. <laughs> <laughs> and as per tradition, my uh, my lips don't match what I'm actually saying. <laughs> <laughs> I've also got a hairy Allen Tower. Whoa. 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 whoa, 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 You guys are all That is tonight. not how you, you're hurting the boat. Stop. Is this like the highest budget movie we've ever watched on B-Side? Uh, For real. Possibly. Quite possibly. I'll do Mail the math camera, later. Man. Like the low angles in that dress. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> well, so the exactly. ultra wide angle lens too. Is like the yeah, is cool. the entire scenery. It's, it's great. Yeah, Composition it's... is good. Cinemascope or something like it. I am so happy. How you this, honor the gods. This print is on YouTube. I'm just thrilled to find it. I was about to say this doesn't yeah. look like the same woman. <laughs> they show like five different ones. I'm so There's... embarrassed. We all wore the same dress. <laughs> yeah. that, uh, the, the James Bond one. You know the one where he goes to the ski resort. I forget the name of uh, of the movie. Well, oh, oh wait, you missed that. Nosferatu is here. Wow, we are nice. honored. What's yeah, OHMS, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, Majesty no, 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 it's not, no, it's not Majesty Secret Service. We just go to Ski Lodge in that one. <laughs> yeah, they do, but uh, there's it's a Ski Lodge, but it's basically a like a mental institution, I guess. And there's like a girl from each culture, so there's a black girl, which is, you know, a bit racist because they have her eating bananas. <laughs> they get, <laughs> seriously, they have the Asian one eating rice, which is weird too. Nost, have you seen this movie? Let me know in the chat. 
I mean, in all fairness, the birth of your Ew. child is not that big of a deal. Anyone can do it. Hobos do it. You know. Congratulations <laughs> on your unprotected sex. Yeah. <laughs> this movie probably is better. Listen, if this is how I died, I'd be Whoa. happy. I won't even lie. She is pissed. Yeah. She thought it was Black Staten Day. The girls <laughs> lied to me. I'm saving this one for you guys. Hell, is that Bill Carradine? Well, this oh is uh, this is how I plan to kill my husband if I ever need to take him out. So <laughs> I think he'd be happy, honestly. Oh, if I exactly. go out this way, like I'm good. Yeah, Nas, I know you're kind of a Kinski fan. You bantered about it. <laughs> See? I agree with you, Amelia. They aren't racist at all. No. Right. No, stereotypes aren't racist. Stereotypes are just from reason. <gasps> St Damn. Wow. Stuff like that makes me want suicide to be legalized, you know? like <laughs> It is in Canada, so <laughs> come on up. Go. Yeah. <laughs> it's encouraged. Yeah. I mean, yeah. hell, you go to Canada with a paper cut in the hospital, they'll just be like, yeah, you prefer dying or <laughs> what? That was quick, Zach. Yeah. That was like take 52, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I insist on one more, please. <laughs> yeah, that's the director on the floor. I would be too. <laughs> Like the scene is essential to the plot. It's like, Definitely. Damn. Oh, hello. He gets up and he's like, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. dress. Oh, it's a no, bagel. Not. Ladies, that's... I thought it was magenta Ladies, day. <laughs> on Wednesday, we were Carry that. <laughs> the report is sufficient for our lady to go to Italy. Hey, Eraserhead. Thanks for coming. Part. It appears we are in danger. A girl. It looks like a like an old sci-fi show, you know the composition. Yeah, it feels like a Jerry Anderson live action or something. She has fallen in love. Only the only the brunettes I find attractive. Look at that! I'm a fan of blondes. The girl in the foreground really looked like a Cookie in a Female Trouble. <laughs> We have are you trying to convert me? Like, are we actually going to have to play the lesbian propaganda? Damn. Time? Look oh, at all these women! Just, 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 just wait. Just wait. They know what to do with the insolent young Deb. <laughs> Have I ever disappointed my guests? Come on. We well, told you it was Black Bikini Day. Black Bikini Day. <laughs> now you pay the price. Fire! Down, woman. One of them has left a pipe at the, on the beach, I think. Yeah. She does look genuinely confused as to what they're going to do when they catch They didn't tell her what am they were going to do on set. Am I, am I... Yeah. Uh. That's, how, that's how I wanted to be baptized. And you know what they said to me? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they straight up killed her. Holy shit. Man, she died really pretty good. quick. Yellow is out, bitches. <laughs> so long, Deb. Man, they should really take the body, because you know what they say, man. Someone's trash is another man's treasure. You don't know oh! what to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's Peter's Square. Oh, hey, Jay. What's up, Jay? Hi, Jay. Jay's, Jay's doing a callback. You know, I'd love to see those pallets <laughs> be turned into some pallets. I mean, damn, look at this big hair. I talked about this in my models review, man. Big Minus hair died one. Out. Good standards. She's dead, so I take that back. <laughs> that girls don't say no. Yes, the CIA does give us an hour or two off now and then. CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, remember? An hour or two off now, that's a job. Yeah. He's wandered into being there. <laughs> Wilfred Hyde White is always a pleasure to see. And his secretaries had a bit of bad luck. Oh, yes, it appears she's Yeah, wasn't he in, uh, but was it Book Rogers he was in? Yes. Well, Second series of that, I think, or? happens in Indonesia yeah. at this moment is of some concern to HMG. HMG? Her Majesty's government. Me too, Amelia. Oh, yes. Me too. Oh, you see, they found, yeah. I think they found Vex, can you, you pronounce Shuffle? Shuffle. I'm telling you about the Dean. <laughs> <laughs> <Dean, laughs> <Dean, laughs> <laughs> Just Canadian. She's halfway there already. <laughs> yeah, but no, uh, I don't claim Canadians. Canadians, <laughs> Canadian French is weird. Instead of car, they say bagnole, which is like, what the hell are you, what are you saying, man? 
Besides, American intelligence owes us a favor. Uh oh. So American intelligence. Owes I you don't a favor. recognize the lead guy. I, I don't know if he was in anything else, but if Sorry. anyone knows. What year did this come out? 67. All right, so he's generic who 60s was actor. There yeah. Who was it? Frankie Avalon and George Nader? Yeah, George Nader. I, I mean, feel like Frankie George, Avalon, you know. You know, George Nader's been in a lot of movies. Okay. Like, I feel like I've seen that name a lot, but I couldn't really tell you where or when, you know. I'm not going to Google it. I'm not your Google. <laughs> Man, the color grading reminds me a lot of the uh, House of the Rising Sun video of the the animals. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I can see that. I'm just so happy with this remaster. I can't even. Yeah, it looks really good. Oh, me too. Like he's a dumpster. Oh. <laughs> I'd also wear him as a butt plug, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's some great but moves be hanging actual, out in the background there. Scenario, <laughs> great something. Don't you think that they can handle yeah, it's like uh, it's like Mel Gibson's dad. <laughs> together, so what, hiding in shame? Yeah. <laughs> Man, look at the people in the back. Yeah. 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 This was back, back when the drugs were pure and you know, everyone was hitting the dance floor. When the drugs were pure, my guy, yeah. what? Um, no, <laughs> <laughs> Pepperidge Farms, who remembers? <laughs> That's yeah, James Spader and Michael J. Fox back there, you know, they're on some pure yeah. drugs. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, Vex, look at the dance moves, man. Do you reckon this is one of those scenes where they filmed it without music playing? And they yeah. just... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to. I mean, mostly that's what they do. They film yeah. everything silently. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. They, have, they have no rhythm, though. Yeah. Like, rhythm. Frankie knows what to do. Well, they had no, of course they had no rhythm. They're all white. Yeah. <laughs> Except <laughs> that guy. That wasn't going to change with music. <laughs> yeah, not even Frankie Avalon. Nope. You can be a winner. Uh, sir, you're supposed to touch her stomach. Where, where's your hand? <laughs> wow, his thumb yeah. is up in there, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's how a real man touches a woman. That's Where the fuck did she from? That? Harrison Ford move with Carrie Fisher, isn't it? What does he do? <laughs> <laughs> he, he does a few of those in Return of the Jedi. Oh, look at that guy in the background. Look at him go with a jacket. Yeah, He's yeah. so cool. <laughs> Barbara would know yeah. about Greece. I, mean, yeah. I don't. I can tell you. He did the. He definitely did the uh, part of the soundtrack, didn't he? He, did, he does the main theme, doesn't he? In Greece. Oh, there we go. Good. Shall we go? Okay. That tie with that suit? No. Well, she's melting it to the table. <laughs> you and Jimmy <laughs> Carr are right there. Yeah, Liquid Jimmy metal. eating her. <laughs> Man, they had actual money to go to like proper sets and stuff, do it, like to proper locations and not just build sets for everything. It's a very cool. good looking movie. And look at these cars. It is, yeah. It's really what, what does um, Il Papagillo mean? Um, uninspired. You're not, you're not Italian, but you're close enough. <laughs> Il Papagillo? What the fuck is that? Some kind of a pastry. <laughs> Been there, done that, my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm more familiar with Latin than I am Italian. And when I say been there, done that, I mean, yes, I've taken that dude's wallet before. Like, he's about to. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh. Well, got no. us. Does it smell like chloroform to you? You're the young Deb now. <laughs> Man, chloroform <laughs> takes minutes. Why is he trying to shove it in his fire. mouth, though? Look at oh, it. you know why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to ask. <laughs> Get in our van, dude. We're driving to California. Woo! Get in, Lucy. Take an acid. Roman, uh, Roman ambulances do not make that siren noise, by the way. That's terrible continuity. I'm completely out now. They're also <laughs> not Volkswagen. <laughs> okay. okay. Here he comes. There goes Speed Racer. He doesn't want to be in this film at all. <laughs> The music is very um, 1966 Batman, isn't it? Yeah, I was I was literally about to say something about the music. It sounds so weird. 
It's like Batman episodes. I even had to go and look just to make sure it wasn't the same dude, but apparently it's not. Man, Ooh. we've got high speed chases and this everything. Is, yeah, that's a nice yeah. shot there. Damn. That is. That is cool. Yeah. I wouldn't drive that fast in Rome. Mind you, actually, that is pretty average for Rome, to be quite honest. That is how yeah, most people in Rome drive. If you get a looks... cab, it's very exciting, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I hope it's not like a Fitzgeraldo situation where, uh, you know... You have to drive a hotel over the other side of the beach. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I talked over you completely there. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's Geraldo, you know, people, people, uh, people passed away on set there. Oh yeah, like a huge why is accident. he pointing to the fucking magnet on this door? It's so uh, we know what's going on. It's exposition. It's show hey, not audience. tell. Show not tell. Come on. That's one thing I was wondering about this <laughs> film is I think it's supposed to be a comedy, but I like understand. it's camp. Uh, yeah, it's camp. yeah, it's, it's consciously camp, but but. It, it, it all falls so Fine. flat, you know. They're doing it. They're not doing a very good job of being camping. How did you get in here? My name is Damn, Lord, I'm a locksmith. I never looked. Oh. Your, your microscope is pointed the wrong way. But okay. I must get it fixed. But what made it so imperative that you should get in? You'd never guess. But I'm looking for a friend of mine. This is a private hospital. Yeah, I have a feeling that he's a uh, new guest here. I'm sorry, but she I likes the Bee Gees, obviously, with that post in the background. <laughs> he sees. You're <laughs> telling me he's here to get an abortion? Okay. <laughs> we need you to watch this film strip first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and fill out an index card. So I brought a printout. <laughs> Keep a copy of my wallet. Don't let them take me! <laughs> what the fuck? It's yeah. not an abortion! Oh. Where did they get those from? It's Charlie's gynecologist. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Nuns it's a stabbing nun. Monday. Nuns the word. This is, a, this is what Disney needs to be doing. Look at this female power, man. Come yeah. On. If you enjoy your work, you never work a day in your life. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm I'm an old fuddy duddy. <laughs> I mean, she is a real nurse, and this is a real hospital. I think he's in an episode of Columbo as well, Wilfred Hyde White. I'm sure he is. Yes. I don't know how flowers work. He brought cactus. He brought cactus tomorrow. He's right. I it's a delicacy. That's, that's a great thing for a bloke to bring another guy, though, because they require absolutely no sort of uh, effort, don't they? That's perfect that's for a guy. Energy right there. If you're bringing cactus, to yeah. <laughs> that's a power move, that right there. Except he didn't do it with his bare hands, you know. Like that's really. Uh, I'm uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry he's dead, but man, this dude uh, has a good face for uh, let's say like a neo noir thriller type of movie or a shaving commercial <laughs> or ladies erotica pomade. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Boom. <laughs> and give him long hair, call him Fabio. That's it. No, no, oh, no, just no. just put on a nice suit. Nice That's really all you need. I can't believe it's not better. His hair is permanent because he woke up from a hospital bed looking like that, you know? Like, you cannot fuck that hair up. It is... A pity. Yeah, he, he, he reminds me of James Bond. So it's the look that he has. Yeah. He's auditioning. He heard James... Uh... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Everyone came loaded for bear tonight. Hey, Frank, <laughs> you want me to go and check out the villa, right? Actually, his hair kind of frightens uh, me. In Jamalama, this was Remember the 60s. Everyone was like that. You, you were automatically perfect oh, everywhere you. you went. The dry look. <laughs> oh, those cars. Oh. All right. Time to let Grandma out. <laughs> is that a euphemism for something? Yeah. Look at how big he is! Holy shit! Look at that Ooh. dude. Or else I the could... other guy is just small. Yeah. I I could follow those two pair of pants anywhere, <laughs> man. Hagar, <laughs> <laughs> action team. Shall we take a look? 
The red I lights like mean it. they're hot. Red <laughs> hot. Go check it out. <laughs> yeah, Cliff Robertson, I see that. Director Look, there's is like, two lots. Need two red, light, lo red hot lights. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what? Hmm? Damn. Oh. Yeah, it's a matter of scale. When I have a sex cult, this is how they'll all dress. No, it's a nice ensemble, but it could use a paint. It's not a question of if you'll have one, it's a no. question of when you'll yes, have one. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Of a man. Don't blame me. Blame Mr. Brown. He's asleep. Well, be my guest. <laughs> ah, yes. The kiss is back in the, <laughs> the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Nobody ever touched lips, basically. I thought yeah. it smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> and he convinces her to kiss him by grabbing her. You know, like, look at me. Look how handsome I am. Yeah. I mean, that's James, right. James Bond that's does that all the time. <laughs> Yeah, James Bond taught me that's what women want. This is women what women are told like. Me it when... was Red Day. <laughs> <laughs> we we did say. Did you not get the memo? Ah, there we go. There she is, wearing my dress. Again, my children. Welcome, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Look at that plastic Home Depot Luger. That's good. Yeah. Our numbers are growing. Her face is really intense. Man, the I costume department really, really put the money on her clothes, man, because she she's spent some money on it. Well, yeah, the art department, the costumes, all of it. Um, some of the makeup I, is a little, ugh, but I have been hoping for some initiation for so <laughs> long. I'm like exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Your balls hurt. Healthy. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Oh! Yep. She has my approval. That she my approval, yours. too. Hell, she has mine, too. Dog, hell yeah. Yes, but you should have gotten her approval, so now you're canceled. Oh. Good night. Does it the, Do the rules still work the same if it's woman mm. on woman, though? No rules. No rules. Let's just get into it. This is Thunder just the, the peeping Tom just right there. Like, oh yeah, cool. Return to your posts all over the world. Some of you will feel alone, terribly alone. Terribly, terribly, terribly alone. There is a sister close at hand. I'm so Asian. And you will all be sustained <laughs> by the ideals that unite us. Those of you here today. Actually, looks more Vulcan than. <laughs> oh, I see it. Yeah. Ahsoka pose drink. <laughs> Why does that curtain have a direction? <laughs> What's that? Oh, Jay's last comment. <laughs> <laughs> and wingtip shoes. This man will be taken care of in Hong Kong. On the 25th. Oh God! It's got too hot in here. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Off. oh. It, it's a hetero alarm. Oh. <laughs> ah, she's lovely. What the? That was incredible. I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just knock her out? Yeah. Yeah. Her a love tap and tiny tap. Out. Wow. That's all it takes. I guess you know. So so much for strong female characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Move. Uh, Ashlock, drink everybody. She looks strong to me. I'm liking the music. We're gonna yeah. get you into today's assigned dress, whether you like it or not. Or, or out of the composition, though. Who was the man? It was the American in the novel. Give me the gun. <laughs> Damn. Oh, don't see that. Didn't she fall the wrong like her head did <laughs> her head didn't move in the proper direction. There's no instruction manual on pistol whipping, you know, like you think it's gonna be easy and then you're faced with the reality, it's not the same. Well, what a waste. Ah, that's funny. 
Uh, I think it was a great idea. <laughs> and then she bled out. all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Take your pants off, buddy. You know, that drink never stops. Holy shit! What was that? Like a like a quadruple? <laughs> Seems normal to me. <laughs> Yeah, it's not Let me just say I'm glad they only had a single this. king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this dude could have actually been James right. Bond if he was British. Really could have, yep. Well, I don't know about his acting, but he... I mean, Jimmy Bond. Oh, God. Oh! oh. <laughs> hey! A horse head. <laughs> Man, his reaction. I love that these guys are like proto-secret agents, but they didn't notice that. Dead. Mm hmm I show everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Wood once, oh. once in the chat. <laughs> Drink them if you got them. Good evening, gentlemen. Did Good you evening. get my dead prostitute? I told you you'd get a gift. Corpsogram. Oh, look at the that background plate. That's nice. Were your ears burning a little while ago? That is great. Look yeah, at that. It's just pictures of cars. <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> so if her dead body had been sitting there for a while and you shook the bed like that, she probably would have like released some gas or something. You know? Some fluids, yeah. yeah sure. That is truly the worst background play ever <laughs> I've ever seen in a driving shot. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Yeah. Almost as bad as Casablanca, but not quite. <laughs> and it's the same few, it's the same few cars. It is. It's like five cars are just Rotate. Yeah. It's a <laughs> <Flintstones> background. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the the direction they're pointing in isn't like no. <laughs> no, it's not. Right. It's not the Barbara Barrett made the this one. This is just, just a two D painting. <laughs> where was this shot? Is there a location <laughs> listing for this? Uh, I don't know where in Europe they might have shot, but they definitely shot in China. Shaw Brothers. They might have done half of it in Europe. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. There's, there's, yeah. The cars are definitely European. So, yeah, it could yeah. be Rome. Yeah, or just outside Man, that Rome. Blue car again. Oh, that face. Why are you smiling no. like that? Mario, drive to the airport, would you please? No, Mario no. Kart! I should go the short way, Mario. I think I'll be able to <laughs> There's that car again. I should take the magic bus like, It's a me, Mario. <laughs> yeah. Cab driver. I fly over Sanio. I don't, I'm sorry. Damn, this actually looks really good. It yeah, does. Well it does. This actually looks like a Tarantino flick. It, oh, it looks like there's a director in actually making choices here, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Which is more than we can say for some of the films we've watched. <laughs> oh, fuck. Never put your tie in your pants. Never. Yeah. You Ever. I gave him to you on that plane. I don't think he has a choice. He's only about three foot eight. <laughs> <laughs> he had to pee quick. Oh, look at the true, true. I mean, we haven't seen any feet yet. Maybe we'll see him later. Every vehicle we see is like, wow. Yeah, I miss fucking that one. Maker so much. <laughs> I wonder how 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 much like a vehicle like this would go for today. Mm. Ah yes, we have to know that we're in Asia. Yeah. Uh, if there's a gong, drink everybody. <laughs> I forget where to sit in these funny restaurants. Uh, can <laughs> someone uh, give me some? Sure. Major Just D? on the floor. On the floor. Okay. <laughs> can I get some Lachoy noodles to start? Um. <laughs> Dragon fire! Shall we sit down? Oh yeah, let's. Again oh. with the cool like dress. Yeah, yeah. good costume. Like this, I think it's customary to. I'm say actually things. enjoying this movie. I'm glad Adam, what the hell? I know, me too. This is weird. It, it's not my fault. It's an actual <laughs> movie. <laughs> it really is. I... You brought me here it's, for a I screen test. I saved this for you guys. Your profile. I imagine uh, Vex has cigarettes like that. Mm. With a big hole, though. I think that's yes. how you would do it. Oh, yes. It's quite amazing. Swishing well, around, being nice. all sophisticated. Yeah, well, well, what will I do very nicely? First, I would remind you that you are a wanted man. 
Funnily enough, my cousin has one of those uh, cigarette holders. Please. That's how he <laughs> smokes cigarettes. Well, of course he does. He's French. Oh, my, 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 my <laughs> uncle always, my uncle always just it, like when she started smoking with it. My uncle I just looked at her and said, was, uh, "What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? smoking?" <laughs> well, it's like, man, stop that. But most of them don't Confessional: I have one too. Ooh. See, the ring matches the dress and everything. Mm -hmm. And the, and the earrings. But Somebody keep your has fingers from getting stinky. <laughs> okay, lady. It's your ball game. Look, Tom. <laughs> I thought you'd see it my way. You guys are supposed to be my friends. <laughs> Follow me, please. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, this walk is straight into way. this wall. What we are about to see is unique. Historical, in fact. Am I allowed to know what it is? Let's mm. keep it as a surprise. It's called I... a donkey show. <laughs> <laughs> bubbling, hey, look, bubbling, we're bubbling. Get a yeah. Walter White and Jesse Pinkman cameo. Yeah. Just gonna, it's like, hey, we're cooking. It's a science, yeah. bitch. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? Oh, with God, you? what the fuck? He's a guinea pig. Guinea pig. Is this the compound in Ends of the Dragon? Very hard here for the <laughs> it kind of feels that way. I, do, I see it now. How did you brainwash him so he's not yelling his head off? Wait, why is his hand half well, white? No pain. Or bleached? As a matter of fact, he's rather happy. Was it? Yeah. I'll check again. Yeah, I saw his right <laughs> arm that was uh, popping out so of the cage was like sort of bleached. Oh, tongue. okay. Just white knuckling it. All these if hot bitches, you, nothing sick. to do. Well, yeah. Well, the same thing happened to me. <laughs> I think we'll see him again. You know. And for those plans, I need your tongue. Seems your like and your brain. not something they would there show you for a second like that. Which I'm did we get any old. bubbling noises? Oh, no. Yeah. no. What did we? I, I didn't. We didn't get the full no. bubbling noises. I thought. Yeah, oh yeah. The oh, look, check. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Look, mm -hmm. His arm is uh, white. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, right. like a blood loss. Blood loss to the arm, probably. Mm -hmm. Just. Constant yeah. masturbation. Yes, it's a repetitive game. motion has caused all the blood to drain from it. And now he's got a permanent the stranger. What's that thing? <laughs> it's the same as the game wardens use in Africa to stun animals. It's a toy. Except that our ammunition is something different. Follow uh -oh. me. Mr. Okay. You had my curiosity, now you have my attention. <laughs> Oh, it's a bowling alley. Is that all? <laughs> lane five, oh, lane like three, lane, lane one. one. No Please return your shoes. Are you talking down a bowling alley? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I just. I don't consider them evil empires. I mean, you know. Hmm. You're not going to the right bowling alleys. <laughs> a beautiful woman dressed, you know. Nice and sexy, killing you, the torturing you to your death. Yeah, fuck it, I'll sign up. This is great. That's a cool way to go. My lady. Mm -hmm. Several of these women have John Waters haircuts, actually. Another guinea pig. Hey, hey, zombie hunter. His name is Andrews. <gasps> Dignitas, Amsterdam. You'll see. Now that you're dizzy, we made him greasy. <laughs> and sweaty and oil. Oh, he's all lubed up. Mm. Yeah, you better listen to Fred Ward. <gasps> Great acting from this dude. He yep. knew that he had like 30 seconds. He was like, fuck it, I'm giving him my all. Exquisite acting. <laughs> the Paul Rubin School of Dying. Oh. <laughs> What? Been him flexing too while he died. I think, I, yeah. yeah, I reckon there was a good more another twenty minutes of that that they've cut down. <laughs> they oiled him up. Oh wow! <laughs> Look. Okay, okay, I like it. It's interesting. This this is this is actually a very interesting plot because I, I mean didn't... it has a plot at least. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. That's for sure. I wasn't like, oh, in... I bet she could turn humans into concrete. Are you inferring that my movies don't have a plot? Um, <laughs> what kind of most of them. Well, did you notice how like they just walked into a room? There wasn't a super long hallway or a super yeah. long uh, yeah. like stretch of land. Oh, or... it's, a, it's it's not a walking simulator, basically. <laughs> or a driving simulator, either. 
It's also not a torture ship with no establishing shot of the boat. Well, I always say if you got to own anything, it might as well be an island. It's a coup. Why would you first name Hi Hi Coup? I got to get going. <laughs> oh yeah, Marion Cotillard gave us one of the worst death scenes in history in Dark Knight Rises. There's Jesus. our boy. Why he's president of Sina Asia. So she's dressed in green, she turns people into stone, and well, I think they should have gotten a, a little bit more beautiful actress, and she would have been no, a no, look at Medusa. Her. She's gorgeous. Mm, what are you she talking about? No, 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 no. From afar. Did you see when they zoom in on her she, face, man? Yeah. She no. has an extreme... Sorry, she has such high standards. <laughs> this is very sad. It's working for me. I don't know you can tell he's still young. I, I gave up hope a long time ago. She's incredible. <laughs> as long as she shoot me with darts, I'm game. You know, she's like, right. alive. Yeah, I'm like, just give me another I, I dart. I'm good for another half hour. I would let her sit on my face. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm game. I'm not saying I wouldn't let her. I'll take any action I can get at this point. The man chosen as Medica's successor with the trick only after the most famous The one you turned into a statue. But we can't disappoint the president, can we? And I'm to take his place, is that it? Your See, everyone in the yeah. chat knows. There you go. That's right. I, 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 we I, have I, a quality I, audience I, here. I, she's, that's she's, that's she's it. Great. She's a terrible person. <laughs> 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 ah, the makeup is kind of killing me. It's not right for her. Jay, you'll never forget the fact that I said that I like older women, will you? Oh, I never forget it either. <laughs> You're like 12. All women are older women. <laughs> Otherwise, they're girls. You were both staying in the Hong Kong Hilton. Erna? That's a big knocker. Yeah. And you will also <laughs> find a 38 caliber revolver. <laughs> what knockers! By the way, you're sure the president has never met this Andrews before? Absolutely. The only person who can identify the man is Bung's ambassador in America. Bung's ambassador. Between this girl. That's and fun Bung to say. The one in the middle kind of looks like uh, Daphne from uh, from Scooby Doo. As possible, I said. Yeah. <laughs> If, Anna, I see it. Take them to if the Daphne was 40. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing the uh, no blinking thing like that girl in Ahsoka. Yeah, who was Daphne again? Uh, it was Sarah oh. Michelle Geller. yeah. It was, look at yeah. That. That's a great shot as well, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Her dress pattern makes it look like comic book characters have crashed into her all over. <laughs> when you when you kids refer to Scooby-Doo, you're talking about live action. I have, cannot relate to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, well, uh, well, to me, I, I've watched every single Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is one of my favorite cartoons ever, but I, I always refer to Scooby Doo live action whenever I, I speak of it because I can quote that movie off the top of my head. Like, I can even give you the entire shot list off memory. I know the movie by heart. What's going on? I like the bits with Scrappy Doo, and that's about it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Scrappy, my legs. <laughs> no, no. I mean, just in the live action one, not in this cartoon. No. He was a horrible, horrible, horrible like said, creature. You know I've never <laughs> seen them. Uh, I'm going to watch Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. Actually, I wanted to start it tomorrow. So, yeah. <laughs> gonna watch I watched it again. The, the first one, but I hate the guy that plays Shaggy. I hate him in everything. Oh, oh, man. Matthew Lillard? Yes. I hate oh, him. Matthew oh, Lillard. He's, he's great. In, uh, I like him a lot. He almost ruins Minority Report. He's fucking awful. He can't act. He's in the uh, SLC Punk. I hate him in that too. Well, oh, you watch 13 Ghosts, you'll see him die, so it'll be cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it in my dreams oh, a thousand times. I don't understand. <laughs> I, watch a, I watch a lot of Velma on Pornhub, <laughs> if that helps. <laughs> it helps me. Now don't get yourself upset. <laughs> She has hundreds of hits on that. Look at this, man. A proper budget. We're on boats that are moving. We've yeah. got, like, wide-angle lenses. We've got actual extras. And the camera is steady. It's not handheld. A knife and a handbag. Oh! Oh, my God. What Woo! the... We've got okay. ethnic now. All right. Dude, just give her a kick. That's it. That'll be enough. Part one. Oh! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Little worn tennis shoes. Oh. That was the stupidest death I've ever seen. Uh, yes, please. I'd like 5, 6, 
right, all right, Tom. I'll ch- I'll check it out. What do you mean, bingo? <laughs> this is my movie, Black Live. I'd like to speak to President Boone's personal aide, please. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling pumps uh, in your, your jump high heel shoes. <laughs> meddling low pumps. <laughs> Killed by Jimmy Chu. In about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. Oh, God. <laughs> I got that reference. <laughs> Hello. It's the graduate. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Klaus Kinski. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's Joe Montana. Tell me something. It's What's just... <laughs> a rotten little girl like you doing in a nice business like this anyway? All right. Well, <laughs> that's what I'm doing Herzog. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, it's not Werner Herzog. Why do you hate me? I'm just a girl like any other. Uh, uh, no, I, you, I, you're I, not I, like I, any I, other. I, I'm doing what I believe in. Oh, that reminds me. That's what I came over here for. To, uh, do what I believe in. <gasps> oh! Where's this going? <laughs> oh, my God. That was hot. Oh! <laughs> Damn. He's going to mess up her hair, dude. Oh, chicken. Oh, wow. Well, what are your feelings? I Liz? aspire to have this <laughs> level of charisma whenever I go out to the club or a bar. Oh, my God. That was so smooth. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm. Please, please learn to kiss. Please. That's the first step. I like you a lot, but a uh, human being. Not on the mouth. To, Not on the mouth. Yes. A little later on. I mean, these are these theatrical kisses that you have. I mean, even at the end of, um, well, even in even in big stuff like Casablanca and stuff like that, like yeah. it's all theatrical kisses. I think yeah. it's part of the the charm of watching an old movie. But yes. it, it does feel yeah. weird because it feels out there. It's, it's also the fact of um, the theatrical acting that they have in old movies. Yeah, it's very yeah. hard to see the yeah. difference between, let's say, a, an actual bad performance or is it just played out because that's how movies were before. It was a bit theatrical. Yeah, it's, it's, it's stagey, like in a soap opera kind of way. Where yeah, you know, like daytime soap opera. Yeah, yeah, it's not <laughs> too passionate that you can't get, you know. It just that's looks what I like really love about it. Yeah, it just looks like their heads are angry that their faces can't occupy the same space at once. <laughs> they just kind of slide their God lips back it. and forth. Look at this. I feel man. like we, we could do dolly, this. We, have, we do. We have a dolly shot. This is great. This is this yes. is actual directing. <laughs> it could it could be a shopping cart, guys. Come on. <laughs> I use a skateboard for my movies. Oh, he wants his parking validated. (laughs) That's all. Bye, Amelia. Have a good night. Good night, Amelia. Thank you for showing up. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Too many pillows. I keep going back and forth. What do you think? Mm. Oh, I I forgot I'm alone. Oh. Does he have more spiders There's a boy. like that? Yeah. Oh, oh, we have an Aryan. Ooh. There's a boy. <laughs> he is actively crazy, trying crazy to decide man. if he wants to be in this movie or not. He's like, it's basically, nice, Drago. Nice. It's, it's Drago from Rocky. I was destroy you. So you asked if he was going to be in yellow face. I didn't want to spoil the fact that he's in blue face for some reason. Yeah. What is blue face? Hold on. <laughs> Oh, he's taking it's the Navi people, man. It's Avatar, you know. When do you want me to start? Oh, as soon as you can. You know, I've done 99% of this filthy goodwill tour without the security chief. So, where is he in his career? He's done um, a few dollars more at this point, I would assume. And I, 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 67, yeah, yeah, Yeah. probably. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you've done incredibly. He has some very um, uh, uh, terrible reputation, doesn't he, Klaus Kinski? <laughs> as well. Now that now that's a face reveal right what there. The like maybe you've been thinking, like, what does this guy look like? Is he Jesus Asian? Christ. Is he American? Um, is he a heroin addict? What's going on? It's a crackhead, man. Like, that's what he is. And he's okay, like, look, everyone, it's champagne. I love that you can just spew your load before you show your face. That's fantastic. Oh. You know, no. That's what I got it. One of them. Yeah. The first one. Yes. I brought a lot of champagne. In the bar. Oh, I need that. Of course, get a taxi. Uh, What's the name again? Hang on. He looks like Frankenstein's monster if, you know, he actually had 
a life. Uh, you know, yeah. I see it. And this is decades before poor things. You see, Vex, I told you, this was back when the drug was pure. He didn't even realize he poured it out of the bottle. <laughs> That's about ten years before spetters. <laughs> you know, uh, all those uh, clothes are, I mean, they can conceal the most dangerous. That reminds me, I, I met a girl this afternoon. Mm. Yes, of course you did. A lovely, lovely girl. Yo, Yo, go go Nas left go before go Kinski go showed up, and I do not I'm a real humanitarian. <laughs> Yo, no, I, I, let me introduce you to his Wikipedia page. page. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh. Why yeah, is his face weird. blue, though, in all honesty? It's weird. Avatar. He's just gone to the audition. James Cameron ripped off everyone, including Klaus Kinski. <laughs> Maybe he's uh, he's dying or something. I planned a small reception. Maybe uh, oh, one of the ladies did the leg thing on him, so he's still a little bit blue in the face. <laughs> also, he uh, is he dubbed? Like someone said that. When I first uh, oh, heard maybe. him talk to me, I thought maybe he was dubbed, but then I'm, I'm not sure. That might be No, it's, it sounds like him. To me, it sounds like him. That looked like one of those shows that you get at Epcot yes, Center. Yes. Yeah. 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 Very Yo, Copa, oh, congratulations beautiful. on 1K. Okay, so yeah, well, Copa. Oh, oh, Copa, Copa is a river walk. Oil, and beautiful. Well, but they don't call him Copa, Ryan. don't forget us when you make no, it big, man. Just about to mm -hmm. find out why. Will you come along with me, please? Lord, she looks incredible. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Oh, what just happened? Uh-oh. Adam is oh, blocking no. the movie. Hang on, hang on, hang on. To Ladies quote, and gentlemen, uh, the Adam Show. <laughs> the intermission. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the intermission. Yeah, Fuck you guys. There's a range of ice cold. creams at the auditorium. I stopped this a... movie <laughs> with dragon <laughs> fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you need, uh, what's his name? Toby Maguire. Get out of the way. <laughs> really weird with StreamYard. You will come to the island. My lady the French have a way of producing a show. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I guess we get to see her again for longer. Thank God. Yeah. Okay, Cinderella, here you go. <laughs> A summons to the royal presence. Well, but they don't call him royal in here, do they? No, they don't. You're just about to find out. I'm surprised no one's made, made a joke of saying that I'd probably speak her out today. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. You need to flick that ash, honey. Did you arrange a meeting between Helga and Boone? It's all done. They met. She goes back to see him tomorrow afternoon. He's actually. Though that purple velvet is kind of doing it for me. You will come to the island. My lady wishes to see you. Now? Tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. Very good blocking in this scene. Again, good composition. Yeah, they used the the widescreen really well on this. Yeah, I feel Ooh. like uh, every human being in this movie is dressed fantastically, with the exception of uh, Frankie Avalon's unfortunately long tie. Yeah, <laughs> no, fr <laughs> average average tie, <laughs> short Avalon. That look Is doesn't even bother dressing there? up your kid. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Yeah, I'm looking down your dress. Do you mind? <laughs> Frankie one Avalon. for sure, for sure. I have a thing for Asian woman, for so yeah, one hundred percent. Well, is there a type of woman you don't have a thing for? To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, for me, it's 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 Asian woman in particular. Uh huh. We call that uh, yellow really fever. It's okay. I had it when I was young. You mean hide. Look, man, they, they didn't even give the kid any clothes. Costume designer said, fuck it. We didn't even tip him. Did Robert Duvall have to get him this part in this film? Did he have to fight a director? I'm staying at the Bristol mm. and Bacota was, it not, <laughs> was it not Frankie Avalon that they were basing The Godfather on? I can't remember. I'm not sure. the reference. When uh, you know when he gets gets him a part, the the um, the singer character in the uh, in the Godfather, he gets him a part in a film, doesn't he, by going to visit him, 
the horse's head scene. <laughs> I think it is Frankie Avalon. Oh. <laughs> you look so disappointed. I cleaned a lot of shit off that man's shoe. <laughs> was it Sinatra? Oh, was it for Sin was it Sinatra? Okay. Ah, uh, you in no picture. Oh, I'll cut the jokes. Ah, uh, no. Too many fishing boats kept going. I thought this strategically water. ripped a brand new t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is they like sell flash they like 150 bucks, you know? 100. This is fashion nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, top dollar. Thank you, chat people. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Our research department comes through once again. <laughs> this is the real life character Tommy Chong based his. <laughs> <laughs> he shops at the same place I do. <laughs> You're inferring that Tommy Chong right, has just... a plan. Yeah. <laughs> That we're back doing that. <laughs> you really don't like that, do you? <laughs> that boat does look like it's about to be in pain. <laughs> I felt that right in the hole. <laughs> you sent for me. Okay, the jacket, yes. The shirt, no. The elephant, well, yes. Out of cigarettes. Oh, yes. <laughs> one, 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 one. <laughs> I've set up a world that exists without men. Well, good for you. What about those long, lonely winter nights? It is a joke to you. <laughs> I want you all to give Nosferatu hell for not sticking with this movie. Oh, he's a little bitch. Don't worry. We'll get him. It tends to make a man nervous. Oh. oh. Hey, hey, oh. More action, this guy. She wants his gum. <laughs> <laughs> This is the kind of life I want. <laughs> Say what, what you want. She's the first person in this movie to act like she knows how to kiss someone. Well, I'm a very polite guy. True. Yeah, true. I'm a woman, Nick. Yes? Look at me. She's got a clearly enlarged frontal lobe. It, so does he. You just can't see it in that angle. Right. He's got hair covering it up a bit. Why not? Wow. Oh. Hello, that was swift. Yeah. <laughs> Buddha wants to watch. <laughs> so I, I've been taking notes this entire time. I'm gonna go to the club or something next week. <laughs> I'm gonna try every single line. <laughs> Report Frank cat is arrested at local, <laughs> <laughs> local YouTuber <laughs> killed by women. <laughs> arrested with tennis strange. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nas was here earlier because he smelled Klaus Kinski. Then he left. 18 people watching, hit the like button, everybody. Subscribe to our Patreon. Smash the like. Smash it, the like. Smash it, everybody. I, I don't see you guys smashing it. I need to see it. What the? Oh. <laughs> it's what? A good throw. She did throw like a girl, but mm -hmm. she, she hit the target. <laughs> yep, she still looks very, very good. I have an appointment with the president. Oh, yes, your name, please. Helga Martin. Helga Martin. Yeah, her hair is working. <laughs> working very hard, I'd say, man. Here That's... we are. Helga Martin. <laughs> There's a hard joke in there somewhere. This is the part. Mm -hmm. Go that way, please. Thank you. It wasn't easy to get an appointment with Don Knotts, but it was worth it. <laughs> so worth it. Okay, yeah, this is voiceover music. We gotta nip this in the bud. Yeah. <laughs> Follow me. Happy place. I'm like a midget at a urinal. I was gonna have to stay on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> like that. President Boone. He looks like he's about to turn into the Hulk. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. God! Now he looks like Christopher Lambert. A little bit. 
What the? Huh? Black Cloud. Stormtrooper. <laughs> oh no, he's managed to get somebody. <laughs> oh, the worst acting I've seen in terms of dying. It's a, it's what a the fuck? Right in the boob. Well, hey fellas, what's the matter? It's me. Let him pass. Well, what's happened? President, <laughs> it was a rampage. <laughs> uh, he's dead now, so just let him in. Who cares? Okay, so I just want to point out in the credits, Klaus Kinski is uh, credited as President Boong. It's Bong Ooh. with two O's. Okay. Okay. Do with that. Whatever. So like a hmm. he's a big bong? Bong. He's a big bong. <laughs> what happened? Bong. Bada boom. Oh, that hair. Oh, Lord. President Boong. That is a nice look. The real one. What is the it? fuck is going on with his face? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he looks like um, like what's it called? What? He looks like Cat Williams when he has a perm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he looks exactly like Cat Williams with a perm. Well, where would I find another? Here, the Werner Herzog found his muse. Yes, I know. Oh, thank God, it was a wig. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Still blue yeah, in the face. So. In the yep. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and he really has the uh, the Fitzcarraldo look. You brought. Or oh, Papa Smurf right? look. One of the what two. What do you mind about her? Oh well, I uh, I'm going to take her to the police headquarters, of course, right away. Yes, of course. Where are you going? <laughs> the police station. And you're leaving me alone? <laughs> with all of these women? Yeah, I'll be back as soon as I can. But in the meantime. I don't know what to do with back. women. <laughs> yeah, clearly not. Have you seen his Wikipedia page? I refer you back to it. <laughs> Terrifying. Kinski is giving um, what's his name? Nobody else was Tommy Wiseau a run for his money. <laughs> he's giving Neil Breen a complete run for everything else too. Yeah, at least he's not uh, directing this. I did not hit her. I did not. <laughs> oh hi, Mark. Oh hi, Mark. <laughs> oh hi, Mark. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> My doggy. <laughs> Is he going to fuck this chick as well now? I mean, he already... Um, wouldn't you? Her. Hell yeah. I want to know what... I'm writing down all these I lies. The elevator stopped Dude, I'm there. telling you, Vex, no, I, I, I got to go try this. Well, now, that's the first sensible thing you've said in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> if you really mean it, you ought to get out of your hotel, too. I know a place. Oh, I my know how good it is. A buddy of mine is staying there. The Bristol and Pagoda Pension. His name's Tommy Carter. He's okay. Uh huh. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. Right. All how right, quick the boy kisses up? <laughs> Three sentences. What do you mean? I mean, you're leaving the organization. Yeah, just grab her by the hair. In like 10 seconds. Well, I hadn't thought about that. Well, sweetie, I suggest you start thinking about sweetie. it right now because after yeah. what's just happened, you've only got like a couple of choices. You and I, we got some unfair business. You go back to Sumeru and tell her that you <laughs> killed the double and the girl got in there somehow. Or you can run away from He does have Mel Gibson eyes. And I think it's yeah. the shape of the face, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He does have a yep. Mel thing going on. And I mean <laughs> everything. Oh, it isn't easy. It isn't easy. <gasps> Who'd we lose? Well, you're a free agent. Jethro. We choice. lost Jethro. I spent 24 hours ah, a day on a tightrope. On the one hand, I've got to try and keep Sumeru happy. On the other hand, I've got to try to keep her from achieving anything. you got to get out of that shirt, dude. Right down the middle. I can't <laughs> end up as then, crazy as she You know, is. even the set design looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. This is a real hotel room, but yeah. I think that's why, yeah, this is a real hotel. Well, I don't think we've seen, like, a, an actual set in the, since the beginning of the movie. No, I don't think so. It's just been the locations. Me. Relocation. <laughs> I don't blame him at yes, all. I don't know why he had to leave, though. I'm doing it now. Yeah. I'm... Oh. <laughs> I'm on the page. Turn the camera on, please, Smilex. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't like to have an unpaid hotel bill on my. Well, he's wearing a dress, so. Mr. West, you will be finished with jokes before the night is out. I hope. So. I just don't like her eyeshadow. I was beginning to run out of material. Yep, I agree. It doesn't work for her now, but it's no. the style of the time, right? So. Yeah, she's a very pretty woman, but that's not the right makeup for her. I love this. I love the little army of, of ladies. It's fantastic. Yes. 
I would like one. I would love one. I like that dress too. Yeah, they're really, really good. She's making herself a bit of a, a, f a favorite for snipers, though, isn't she? <laughs> uh, are we about to see like a he car chase or just something? Doing what he believes. <laughs> <laughs> we can all get behind that. Imagine just walking in the street and seeing a dude surrounded by beautiful women. And it's just like, oh, yeah, cool. Bastard, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> what? No one was, was at the other door to secure? <laughs> He's just laughing. <laughs> Fiona is right. <laughs> oh, it yeah. is definitely better than Black Widow. For sure. Look yeah, at this. This is what Marvel needs to be doing. I mean, at least the baddies are only killing baddies in this one. Black Widow, they kill hundreds of innocent people. Oh, as, yeah. long, as long as his midriffs and hips running through Hong Kong, I'm good. Yeah. Look at this, she's giving Tom Cruise a run for his money. Yeah. No pun intended, of course. Well, he can't do it in heels. Oh, well, she took <laughs> off the heels. She's barefoot. He always does it in heels. He's only five foot three. <laughs> <laughs> basically just has to jump box to box they line box over like a kilometer <laughs> long <laughs> just like hopping playing Atari Pitfall or something <laughs> oh excuse me boob touch honk hmm is she a like weird cameo director's girlfriend or something yeah, yeah. I guess someone's gonna fucking die because of these heels again <laughs> Hey, in Jurassic World, she outran a T-Rex in heels, you know? It's possible. True. Yeah, but she was all, me woman, hear me roar, by comparison, so... <laughs> it was a female T-Rex, though, which was also in heels. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that explains it. There we go. <laughs> T stands for Teresa. <laughs> Correct, Fiona. Hell, this is better than the chase that was at the beginning of the, the Tomb Raider reboot. It's a lot better than the new one that's yeah. coming, I promise you that. Oh, cop cops. Mm. No worries, zombie hunter, no worries. <laughs> oh well. They just gave up. They've got to go back and report. Surely they know that that means death. Table for one. <laughs> Quiet night. <laughs> yeah, you do make a point, Fiona. Not really easy for a blonde to hide in Hong Kong. That's for uh, sure. No. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Pass the armory. That's a new location we haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What is it? The House of a Thousand... Scripts? Leaves? Corpses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. House of a Thousand Clicks. Hey! I hope I didn't miss any uh, initiations. <gasps> that was a quick <laughs> wank, my friend. My goodness. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hands. Or else the keyboard will be all sticky. <laughs> After a while, it's kind of, you know, it's. I remember like, you. You're the girl from Rome. What was the point of being really cautious about opening the door? The door is made entirely of paper. I mean, <laughs> if anybody wants to get in, they're getting in. I don't yeah. even understand what this building is. It's not a restaurant, it's, no, it's a hotel or something. Uh -huh. Maybe. With paper doors. You don't have to wear a shirt, though, apparently. You know, I think my computer's about to crash again. All right, now what about Nick? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All of these guns are like carved out of soap, like in a Woody Allen. Yeah, movie. These are like, oh, yeah, you can even tell that they're fake. The last time Terrible. I to a girl who claimed to have a message from Nick. Nice abs, though. Like oh, yeah, this is peak male physique. Mm -hmm. All the money has clearly gone on set decoration and uh, costuming. They had nothing left for the armory department. No. 
Hell, they didn't have enough money for his costume. That's why he's shirtless. Exactly. <laughs> I, I got nothing wrong with it. Nothing at all. Where you I'm a, a man. I don't know how purses work. Half a costume for the girls, half a costume for the guys. I'm okay with it. Oh, he's oiled up, too. He has the uh, the to- yeah. Toby Maguire physique from Spider Man One. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it's just me in the chair and the little tree. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, hello. What do you have in mind? To prove to you that I have no concealed weapons. <sighs> <laughs> it's a gravity shortage. That would wreck the same way. That was so good. Oh, this is wonderful. Damn. Some Django Unchained stuff, you know? Watching a lady whipping a dude with Vex. This is just the highlight. <laughs> I mean, all you need is the leather, and that's pretty much it. We appreciate I, it. I'm, I'm really digging this. Like, this is doing a lot for me right now. Oh, my. I wish I could show you guys the drums of Fu Manchu. It's so the faces, good. The faces they're making is like how I feel about what they're doing. I'm like, yeah. The ladies are on the right track. Jay, midget is not the proper nomenclature. It's fun size. I thought it was oompa <laughs> loompa. I think this, okay, this is one of the first manufactured sets we've seen in a while now. Yes. Mm. Yeah, the wall looks a bit yeah. fake. She's in the armpit yeah. stink. It looks like the uh, the apartment in The Man With Two Brains. It looks a lot bigger on the inside. Ooh. Why don't you just keep? Yeah, oh, I agree. You gave it a pinch. You see stuff. that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fiona, it's because they're scared. So we need to have a uh, ugly woman. Tarantino in, uh, moment. Yes, I say. In our meanwhile, movie. in a Russ Meyer film. Wait. So does that mean that he, she cheated on the other guy with this guy? Oh, who There's no cheating. There's no yeah, cheating. They're all, all on vacation. No one's uh, no one's making any pledges here to anybody. <laughs> Look, everybody, fuck. I want to watch. Okay. <laughs> it's the 60s. <laughs> what happens under Terry Cloth stays on the Terry yeah. Cloth. Yeah. Oh, I'm so worried. Very absorbent. I told you it was going to be alright. Nice reference. Yeah. Mind if I borrow your time? Okay. Mm hmm. Get the earrings on, eh? Mm hmm. Interesting. The zombie hunter is completely confused. <laughs> Welcome to B-Side. <laughs> All these cops look like they dress like little kids. I'm a postman. Yeah. I'm surprised the cops aren't like white people doing yellow face. They had enough money to cast, you know, actually. Where's our man? Hello. I'm incredibly impressive. <laughs> but not really. <laughs> It's so great because this is the part that he plays in everything. He's yeah, <laughs> bumbling old fool. <laughs> yeah, he puts him out. He, he, he imbues a little information. He looks badass in the Yes, it is. Our modern equivalent of this guy is uh, Michael Caine, actually. I'm not understanding a word that old dude is saying at all. You're doing fine. London's very pleased with you. Well, sir, you know what. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 was that? Uh, 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 doing fine. Love this place with you. Yep, that's that's how he speaks, Vex. I understand. Hey, <laughs> it's been dreadfully awkward trying to keep. It gets a it show. gets a lot out of the uh, the no, British no, accent. Well. Pretty much how how I do on this stream, to be honest. <laughs> he doesn't articulate. That's the problem. He eats I mean, that's words. not why we hired this guy, <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> We're keeping it. Thank you. The FO found a wonderful report for an office, you know. Holy fuck! <laughs> Something wrong. <laughs> we too low. <laughs> we too low. <laughs> Hung too low. <laughs> 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 
then that's where we get a Godzilla cameo. He just pops out of nowhere. It's like, boom. <laughs> this could only be better if zombies turn up at the end. Oh, yes. The Zombie whole thing just wait. turns into a massive Are you fight. not entertained? No, this is incredible. I'm just thinking it could go to no, 11. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because basically the uh, the Medusa potion thingy that they have that turns people into stone can turn people into into zombies. You know, kind of yeah. like a Return of the Living Dead with the gas. That's, that's what yeah. So it could be great. I think she's using her power to turn things into stone on the wrong parts of their body. You think I, mm. I can get behind that. Sure. Sponsored by Viagra. Well, we lost Vax. <laughs> come back. Here's more. Huh? Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm wearing my gaming headset. That's the mic. Uh... No, it's okay. I was, I, I was probably confused by your See? avatar. I can oh, anytime. I mean, I can change it back from sexy nice cavil. It's no, you don't have to cater to my stupidity. Damn, <laughs> that was a bitch slap. <laughs> oh, she's hot too. I like her. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is I nice. would be. I'd be totally okay if this movie just evolved into scissoring at this point. Me too. Yeah, it must have been fun to be a cameraman on Ooh, set. She looked like a, a J Lo of, of the when at the start of her career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. It's going to be that moment after they kill all the male characters where they're like, what do we girls do now? Mm. <laughs> yeah, shooting change is a totally a thing you can do. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, the guns are like cobbled together from Ace Hardware. Yeah, they had zero budget for the for the for the armory. That's what Smilex said. I agree. <laughs> Yeah, but but the where they spent the money shows in this movie. Location it looks of course. beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, just, just the <laughs> fact of going to a proper physical location, especially to film something like this, it puts you leagues above what was coming out at the time. So yeah, it's like, and it and it's a logistical nightmare. Like oh yeah, moving a whole crew and cast to a foreign country. Is I think that's why the 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 cast is so small, actually. As well, we've got like uh, probably, people. yeah, and uh, Kinski is only in certain scenes, and, and mm -hmm. we, you know, it, yeah, they the basically had him for a weekend, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and all the women you can just get them from the country you're going to, so yeah, you don't need to transport them either. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to fly them in like you do in Britain if you want a lot of hot women. <laughs> <laughs> you can just capture them off the streets in other countries. <laughs> How dare you assume my taste? It reminds me of the Ali G skit where he was saying, uh, "We need, we need to tighten down on immigration." Ali G, and he was like, "We have to let in all the fit women." <laughs> yeah, we need to make bring more Polish, more Dutch. <laughs> this is my sister. <laughs> no. We've got legs. We know how to use them. Oh. Oh, it's dudes. <laughs> That's where the money went in the armory. There it went. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to have a shootout now. This looks good. Yeah. This guy's bringing like a browning automatic. <laughs> I hope so. What the? Uh, Meanwhile, everyone just died. That was it. I bet we get back to that. Set. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> I just knew that <laughs> Fiona would would correct me on the on the gun. <laughs> she has to. It's a moral imperative. <laughs> right, it's saving Private Ryan. Oh yeah, sexier. Saving private joy. If that's it. <laughs> Sex cults always win. Those things totally painted switches. <laughs> I forgot how to get out of a boat. <laughs> what Come is next. this water? I had Run. planned for water. They're all dressed like uh, like Boy Scout. You're storming hey guys, a beast. The beast is... are important. <laughs> oh. 
I can see the angel of death. <laughs> Man, this is really well made. Yeah, it's not bad. And again, this this remaster, this print is terrible. <laughs> Me yowser. <laughs> They're having so much fun. <laughs> They're all like smiling and happy, killing people. <laughs> My turn. Yay! That third girl along, she was really having fun there. Oh, nice squint! Oh, Damn! Nice. Great composition again. That's cool. Right through the trunk. At least their guns, like, you know, fire blind. That was my first cell phone. Alpha, <laughs> Charlie, bravo! <laughs> that really does look like my very first uh, mobile phone. <laughs> Jesus. I have one. <laughs> but I needed it for business and tax write off, so. <laughs> what are we going to do? She's uh, rethinking putting targets on her dress. Yeah. Yes, but no one to load them. We're not out of strength. Do as you're told. Have you forgotten our cause? No, my lady. Yeah, what is the reason they're doing this for, anyways? Did they even say it? World domination, something, something. something. Yeah, one hundred million dollars domination. Just because. I mean, it's called the Millionize of Sumeru, which implies that there's five hundred thousand women doing stuff. I guess. Well, you know, that's assuming that they all have two eyes. Let's not assume. Let's not assume. Yeah. At least a couple of them will have eye patches. Sexy, sexy eye patches. That's what this movie's missing, is a good eye patch. Movie. Yeah. Whoa, oh, these you... guys are really incompetent. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to do a second take, eh? Nope. Okay. That one guy was like, I want to die in the koi pond. Wee. <laughs> yeah, it's for the cause. It's for the cause, yeah. The cause. The cause. <laughs> It was a it's good like idea a... wearing a bright red shirt. What the? F <laughs> Normally we complain about how many girl bosses there are in modern movies, but this is fantastic. No, these <laughs> are actual, it right. actual girl bosses, not yeah. many schools. These girls are great. <laughs> yeah, this is the way we want it. Reset James Bond in a period movie, please. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. If they... Oh, it's, that's all I want. They, they shot a 60s James Bond, man. Yes, just pick the whole franchise back to the 60s, do a period thing where it's okay oh, yeah. for him to act like James Bond. With actual sets of well, that you can tell are set, you know, to, to keep that period piece. Like, the the way that it is, it would be so good. Yeah. Yeah, but Zombie, also, Zombie but Hunter, also... Fiona is our uh, resident expert on firearms. Then again, they made the man with Uncle, the man from Uncle, with uh, with Henry Cavill, yeah, and that did. didn't do very well. And that was basically a sixties Bond movie. It was. Yeah. It was, it was back when Cavill was still small, you know. He's never been small for Yeah, he wasn't small in that movie at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> I like the V cut on the uh, tramp stamp area. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tramp stamp area. Well, Jeff, what else would I reference? I mean, you know. You know how many thousands of dollars I've made off of doing tramp stamps? <laughs> I sure have stared at that area a long time. A I did one time. on you. Jeez. Yeah, that's right. I think plumbers should probably get those. That's how people know I'm a tramp. <laughs> It's the only way to be known. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> I got a tramp stamp that says I've lost weight, you know, just in case. <laughs> Doesn't matter from behind. I can't take police in shorts, seriously. I don't, I don't care what the climate is. I'm just saying, they look like Boy Scouts. Yeah, and cops on bicycles, like in California. Oh, 
it makes that oh, huge yeah. gun look even more ridiculous and then he's holding it like he doesn't know how it works and... yeah it's like it's like the uh, security team that wes anderson would have Tommy? tom cruise Tommy? <laughs> wait is that the guy from jackass huh <laughs> Could be. Hey, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Jackass. <laughs> no, who's the, who's the second guy on the uh, Jackass? On Jackass, yeah, like he Steve-o? did. Stevo has a full back piece of his own face giving a thumbs yeah. up. Yeah, he yeah. does. That would, I imagine, be the most prudent course. Where are you going? Yeah, Twenty One Jump Street made fun of uh, cops on bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, because there's only one rate. <laughs> Full menu, one price. Man, oh, these caves are a set. They look kind of good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, they're about to run into the corner. Oh, shit, Godzilla is throwing up. Jerry Anderson turned up. <laughs> That's a good oh, yeah. miniature. I say, that was a smashing blowjob. <laughs> I mean, we assume it was a miniature. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> Total annihilation. My favorite solution for all problems. Jesus, Nas, you missed it. God damn it. You was missed so him. Good. He was blue. He was blue facing. Yeah, he was in exactly two scenes on the same set. Look at that. They, they just get in and they get out, don't they? They basically just blow the shit out of it and it's straight to credits. They <laughs> that's not, my motto. That's, that's, that's what I like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, Nas. The replay is tomorrow of the full movie uninterrupted. You're a Wait. little bitch, Nas. Where did you go? Yeah, <laughs> dude, he had to. He had su- he had blood to suck. Relax, relax. Nah, he didn't have no blood to suck. No, he blew his champagne all over the room. Mm-hmm. Oh, guys, <laughs> what do we think about all this? I really I enjoyed that. I think I'm gonna watch that again. <laughs> <laughs> that was thoroughly entertaining. It really That's was. Exciting. Don't, don't tempt me. We could watch this again. It was it was competently made. In fact, yeah. it was more than competently made. It was actually quite stylish in parts. Yeah, it was. Really, <laughs> really well made. And it had no shortage of um of hot ladies. So I mean yeah. what what's not to like? <laughs> it's like that was great. That was great fun. Yeah, yeah like you know It was worth putting this dress on for. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Nas. <laughs> uh, no, this was good. I liked the set design was good. I liked that it was shot on location. I liked that there were only two areas where you could tell that there was a set. Uh, mm. I liked the the camera angles. The car chase was pretty cool too for the time. Very steady. Um, well, I enjoyed... even the running chase. Right, I enjoyed uh, Blueface Kinski as well. Uh, I think he was, you know, peak of the movie aside from the main male character with his fucking smooth lines, just bedding ladies left and right. That was that was good. Like, I'm glad I didn't watch this before because it would have kind of ruined the uh, the experience here. But maybe I should have watched this before. This was actually a good. Mo- you picked a good movie. What the hell? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. what's happened? You feeling okay? You not only picked a good movie, but you picked a good movie where we all know how to pick up women now, so we we can all try right. and do it ourselves <laughs> and see how it goes. We'll come I'm back. Sure, I'm sure week. the I'm sure it'll work like gangbusters too. You know, like <laughs> my favorite yep. move in the whole film: just grab her. You know, like <laughs> whoa. I snuck up on you, but now it's time to smooch. <laughs> yeah, d- it depends on what you look like. If you look like Cavill, it'll work. If you look like yeah. uh, I don't know, anyone else, you will know, <laughs> think you're a crackhead and pepper spray you. <laughs> yep. Um, I think I need to head out though now, guys. Now that you we're think, done, so... you don't think that's fair. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> 
I need my husband to say that to me now. Like, you don't think? It's just like, okay. (laughs) As if if your gaming chair isn't just dripping right now. Uh, Well, if joke's on you, I swapped it out for hardwood, and I'm going to slip getting out of this now. (laughs) Well, see, I'm not all that terrible, am I? No, no, you're not. Today you are Adam the White, not Adam the Gray. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I'm so white, I'm pale blue. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Fiona, I, if you have if you have that complexion, also red red satin, probably not a good, not yeah, a good, uh, not a good know. combination. Yeah, it you know. worked yeah. for Aaron Gray. <laughs> uh, Fiona, we made Vex almost throw up last time she was on so. yeah yeah, yeah she, i watched the replay <laughs> <laughs> i think i put the timestamp in the comments because it's yeah. fucking hilarious <laughs> she couldn't breathe it was so good that's why i wish i could stay longer but i need to be up and functional tomorrow <laughs> well we don't have anything as good as nasa tonight but we got some stuff <laughs> oh, watch yeah, the NASA. replay and thank you so much for making time for us, Vex. You're welcome back anytime. It's my absolute pleasure. Hopefully we can do this again in a couple weeks as I got some some time off coming up. Um, next right. week. All right, good, Vex. Good. No, me, not send... next week. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Send me your dates and uh, so we'll have you on anytime. Penciling okay. you in for next week. All right. No, not next week. Don't, <laughs> good. Please. Definitely, please definitely don't confirmed okay. for next week. More. <laughs> next, right. next week for sure. All right. <clears throat> Thanks All right, for dropping by. Have a beautiful night, everyone, and have a wonderful weekend chat. You're amazing. Yes. Cheers, Max. 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 Right. Bye, guys. We'll Love see you. Next week. Moi. Okay. I'm with Max. She left me again. <laughs> she said moi. <laughs> what is this? Adam Gay. Oh. Jesus, what are we in junior high? That's old news, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> Every week he does a closeted homosexual film. Come on. <laughs> My whole waking life. <sighs> <laughs> that was the those guys were the least qu- closeted though. I mean, seriously. So, yeah, Klaus Kinski and Blueface, like I I I am I'm so sure that he did what his was own that? makeup. I, yeah, he must have been like, no, I will do my makeup. No, I think it was because like he was a drug addict or something, but it, it doesn't translate properly. It, it's so weird. Yeah, because even if you're a drug addict, uh, there there are other movies from that that time frame that that do that, but they don't yeah. give you a blue face. Or maybe it's the the remaster. Like, um, no, it's not. It's in it's in uh, like the old scratchy prints too. They're just yes. yeah, they're just trying to make them. You know, I guess look, you know, sickly, like a Barney you know, Rubble sort of um, complexion. I yeah. Don't know. yeah, and his character is a pedo too, so like they're just trying to, I don't know, just make him look like a sick weirdo. In my experience, yeah. once you put on a dress, you can do whatever makeup you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But well, yeah, it's actually, a good movie, a great movie. Thank I liked you. it. So he was like, a sexual well, deviant in this. I mean, was, no. he, was he was this a was this a method role? Because uh, <laughs> again, his Wikipedia page doesn't exist. <laughs> no, I mean, I like this. I'm going with smoke Gouda. <laughs> half this, half this case, have this cast. Oh, cast, okay. cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Beach cast. blanket bingo. BBB. Okay. Yeah, we don't uh, use the we don't use the cast system. <laughs> this uh, this gets a this gets a three point six on IMDb. Three point six. That's bullshit. Yeah, it's it's bullshit. I mean, who's teenage zombies this down. <laughs> teenage zombies probably has a higher rating than three point six. Yeah, that's what good. a that's humorless good. bunch of dildos. How could you not love this? Uh, imagine, <laughs> See, spending your time, imagine spending your time on the IMDb comment boards. <laughs> the yeah. people that review yeah. this have no taste. That's why. Really? I bet you I they only were came all, here to um... be upset. <laughs> they were they were all like probably ugly women. That's why. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They felt bad. Oh, boy. 
Oh, well, we didn't see any tonight. Not yet, at least. Not yet. Oh, my, my goodness. God. What a bunch of lovely ladies. <laughs> yep. All respect. Honestly. <laughs> you know, it, it can get a little dodgy. Like, you know, you talk about wanting to see sexy, beautiful women or whatever. And it, it's easy to peg that as like a chauvinist attitude. But honestly, women want to see beautiful, sexy men. And that's fine. Like, I don't watch movies to see, like, reality. I want to be entertained, and I want to have a little fantasy. So I don't think yeah, that's weird. Yeah. That's why I'm going to go watch uh, Madame Webb. You know, I'm, I'm there front row. First, <laughs> first day, no problem. He likes sexy CG. Those, I mean, <laughs> the, there were some seriously good-looking men in this movie. You know, That's true. This, and they knew it. In the, you know, Frankie Avalon not being one of them, but uh, yeah, they did a show. I mean, his <laughs> big friend. <laughs> yeah, they got his shirt off. They 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 managed to make him look like you know, kind of like Bruce Lee for a second, and that was pretty much it. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. Fiona. If I want to see ugly people, I'll just go outside. This is ridiculous. You see, Fiona, I don't have Walmart here, so that means that beautiful people are all around. We're just French. <laughs> <laughs> they all smell yeah. like katanes, but otherwise. <laughs> Everyone smells like cigarettes and coffee, basically. Yeah, a lot of funny. underarm hair for the ladies. Oh, yeah. there. A lot yeah. of underarm hair. Yeah, yeah. She, she was into <laughs> underarm funk. You could tell she was like, "This is what this is my thing." No, but that's a good point. Is this movie has actually very fair representation of beautiful people, right? I mean, for oh, yeah, the, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So why can't we I mean, do that now? I don't understand. You know, like she had a. The main villain, you know, had uh, kind of, you know, uh, a certain thing going on that separated her from the other female characters. But, you know, like there was, yeah, like you said, like everybody was pretty handsome. Yeah. What a handsome cast. That's a good looking bunch. That's good looking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm very happy to be able to share a not so tragic movie with everyone. But you could totally tell who the bad guy was, the bad guy lady. Like there's no mistaking her. Bad gal. Still her, her yeah, eyes. Bad gal. What was it? I mean, even Wilfred Hyde White was pretty hot yeah. in this film. He's always what? kind of handsome. <laughs> when you're from the Midwest, you, you assign guy to like it's it's like asexual. Yeah. yeah, and like in a weird uncle sort of way, but you yeah, don't mind yeah. that much. You know? yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty. Cool. A lot of things I do are in a weird uncle don't mind so much. <laughs> kind of my, it's kind of the thing I've got going on right now. That's, so. that's your style. That's my style. <laughs> you can either lean my into vibe, it or you can cry. Go <laughs> with the flow. <laughs> Well, there wasn't a lot of yellow face other than the uh, white women being overly styled as uh, Asian. Yeah, quotes, I guess. I yeah, yeah. I'd say that, that's like, uh, what's it called? That's just respecting the culture because they're in Hong Kong. It's pretty cool. I, Plus, you, well, you blend in. I, there seems to be a lot of intentional exotica going on, but yeah. it wasn't distasteful. It was just kind no. of, of the time. It wasn't an Asian person eating rice and a black person eating a banana like in James Bond. <laughs> I need to find out which which James Bond movie specifically it is. I'm still thinking it's OHMSS, but you could be wrong. I could be, I could be completely wrong. I, I don't think that it's that one because I really like um, OHMSS and I, I don't remember a scene from that. I, I mean, I do know that it was a bit of a... It is a cult that's set in a ski lodge. So, yeah. apart well, from that... But they all, a few of them blend into each other, so <laughs> yeah, a lot of them blend into each other. Especially the, considering the fact that I watched like a lot of—I think I watched fifteen of them back to back to back. So mm. they all yeah, I've, I've done that. I've watched the whole the whole litany of it. Before. Okay, do me a favor. Don't start it short just yet. I have to run out of the room for one second. No, all okay, right, I'll be right back. Get a bucket, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> kind of a professional are you? For those yeah. needing more of the hot lady action, um, IMDb does have quite a few of the um, production photos on the the uh, their website. Oh, cool! Uh, you IMDb. So, and and there's a there's a great one of um, the three girls uh, drowning the fourth girl in the in the in the water at the start. There, <laughs> that, that whole scene is pretty wholesome. Yep. 
there's like there's just that feeling of um uh the the sort of a um, uh glamour and um mystery and it's part it's like the late 60s are still an, uh, an era where you can make uh, locations be very exotic and i think there was still a lot of that feeling towards um you know asia and all that kind of thing and, and there's, that's... there's still a bit of innocence there too yeah that's it exactly yeah you, you know we're not we're not uh, world travelers at that point a lot of people aren't really jetting off left right and center so it is still kind of exotic and sexy and mysterious so, well, yeah. I, I just I, I'm I'm more mean that like you can just enjoy what you're seeing for the sake of what you're seeing, and and again, this movie is very well balanced between men mm -hmm. and women. It's not exploitive yeah. exactly. No, at all. I think it, just, it just respects it. No. Oh yeah, no. it's just not I mean, I think I mean it's it's yeah, it's like it's exploitive, but it's not like specifically exploitive. You know, no, I mean, I think I think with the exception really... of maybe the uh, the leg shot where she's putting the stockings on, there's absolutely nothing in here which is like taking a cheap look at the women or it's in going service for a... of the story. I don't I don't even, I don't even have an issue with it. I think it's great. But... <laughs> there's not unnecessary nudity that you. No, see. exactly. Well, yeah, and there's no. Maybe, maybe, it, was, maybe it was not shot. to get like uh, an R rating or what? What would it be? NC seventeen or something like that. I don't know if they had the MPAA. Back in sixty seven. Sixty seven was close. Oh. Was pretty close. Yeah, and NC17 didn't start until like 88. Well, no, but the, the MPA rating system. Yeah, MPA rating system. I think yeah. it started um I don't you know, I'll maybe look it up. Lofty hates everything that's enjoyable. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I respect Lofty as a human being as a VTuber kind of ish, but man, what a sad set uh, the takes from that kid. I just <laughs> I, I I put I put Andrew above Lofty. So, <laughs> so uh, I think there there were some in seventy was uh yeah. Was there a real muff shot? I thought she was wearing a she's wearing like a bikini bottom or it's whatever. also yellow i thought so mpaa was a 68 actually so this is pretty oh, rated yeah year. just about, yeah, yeah. Just a year right after there. yeah yep interesting it was this movie's fault they were like wait a minute <laughs> whoa 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> um yeah i'm sorry i haven't done any research on this film but i'm i'm, I'm a huge fan i don't know if this was like I mean, it's in CinemaScope, so it's not a drive-in film by design. Yeah, I mean, that, no. that's the thing, is that, uh, you know, the set, when they're on set, it looks great. When they're on location, it looks great. These cameras yep. are expensive, you know. Yeah, this all feels like, like a Bond movie, doesn't it? It has yeah, that sort of production yeah, level really to it. It does. And, and uh, it, you know, like maybe they only had tracking shots for one day, you know, like, because there's, there's, like, two <laughs> but you know like uh, they they still have them you know the like, dungeon set is the only thing that looks crap yeah and i'm um, okay with it in that context if you're gonna well, it's probably because it was way. filmed like in the states maybe and so they had to like build the set a bit i think but... i think there's definitely like a a, a, a multi-continental uh production here oh they, yes yeah they, they went to oh, yeah. the east and then they shot a bunch of stuff at pinewood or whatever Mm, who was the director on this? Um, one moment. Uh, well, Lindsay Shontef. Lindsay Shontef, yeah. produced by Harry Allen Towers, which is uh, Jethro's college name. <laughs> and uh, Shirley Eaton as Sumeru. And it's a Sax Romer novel. Hmm. So. Um, Sax Romer did a lot of great stuff that was adapted. Canadian yeah. director. Well, it looks like she's done a lot of um, James Bond that. type type films, actually. Look, if you put Wilfred Hyde White in there, I've got a chub. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's a specialty. I guarantee a chub. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was his catchphrase. That was his catchphrase. <laughs> It's true. I actually had to pay $10 for that joke. I'm not going to say it again. 
Well, who are you paying? I'll write your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, we I didn't want get a, my money back. <laughs> we didn't get a ton of yellow face, but it is an inter, uh, interesting uh, cultural intersection. And I think yeah. it was well done. I think it was pretty respectful. You know, I didn't I didn't feel dirty watching this. No, oh, I didn't I either. Agree. I was expecting a lot more racism than that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why I showed up. <laughs> Considering everything else we've watched. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm I sorry mean, to let you down. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, there's a doofy character, but he's portrayed as kind of being like of low income. It's they're not like saying like, you know, this is just, uh, you know, an Asian thing that they're all doofy, you know. Well, it doesn't uh, feel and, exploitative. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just it feels, feels on location. On lo exactly. Yeah, it feels on location. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, if we if we had a better uh, segue from uh, yellow face and racism, uh, I would still show this film. <laughs> nine, nine of them, in fact. <laughs> yeah, nine, nine, nine. Nine. <laughs> nine. Okay, I see the segue to racism. What comes it. next? Does one race or nationality produce more criminals than another? Here are yes. answers to questions oh. about criminality. <laughs> In this edition of our series, Dr. Kelly will study the relationship of race and national origin to criminality. He calls the study the ethnological criminal. Oh, boy. Okay. Why? Turn Why? Right, Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> Why? Is this like the immigration Scott. policy of the UK? Negro. <laughs> oh, tell White, America about it. Italian descent. <laughs> White, Spanish American. You know. Oh my God, he looked at me. Everyone is circular. What you know, happened to your head? Piece of description about a criminal. Get <laughs> yeah. a bit of amateur boxing. Card, Humpty Dumpty. From the penitentiary. He was just explaining to you all the nationalities that came together to create his perfect Eye oval color. head. High. <laughs> Wait, scars two, and other two marks. words. Salad it's tongs. considered to be very <laughs> important information. <laughs> is it Look at him, really I think, master pertinent? race. <laughs> is it important to know race? In order By to Tom, identify a person, to apprehend him? Thanks Have for showing up. What's its relation to crime? We find white. Italian American or Negro. What? Wouldn't it be better to <laughs> have skin color? Because it varies. So Take this Negro, for example. Oh, yeah. He's very light complected. Yeah. And after all, if you were thinking of an individual Negro, you might think of dark, he really light, just wants shades to say of chocolate. Word, he? This might He's be a very lot more important than the word Negro. Very comfortable with the word. <laughs> Why do we have this sort of thing? Actually, it stems primarily from yeah. a notion that's handed down from an idea that many Americans had, that there was an Anglo-Saxon superiority. I mean, if you're going to strangers pick coming host, in this were looked guy. at as being potentially evil and criminal. And at Way every to dance time, around it. The American Look Indian, at my globe. Look how white Chinese, it is. The <laughs> Japanese. One of Americans. The, Dutch, uh, the Irish. Yeah. The Jews. The Negroes. The Mexicans. These people at some time have been considered how my eyebrows cut from that suit. I'll never know. It's self explanatory. <laughs> it's pointed it's right at him. It's a feeling of inferiority. <laughs> it could be pointed at his butt. Group. Or another little sign. It's a little more subtle. Same dude, same. But it still conveys Gentile. the notion There's a of racial impact. Oh, wow. Here's a couple of papers in which the word Negro is headlined unmercifully, without any reason, and certainly without any advantage if apprehension is what one wants. I okay. will say, okay, this comes off at the beginning as like a, appalling, but it's actually fairly okay. It, it They're trying. If we turn on this tape recorder, we have a recording here well, what is of the purpose? what we like hear. Is this for just but the They general? go and kill his father for a few bucks. The only good Indians are dead Indians. The only good Jap is the dead Jap. All niggers are lazy. Most Whoa. of them are criminals. Irishmen, whether it's your cops or gangsters, either way they're dead. You can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I didn't <laughs> catch that in the preview. I'm sorry. <laughs> Luckily, wow. they can't demonetize us yet. 
Trust a Jew, they'll rob you blind. God invented man, but the devil invented German. A Mexican would just as soon <laughs> kill you as look at you. A Frenchman? Uh, he has to have sex, and he doesn't care how he gets it. Okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's the That's right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. French. <laughs> we That's right. We left the tape run. We left the tape run in the boardroom of the like RNC. This. And they can see what you attribute evil and criminality <laughs> to boogies and shines, <laughs> to spicks and Mexicans, racism. to chinks and japs. Yeah. If we take a globe and take a look at some of the racial patterns, a white we find globe. people that don't people like that the hate all over this They're not thing. a race. They're simply a cultural group. Hey, when we hey. find arguments about race between the people at the Dover Strait, in the English area and in the French area, Oddly well, enough, these um, people come from essentially the same <laughs> racial stock. Oh my yet, God, the English are so stupid. over and over I'm again that people that. will tell you <laughs> the Normandy coast individuals are completely different in their origin from the British. I mean, for example, in here we've got already. a typical one. <laughs> That's why we don't get along. The symbolic <laughs> black hand of the mafia. And here, people say, "Ah, oh, mafia are Sicilians. Sicilians are criminals." This isn't true. They're I wonder how many of you, turkeys. when you think of Sicilians as being a criminal, <laughs> ever stop and think of the fact that people outside the country think of Americans as gangsters because Chicago gangsters are as well known in other countries as mafia Sicilians are here. Yeah, he does make a point. And so we find and a... Oh, it's right, motherfucker. Thing. Say it again. The Say notion it again. that <laughs> cultures cause crime, and when investigated, we find cultures have no relation to crime but there are criminals in all cultures that may give the culture a bad name. Other cultures. What about this racial? All right, you me into it. Yeah, I'm going to give this look We'll take any book, even culture, the simplest man. kind, a little pocket book. We'll find a pretty adequate description. I have to give a quick uh, disclaimer for people that are watching this for the first time. We are not making fun of any individual races, or nor are we being racist. We are commentating on the racism of the time speak for yourself adam you know well yeah absolutely <laughs> the casual racism comes later that's the next segment shut yeah. up token <laughs> no different classifications of race and uh, for example in here is one from up, the I famous like classifier out that adam is Linnaeus, dumb, who classifies whoa whoa whoa, whoa 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 what do you mean what dumb kidding americanus <laughs> you're fine honky <laughs> You know, <laughs> what do you mean, scruffy? The ones that, the ones yeah, that have been that let out of the house. In there. Tenacious, Euro Europius, he's lively and inventive. Asiaticus, he's stern and stingy. And Afer, or African, he's cunning, stupid, and negligent. Here they have taken <laughs> the Oriental or Mongol type. Why am I here? And added in, of course. Can <laughs> I get my ten dollars now? Indian as a result of his origin <laughs> and give him enough of dollars. <laughs> then, of course, the next this is the worst video is dating the service or ever. Negro. <laughs> next time the dating game. <laughs> the last classification <laughs> is the is Caucasian oh. or uh, white type. Or you could people, date me. What do you guys think? I'm the best, still right? Just I'm the best. Three, uh, if you take, for example, you don't care about the of head, do you? and you hold it up alongside <laughs> a person and look at him, you look then at him. try to figure out Not in what way does he it resemble is. the great ape. And if you can find any resemblances, then you say, well, he looks apish, <laughs> so he's act apt, act apish. And in that way, he's act, act, apt to be apt, more apt, 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 apt. <laughs> Let's not go with take two. As a matter of fact, if you consider this problem, <laughs> he stuttered it's been like well three done in a book, The Human Animal, by Western Labar, you'll find a very fascinating discussion. I feel like you he starts out by defining a typical human as really this person is. who has two hands, two stereoscopic well, this is like, eyes, two double arches. Okay, uh, so as, as weird as this comes off at the beginning, this is like an anti-eugenics film, but it's so right. full of contrivances and assumptions that it's awkward yeah. as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit front-loaded, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In exactly. this problem of skin color. 
And then he points out the Caucasian may have white skin, blue but eyes, that's and... Thing. I mean, places, that's a different world. Pretty far know, away like... from yeah, well, his tie so is tucked into his pants. No doubt. <laughs> As opposed to the Negro who was dark He's into Frank Avalon's pants. I mean, for a football head, he's pretty haughty about jeans. Scale, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> if you consider a couple of other factors, for example... I'd say his helmet is a little loose on the field. Yeah. And the I can't see it from here, not from that yeah. angle. These are two Take, for example, <laughs> my helmet. Can you when tell, you tell I work out? Can you tell I work out? If you move the suit, we can see his helmet. Look, look at my glutes. We find that these yeah, are yeah, no, Fiona's got it. Exactly. It's just, it's, we'll it's the, the awkwardness of the, the trying to be unawkward. It's good. Yeah, this guy's and of like, course, while the Negro hey, man, the you didn't tell me you were going to be touching my leg. His hair is curly. Well, Well, what's weird about this is that the quote unquote negro looks like a cholo like this does yeah, not does. look like a black man this looks That's like a, a black man no That's a, we know a cholo. Apes, if you that was the meme apes, image right there with him like long, making a gun symbol to his head yeah. <laughs> <actually> <laughs> he's thinking yeah. christ there's no youtube here is there right i'm, I'm okay <laughs> clip it and if we take our <laughs> mongolian group Canceled. our chinese and japanese friends and we look at his nose, which is somewhat saucer shaped. This saucer is pretty typical <laughs> of the animal or I've never, type. I've never so considered that. Well <laughs> I've never here, heard that before. Saucer shaped nose. Up to his and how he just equates, he equates eyeball. Chinese and Japanese together. He's just like, and this guy are vaguely and Asian. Oriental noodles. They're dragon fire. <laughs> He represents a third hairless. of the world. And remember, <laughs> apes are covered with hair, so the persons who are most hairless essentially are the furthest advanced. There are, of course, a lot of people okay. who simply ignore these scientific findings. Meanwhile, well, I have to work. statistics of a sort attempt to prove that. Yeah, it point. is it is passively Actually, what they really do awful is to cheat the statistics by only giving you half. Yeah. And for example, here, here is a set of arrest records from a small Michigan town. The arrest uh -oh. for a day. You look at the names. And here is, is a menu test? from a chop suey Silent restaurant in Michigan. <laughs> Wojewicz. Patton. Sinkowitz. Yes, I'd like to order a globe. Zofie. No, I want no color in the globe <laughs> at all. Strictly white. Riley. No, white I do globe. not want the globe to spin. No Excellent spin for And so on. Uh, He's you a load of rejection letters from various directors I've uh, written to. <laughs> <crimes, laughs> the non -poles. But as it so happens in this He's got a, a very, you know, heavy chin, I would say. Yeah. And a very narrow cranium. <laughs> 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 the hair doesn't help him at all. No. It, well, his he, skull doesn't help him at all. <laughs> that's those yeah. ears that making me think he's done a bit of wrestling. Yeah, a little cauliflower mm. there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm I'm glad everybody's on board with like the weird angle of this because when I first watched it, I was on the fence about showing it. But yeah. the thing is, is this is trying to be like diffusing racism and criminality. Absolutely, yeah. But like, it is so soaked in the the uh, nomenclature yeah. of the time. It's yeah. it's awkward as well. Outnumber the yeah. non poles in a large degree. So really, in parole rate, they probably don't commit as many crimes. You see this all over. These things are ah, not my material back. They have gone on in history for many, many years. If we go back over the history of this sort of thing, I'll never be tech web. Cabinet, we've collected uh, hundreds of examples of the problem of history in relation to this thing. I was wondering what it keeps keeps for in there. Example is a cuneiform tablet. It's a gun. <laughs> it's a lampshade. In, um, I stole in, this uh, from a bunch of bees. It's delicious. <laughs> it belongs we in a museum. The film? Yes. Yeah. You can't read this guy. You don't have to worry. You can get yourself a Bible and read some fascinating Being in this movie was a reward for like high school like coach of the year. Go to ancient Greece. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And here, for example, I wonder how you auditioned nice for this thing. Like, yeah, we need you to say a bunch of racist stuff. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. How much?
This is Free. what you get for succeeding in high school. Problem, which yes. was very common in those days. Look the at these handsome shirtless men. A poor group of people. Wouldn't you like to see Beautiful. them in well, a movie about uh, female <laughs> mercenaries and satin? Probably most people wouldn't relate so cotton balls a... to <laughs> racial prejudice. But when Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin and found out how to get the seeds out of cotton, then we suddenly found a tremendous demand for slave labor. Labor that could be worked day and night, constantly, <laughs> cheaply. Right away, the Negro was pushed from his status of equality to a status of slave and shackled and... Okay. I just um, want to take a second to... Uh, what is what does he refer... I want to I want to try and point out the fact that this guy is trying to say that Africans were treated perfectly well until uh, the cotton yeah, gin. Yeah, until the cotton gin. It's weird. He said it was equality before they, their state of equality. Which, oh yeah, they were treated equally <laughs> and everything was cool. But yeah. once the cotton thing happened. Uh, it was cool, yeah. Cotton, cotton arrives, boom. We need the black this, people. This idea that it's like, yeah, industrialization's fault, so, you know, like, yeah, well, uh, we, we, you know, we, like that's what made life cheap, and you know, they fell in a <laughs> hot dog vat and whatnot. But yeah, you know, it wasn't like, in the uh, 18th century. It was just that we needed a class of people yeah. that yeah, maybe yeah. didn't have human rights. Rationalize it. Yeah. He simply ascribed to the Negro characteristics of stupidity. Yes. Laziness, okay. yes. criminality, mm -hmm. dirtiness, bad smell, and this then permitted him to treat him in a subhuman way. I think he and if you take a look at the him. books, you find all sorts of them around the world. For example, here's one, English, Frenchman, and Spaniards, written by a Spaniard, which isn't very complimentary to the other two. And what? Here's, here's my favorite. It's Are pretty funny. <laughs> And I think I've got that book. I think most interesting, well, published in 1904. Why? <laughs> a book by a very well-educated Chinese. Well, now that he mentions it, the only sauce, one that I ever hear Chinese from is an otter. Complains bitterly about our body odors, <laughs> and he it's also utterly offensive. he doesn't think we'll ever make it as a culture. Well, wow. it's a comforting thing, I think, for Americans to recognize that there are many other Oh, yeah, like what Jay's saying, just like, as good at slinging you know, they would put that on the front of the magazines when they example, would talk about African-American celebrities. You know? a Jew, a Jew as a matter of Greek, respect. But never yes, as a matter Armenian. of respect, exactly. And here's another one. The Germans gorge and swill themselves to I don't know about the NAACP, but I do know about the NSSA. I know about the NAACP. the German as you would a dog. There, there Here's a final one, <laughs> thievish as an American, drunk as a Pole, vindictive as a Corsican, tricky as a Greek. <laughs> this whole book is a dictionary of such Well, it's flirt. my channel, so fuck This you. brings us to a remote link between race and national origin. Or actually, yeah, there we go. Black Lives are fucked up. <laughs> exactly. I know about the NWA. Give us an understanding NWA. of this background and link. I'd like to have I feel like this guy knows CS about the NWA. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he bumps it in his car like off his face, you know? His mom said, knock you out. Yeah. <laughs> this is a typical street in one yeah. area of a major West Coast city. Some people call it Boogie Town. Oh, Boogie yeah. Town. Boogie Town. Boogie 2988 <laughs> Town. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. We're never doing <laughs> what? that here. They would have wider doors, I think. If you told me we were going to Boogie Town and this is where we wound up, I, man, I would not be happy with your description of this. This isn't how they explain it in the in the in the seventies records. It's like where are we going, Boogie Town? Oh, I'm yeah. like, I put on my boogie shoes, I put on my boogie pants. And yes, guess what I'm not, Guess what I'm? Guess what I am not doing in Boogie Town? Well, before you know it, we're chess boxing, <laughs> boogieing. Uh, no, I want I want to point out Fiona's uh, comment here because this this is exactly what we're doing on B sides most of the time is yeah. we are pointing out the oversights and the uh, the weirdness and the uh, sort of non awareness of white people in these sort of things. I don't ever want anyone watching to think that we are just pointing fingers and and you know taking the low-hanging fruit here 
we discuss casual and uncasual overt racism in the film and uh that is something that we want to cover as a group and uh anybody that doesn't disagree or anybody that doesn't agree can uh fuck right off i find this very interesting this is why we cover charlie chan movies this is why we cover you know uh the stuff that we show is because there is a weird air of casual racism prevalent throughout the last hundred years of hollywood and news and culture and whatever so i'm off my soapbox here we go <laughs> others call it I, i'll just life. add that the it's Negro important section. not to forget that, a few you know, like... well that's the point yeah. and, and that is the point that i drag out these weird that. old newsreels and mm -hmm. Allegedly educational films and things out. Allegedly, allegedly. Exactly. Maybe you should you should file them under education. Maybe YouTube won't give you a hard time. Well, the thing is, is that in in a in retrospect, it is educational. I think people should mm -hmm. see this in yes. uh, the, the yep. current yeah. day and understand it in context that this is where we came from in America. This oh is my god! In context, this is progressive, like you said. This right. guy is like trying, and you know, this yeah. is not a, this is not a, a racially motivated film. This is actually very progressive for the time, yeah. and I, I want to discuss these sort of things. I am, as a disgustingly white male Appalachian motherfucker, <laughs> these, these sort of things are um, worth talking about, and rather than censorship. I want to bring these things out in the open. I don't mm -hmm. want to black out and censor Tom and Jerry cartoons. I want to yeah. talk about the actual history and the actual context that these things occurred in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Yep. The, they are yeah. time capsules, aren't they? I mean, yes, yeah. exactly. Um, you know, you just look. At... Yeah, and when we analyze them and laugh at them, we are not being agents of them. You know, no, absolutely. I mean, you could, you, you know, if, if we were to look back on films 50 years from now, the things that are currently coming out, we, we would yeah. probably be saying the same sort of things because we'll yeah, we'll exactly. Have different thing, attitudes actually. 50 years from now. Oh, the culture war is a whole nother mess that <laughs> yeah. I will discuss in hindsight, but I won't discuss it now. What a disgrace. <laughs> Here on streets like this live most of the Negroes of the city, locked in by invisible but clearly defined boundaries. Almost every city in America is dotted by such sections, areas populated by people of a particular race or national origin. Segregation of this sort has been declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court of the United States, but it persists, finding its strength in cultural and economic patterns. The members of the minority group... Meanwhile, the sky is blue. The Pope wears a funny hat. Few concrete results. <laughs> Water remains wet. <laughs> Uh, Fiona, yes, exactly. Um, yeah, I yeah. I grew up and I was probably 30, 35 years old before I realized that my family was casually racist. I did not know that that was actually the context that I grew up in. And it, when I realized it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to shed some light on this this whole thing. The one of the biggest problems in America, which is just that this gets swept under the rug and it becomes a joke, and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, without getting too heavy, yes, I will. I would say though, there is a um, a world of difference between ignorance and racism. Um, oh yeah, for sure. Because there's a you know uh, from the part of the world I, in which I live, uh, they are a lot of them are ex mining towns, and a lot of the humor. Uh, that was particularly prevalent in the 70s and 80s and 90s was still very heavily kind of, um, well, should we say casual racism was, was thrown around, but it wasn't really, it wasn't really, uh, well, slurs were thrown around, but I, I don't think it comes from a bad place in a lot of, uh, all the time. I think there, there is a, there is a case to be made that um, a lot of this is just ignorance and silliness and I not, agree. Knowing, not knowing any better, really. I agree. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I, you know, acknowledgement isn't guilt. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's and depiction isn't glorification 
either. Oh yeah, for sure. And I mean, like racism is everywhere. I mean, I I grew like I grew up in Africa, and I'm uh, I'm mixed, so half black, half white. Over there, I'm considered as white. So you know, they, they tell you, they call you. Oh, um, I think Jay wants in, right? Oh, he's in. Jay, oh, he's I'm in. in. Oh, oh, there you are. Hey, um, I, was just, I was just letting everybody uh, uh, talk and get their points across. <laughs> and, yeah, and it's like, and it's like, yeah, so, I didn't even see you there. And, I, and felt like, I felt him. Yeah, I, I, I felt him coming in. I felt your presence. <laughs> go, go ahead, Inspire. They call you like um, white devil, basically. It's it's a specific word from the like the the dialect and stuff like that. And so like the word, if you translate it to English, it means like white devil. But you, it's bitch like casually thrown around. It's like that's it. It's like it's a lot. But I mean, it's pretty chill to be honest with you. You just mm -hmm. you just call them the reverse. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. And everyone I, laughs. I I feel like um, and and not to uh, not to be classist, but I feel like there is a a certain amount of people that understand that it's okay to talk about this in context and there's a certain level of people that are just reactionary to it yes and i'm not passing judgment on that because i haven't lived a lot of people's experience but it seems like a lot of crazy white women that are uh, having a problem with talking <laughs> <laughs> is that class or is that just a level of, of uh, intelligence, intellect, whatever you want to call it? I, I don't, don't, I I don't, don't want to make that call, not just for politics sakes or mm -hmm. the monetization of my channel. I just <laughs> I really do feel that way. I feel like there's, there's a guttural reaction and there's like an intellectual discussion to be had. And, and what I want on this channel is to have the intellectual discussion of it. But have a sense of humor about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I hope I hope most of you agree with that. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I'm okay. open to everything, honestly. Like I'm, I'm a very <laughs> open person. Okay, but well, I'd like I you think, all think, to proceed think, to the next shed for your tattoos <laughs> and your face. <family>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think there's an interesting um so in addition to the the I think there's two things that I look at. One is, as, as P points out, right, the, the politically correct terminology is a constantly changing uh, mm -hmm. thing, right? And so, as, yeah. as I pointed out in the chat, right, that Negro in the era that this was made is actually a, a proper term, in, I mean, in the respect uh, proper way, right? An imposed term, but not a necessarily degradatory term. Well, a, a chosen term by the black community at that time, that that was the term that they preferred to have used to describe them. Right. Yeah. Having, having not lived in that time period, I, I, I think. Well, I ha having, having actually, having actually read uh, the, the works of a lot of the, the civil rights, early civil rights, right. Like pre sixties, especially yeah, Malcolm um, X and, and uh, Martin Luther would. Yeah. Prior, prior time, to that. Yeah. They're the, the, again, the NAACP existed long before, uh, Malcolm and Martin are, are, are doing anything right. Um, but I grew up with the United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Absolutely right. true. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they chose that term, right? In the same way that the NAACP at the time, the term that they preferred was colored people. Yes. Because they weren't specifically referring to blacks. They were talking about all minorities. And other than right? white. Right. All minorities. Right. Right, because it was the 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 U.S. is overwhelmingly white, especially at the time that they're doing. Well, it still is, but but not anymore. At that time. Suck it. Well, no, it's still overwhelmingly white. Uh, you know, no. it just depends. Oh no, it depends on on what day they decide uh, someone is of Hispanic origin or they're a white Hispanic. But you uh, have yeah. to, you have to agree that we're tipping the the fifty percent mark. I mean, well, only, only, you... only, only if you think that people that mix, you know, Spanish and, and, and Indian mix was somehow non-white. Well, I would consider Native Americans and uh, Central Americans non-white. I would. I think well, it would depend how, how, how much time the Spanish spent there uh, diluting the, the, the Native population's uh, uh, cultures. Right? Well, the, the, there there are that... very few, there are very few Indian, right, Native Central American Indian uh people that are making it to the u.s well they were here before we were i don't right and, and but again as a percentage of population not even close 
True. Yeah, in terms of percent of the population, yes. Uh, Fiona, I don't remember. I'm always blacked out about two hours <laughs> in the show. Fortunately, they but, record but this. He, but the, the other thing, the other thing, like, point, in, in addition to the to the, I like this language, backdrop of this conversation. By the way, well, it's it's you know, town, I believe, uh, is what this, yeah, the appropriate yeah. term for this now. Um, we are effectively getting down. But the other, but the other town. thing that I think you we we sometimes don't give credit to the past for is incremental improvement right yeah that, agree you know, agree and yeah. and one of the things that you know so, so the, the the recorded uh very interesting slurs uh that that people were using that he's uh -huh. playing and right. like yeah you know giving the groucho mark spurrowed uh super eyebrows to is also also is what was what was more common right amongst amongst a large group of, of the population and he is dismissing that and showing this is wrong, right? And he's using the appropriate, um, respectful terms yeah, at that time, period. right? Of yeah. And, yeah, right. And it's and so incrementally, you have to give people credit that they don't just jump from this is the world belief where where even my church says that that black people are um, subhuman, right? Well, that, mm, that, that they mm. don't really and it, and the and the white men have to do this and that, whatever, right? And Fiona, then people just I, don't go, oh my God, this is ludicrous. I'm just going to to declare that everybody really is equal in all ways and all that, right? You you don't just flush every single thing that you've you've learned from the time that you know you were born and, and were absolutely immersed in that culture. You don't go from zero to a hundred, right? It's you make steps. You're, you're talking about cultural erasure, which is like uh censoring tom and jerry cartoons or whatever and it, no it, no no what i'm talking about every, is, is looking back is in the past context. well it's it's about it's about projecting current beliefs about race or or anything else culturally yeah onto yeah. the past and judging them by that metric instead of judging them within the, 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 the confines before. of the times that they're happening and how yeah. advanced are they from what is the current standard or not Oh yeah, totally. Right. Well, like, in this case, yeah. this guy I, is way Jay, uh, ahead of the Jay, of the game. Jay, well, that's take, take a pause. Let everybody answer what you're saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, no, oh, no, no. Like I agree. All I was gonna say is that you know I I think there's a limit to that. Like I I also think that like you know for hundreds and hundreds of years, people are dehumanizing other people. We and still, so, you know, and, and right, but I mean, I just mean that, like, there have all I th for hundreds and hundreds of years at least, there have been like people, you know, who are benefit, you know, who would stand to benefit from this disparity and being like, no, no, I'm pretty sure they're humans, you know, right alongside other people who are like, as, as long as definitely I don't not, definitely people. not humans, definitely not human, you know, like, yeah. well, or even, you know, like, even, like, it, like, like the, the, I, you know, I guess to say like the barometer or whatever you would want to say of what you're talking about is is definitely legitimate, and I agree with it, but only to a certain degree. You know, like there's there's you know there's a side that's still like, oh, you guys knew the difference between right and wrong. You know, I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not giving I'm not giving George Washington a pass. Sorry. The, the thing is, well, that then, the then you also yeah, don't give Lincoln a pass. Then, then <laughs> you don't. You, there's <laughs> there's a huge number of leaders who make big incremental changes. Lincoln, yeah, you know, with the Emancipation Proclamation, and then again was it the Fourteenth Amendment that actually frees them in the northern states like Delaware. Um, yeah. So, oh by the way, black people were free in the South before they were free in Delaware. Well, hang on, mm -hmm. hang on, hang on. The the conception of what it is right and wrong has always been fluid. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that uh, the current culture war forgets. Right. That, that everything is presentism, right? That, that our yep. beliefs right now are, you know, we're are always true for forever. Been. Yeah, no, exactly. no, no, they're not. Right. And, and again, even within um, the, the, the hard abolitionist movement, um, the belief that, that you should just let blacks be free with full citizenship or whatever there was a vanishingly small number of people who believed that for a couple of reasons. One is that they were concerned about the lack of education that the, the community actually had, you know, in slavery, because, mm -hmm. uh, if you read, if you could read, then you usually got killed. Um, 
But the other thing is that they believe that, that even when they believe that, yes, they should be free, they believe that they were morally inferior because of what the religion, and, and don't underestimate the power of religion in those eras, right? That really is what defines morality for most of those people at that time, right? And in the, in the churches, they were taught that these are, are beings who do not have the intellectual uh, capacity to have full rights, right? So they, they believed that slavery was wrong. They did not believe in full equality. But mm -hmm. abolishing slavery, I'll, I'll take that win. If you, if you yeah. believe that they're intellectually inferior, it's okay, a start. but I'm willing yeah, to right, take that right, yeah. very noticeable incremental improvement in the lives of people and understand <laughs> that, that that fight has to happen over yeah. generations in many yeah. cases. Oh, that's the world that the fight always has to happen in. You know? Right, it, but but a, as yeah, as Adam yeah. is pointing so, out, yeah. that, that mm -hmm. what we what we do now is we we see any of this where this guy is clearly operating with the best of intentions, and is using respectful terms for the era, and they would be like, oh my God, can you listen to what he's saying? It is terrible and all that. No, no, it's not for that era, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. He he is one of the most enlightened of of that era right in the position that he's in give mm -hmm. give the respect for that but also recognize how far back on the path we still are but 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 you always applaud that incremental move towards a recognition that that humans are humans and that's it and, and racism is is stupid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah uh, well, do you have a do you have a year on uh, on, on when this was too close stay on target <laughs> <laughs> Now, see, Jay's, already, this Jay's, man, hardly, Jay's hardly to blame for that one. This, man. this, the, well, the, and, and, and if Adam had been paying attention to this to this yeah. film, uh, Adam already just uh, showed a stereotype that a black man attacks a white man hmm. in this clip, and and he's already said that, that <laughs> there's no racial, uh, you know, component of crime. <laughs> he took him roughly from it, behind. It was awful. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why the death of Apollo Creed was. Frankly, justified. It's true. <laughs> Listen, man, he he came out with James Brown and everything, and he's still yeah, lost. I know, you know, I know. At that and point, that, guy, and that dude's a wife beater, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's why Drago didn't want to fight James Brown. Drago's a hero. <laughs> you do oh, not. Man. You do not. Uh, how, how you doing though, Jay? How was Thanksgiving? <laughs> Uh, it was uh, it was there. The the I had to I had to kind of bail um, and take up a race a snowstorm back home because I really didn't want to be driving in that mess. Um, but yep, got to got to see family. Um, nice, nice. Hung around at at the old farmhouse um, with a bunch of my cousins, and it's pretty good. Nice, awesome. However, uh, I would I would like to uh, just file a, a personal grievance. Um, I have a particular cousin who insists on making the turkey and you might as well put it in a dehydrator. Um, there's not oh, enough gravy man. on this planet to rehydrate the turkey that she makes. Jesus Christ. No, it's, and there's it's nothing a... worse than dry turkey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And, and like his, her, her son will call me up. I, I, I'm sorry to say that mom's making the turkey. God damn it. <laughs> we need to have an intervention or something. This is crazy. Dry, dry chicken yeah. is cool. Like it's, 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 I mean, bad, turkey's it's tough. Bad like, as turkey, you know? Yeah. Turkey is historically tough. Did, uh, any of you guys, uh, Tim and Eric fans from Tim and Eric Awesome Show? Anyone watch that ever? No. I didn't. Okay. Never heard we got of it. crickets. Okay. I've heard of it, but I, <laughs> but I haven't seen it. There's a really funny clip where Zach Galifianakis is doing a, a training video for a restaurant where um, they overcook their meats and they give you lots of gravy, but then there are gravy robbers who try and take the gravy from your table. Gravy robbers. <laughs> gravy robbers. It's Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> it's really good stuff. I mean, you know, like, uh, yeah. It's, it's like a steakhouse where... You need gravy for your steak. I, I want Sean Connery in the Great Gravery Robbery. <laughs> the Great Gravery Robbery. Um, yeah, I see Martin Balsam in that same film. Sean Connery. Yeah, oh yeah, that could work. Martin Balsam. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that Lee face, Van, Lee Van Cleef. 
Uh, here's that, that's, uh, that's the face of the entire audience right now on the on the on the freeze frame. Okay. That's Ronald. That's Ronald Reagan having a stroke right there. He's like, oh, I wish. Um, he, dro- he dropped Groucho <laughs> Marx's eyebrows. He's uh, he's very embarrassed about that. All right, guys, hang on a second. Uh, I'm gonna let Uninspired have an out here. He is All right. a different time zone, and he is a dedicated guest. So, so yeah, I'll, I'll be back next week actually because uh, we're not doing two hosts next week. Uh, but we're doing them like back to back to back in December. So okay, uh, I'll be, I'm 100 gonna be back next week. Everybody, just gonna it's be French free hey. December. Everybody, hey. let's celebrate! Oh well, yeah, <laughs> freedom <It's> fries. <laughs> it, it's like 5:41 a.m. right now, and uh, Jeez, I, I would have stayed longer, but I have to drive my dad somewhere. So I'm gonna no, have to go. totally, it's totally cool, man. We really appreciate you fighting. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. it's it's my Love absolute it. pleasure always coming on whenever I have free time. You know, whenever, well, even whenever I don't have free time, I always tell you. So it's it's yes. always my pleasure. And uh, for the chat, everyone in the chat, man, it's my pleasure to see you guys here and just laugh about <laughs> weird movies. Well, today we watched a good movie, so I'm really really mm-hmm. happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we want to show some laughable stuff, but we also want to talk about real world stuff, but without oh, yeah. being a bummer. And yeah. uh, thank you for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. And uh, Jay, thank you for t- whoa 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 man. The sugar rush went to my brain. I oh just my god! Ate, ate some candy. I was about to say, yeah, Jay, it's a pleasure to see you again. Uh, Jethro, a pleasure to see you again too. It's Alter, to Smilex, good to All see right. you again. And Atom, it is good to see you again. Uh, it's so, always uh, a pleasure. That's all I can say. And uh, thank you for your time. And uh, you always have a chair here at these sides. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. And uh, cheers, everyone in the chat. Bye, bye, bye. I'm going to have a good morning, I guess. And you guys have a great night. I hope it's night. Nighttime, right? Yeah, it's, hey. it's morning with a U in it. So, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> fair morning. I just I'm just an hour behind you, kitten. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, smile like you're an hour behind me. Yeah, it's like 4.42 now. <laughs> <laughs> wait right, wait well. till Smilex realizes what the short is. Uh, you know, he catches up <laughs> All right, guys. See, you. have a great, have a great night. Thank Good you. Night. Night. Bye. Good night. All right, guys. I. Uh... I always appreciate like a uh, breakdown and a good comprehensive uh-huh. discussion about racism, but uh, let's just have some laughs now. Back yeah. to the professional racism. Yeah. <laughs> Criminality, We're dirtiness, just- bad <laughs> smell, and this then permitted him to treat him in a subhuman way. But that's not all. Take a look at the books I also and find speak all in sorts a monotone of them voice. around the world. For example, here's one English, Frenchman, and Spaniards, written by a Spaniard, which is uh, very complimentary to the other two. And here's a dandy, the English, are they human? This, of course, (laughs) was written by a Dutchman. We do all And another one, I think most interesting, published in 1904, a book by a very well-educated Chinese, as a Chinaman saw us, in which the Chinaman complains bitterly about our body odors, and he also points out he doesn't think we'll ever make it as a culture. Oh, it's a yeah, he was right. thing, I think, for Americans to recognize that there are many other countries they which would are just as good at slinging slurs as our physical we in the United <laughs> States. For example, here's one. This is the trust prologue a to Left before Behind. A Jew, a Jew before a Greek, <laughs> but never trust an Armenian. And here's sure, another one. The part. Germans I mean, gorge and swill themselves to poverty, some, some disease, are universal. and hell. <laughs> trust a German as you would a dog. And yeah. here's a final one. Turkish as an American, <laughs> drunk as a Pole, vindictive but as a Corsican. I trust the shit a out of dogs. This was a great. Excuse me, but yeah, I'm like, wait this a minute. This to a remote link. Dogs are the most into this. <laughs> things on the planet, dude. Well, actually, the problem in relation so it was actually an endorsement of the Germans. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Give it us sounds like a, yeah, yeah, not everyone was racist. Link. Of course, it was written by a German, so that was problematic. Yes, they were. Describe oh, some wow. pictures we took of typical can... American scenes. <laughs> I'm gonna go oh, ahead God. and get on air. We're gonna watch a film see. within a film. This is a typical street yeah, in the area of a major West Coast city. I'm gonna get on Some Amazon here and see if I can get town. one of these Germans. Others call it more politely the Negro Whoa, section. There's a few 
Call it a disgrace. Welcome to Here on streets Savannah, like this Georgia. live most of the Negroes of the city, locked in the West by Coast. invisible but clearly defined boundaries. <laughs> Almost every city in America is dotted <laughs> by such sections, <laughs> areas populated by people of a particular race or national origin. Segregation of this sort has been declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court of the United States, but it persists finding its strength in cultural and economic patterns. I like that the hat. members of the minority group no, no. are helpless. I mean, they're doing Their the fight exact against same segregation thing has that King of the Hill does. <laughs> Despite the plainly worded decisions of the Supreme Court against discrimination <laughs> in employment, in voting, in housing, the practice continues. And when they grow to adulthood, that social well, education is like broadened. It broadened. Their employment, their recreation, it's even taxi their driver, 1950 chores, style. such as shopping, are marked by Man, Back then, you could get Invisible, two good adults perhaps, for twenty-five cents. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was two. It was two adult picks. This picture yeah. shows a very important <laughs> thing. While race yeah. has no direct relation to well, the cost of the behavior, Irish has really gone up. Sometimes, yeah. in a sort of second-hand way, it does. And this is because the they majority. They hate used racism. Very frequently oppress mm -hmm. the minority. I like my racism. They fresh. keep them in a exactly. Bring me some fresh wine. And sometimes yes. the minority put some paper person umbrellas. overcompensates and flares back and commits. Does come with a warranty? And so we get a second hand kind of crime. Uh, yeah. A result not of the basic race or nationality, but a result of the bigoted, narrow minded treatment of the minority by the majority. And then, second, of course, if an individual from one culture has a different pattern of behavior. Frequently, this is called criminal by the other majority culture. Fuck you. I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you. I won't do One like simple start I might sold. be, for example, to reorganize wanted <laughs> cards by the simple process of scratching out the place where it says race and putting in the blood type, A, B, or O. That's this the idea solution. Was suggested by Boyd in his yes, book, we're looking. Uh, uh, call our cars, calling our cars Boyd a type O. Uh, uh, be on the lookout. Thing. And that's if exactly what I want. I want cops on patrol testing me for my blood, use blood type. Exactly. Because they can right, only be right. told in the laboratory. They Here's an unsolved crime. Look. And here do is away a with black the idea person. Of skin color. It would do away with the idea well, of saying... Well, that, but the victim different. has to, like, draw so blood to uh, uh, be able to so provide a description. A yeah. uh, looks Why like is he wearing a dog whistle? Criminality. <laughs> looks like your blood no test. That's, that's his microphone. And, criminality. Uh, and if we use I thought it was the world's types, worst tie class when I first saw it. <laughs> indicate this sort of thing, then he we got would it be able to do away with the fundamental idea of differences in people, differences in black criminality as a result of racial black. differences. We no, would he's be black. able to recognize the fact sure. you can't yeah. tell by looking. Paper bag black. They give me the fucking money, what the fuck? It's true. Yeah, that's it's where true. it gets off, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I'm glad we all had a grown up. What a fine pick me set. up, you know, like I was like, it's getting a little late in the show and <laughs> <laughs> a little a little pepper upper <laughs> oh my dear god what have i wrought <laughs> this is the most agonizing like fence to walk like this is so weird no they... no i dude i you know like not to uh aggrandize things but i i think it's important you know like like i you're you're right it is a funny fence to walk absolutely yeah, it, absolutely I, right well it, I think it, it, it is it, fascinating this to see the so I was gonna say, it's fascinating to see the uh the changes though i mean if you were if yeah. you remember um um star trek next generation got accused mm -hmm. of uh of being incredibly too far far too progressive when it came out it was always yeah. getting the oh this is incredibly left wing it's it's really really you know this this weird um utopia but they use terms in that which are now unacceptable they right. they were referring to native americans as indians back in that uh series yeah. i mean oh yeah you know, the, oh yeah 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 and that's and that's what uh barbara and i really want to uh, that's the line that we want to write i want to be able mm -hmm. to yeah. discuss these things in context that's the most important thing 
to discuss these things in context without being, you know, flamed or whatever or canceled. Right, but right. It was a real thing. This is how America used to be. And yeah. I think it's important to to talk about it. And, uh, you know, I, I, sure enough, one of these days we're going to get fucking piled Community up. strike, yeah. Yeah. Probably best we keep a small audience. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Something ain't right. <laughs> I, I will. I will. I will absolutely take a sponsorship from Raid of Shadow Legends. <laughs> yes, fuck it is <laughs> to be able to pay my water. Raid bill. of the Shadow Manscape. <laughs> yes, Harry's. Oh. And eat fresh. Yeah. Um, well, but, I think I think that again, like much like the movies, the where you know, you can also look at from like a technical perspective, the 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 growth of film and the changes and and how you know you get more professional and all that. The the same thing is looking at the at the cultural context of the times in which these movies were made, which is why the shorts are always so much fun, right? Um, right. The, yeah. You know, look look at the look at the the attitudes about gays. That, that we saw in in you know the uh the lovely police films about you know we have the attack lesbians mm -hmm. and then we have uh you know homosexuals are are essentially it was the same across, as pedophiles who are constantly was, hunting it was right? criminalized across the board right yeah. right yeah. and and not only that but, but the, in addition to just having the act it was that you have to make the people evil right yeah. which which is kind of this circular you logic to... of you justify the the law about outlawing the behavior because these people are evil. You have they, to they, they personify that. You have to personify the devil in order to right. justify your own beliefs. Yeah. Right, and 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 in many ways we do the same thing in modern times, where we look back at people that were at you know absolutely advanced for their era and go, oh my God, they're not like us. They they must have been devils. They they mean all of these terrible things. It was like no, look, you need to look at how enlightened they were at the time and understand that that history a doesn't really have an arrow um but when you see the progression of recognition of human rights of of treating people equally right that that's not a, a binary we go from zero to one yeah it's not white and yeah. black to right pun yeah well and uh, you know another thing i think about and i feel like this is like really important right now is that um the pendulum swings it's true but we have to look at like where this pendulum has been in the past you right. know like that's what sometimes I look sometimes sometimes it feels like we're not going in the right direction and and, and it, there could be some real benefit to see how truly fucked up shit used to be you know well, well see how far we've come right that, that yeah. oh we haven't made it there yet yeah but again yeah. The, the, this is a long run and yeah. and being three quarters of the way there is a hell of a lot better than being at the starting line. We're my always we're always dragging and screaming. We're my, always my objection is to cancellation for discussion. Yes, that, that is the problem I have with uh, modern culture. Yeah, yeah, right, because I, it absolutely it absolutely stops any 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 discussion and argument mm -hmm. that you can have about what's going on. You know, we were what's what we were talking earlier about where. Um, essentially the the uh, well it was it was rtd um mm -hmm. and his his change of davros right and the idea that that well people will believe that anybody in a wheelchair is somehow bad and i was like right. okay i max stop projecting but the other thing is that in order to put yourself in the position where you are white knighting for you know a huge diverse mm -hmm. group of people that just happen to have a disability of some kind means that you have to infantilize those people yeah right. in order to put yourself ahead yes and that's the worst kind of, of bigotry that i can think of is to think that other people don't have their own will and and preference you know uh list that they make decisions and that they may choose differently than me doesn't mean that it's wrong or that they're dumb or anything like that right and and i don't yeah. the infantilization of people is it's just like the worst bubble, kind of bigotry I mean, that I can yeah. think of. It is just oh, yeah. such a bubble that he and clearly the production team exist in. If if because you can only imagine that the people that he's talking to to come to that conclusion are not sitting in wheelchairs. He's probably not getting any feedback from anybody that uh, you know. That, this, 
That's the covers. problem that I have is that the people who are not uh, uh, a member of these uh, groups, and I won't even say minority groups, I, mm -hmm. the people th that are not afflicted with these sort of conditions are the first ones to shout out in, yeah. in virtue yeah. signal. And I don't want to get too social political um, ever. But yeah, I, I get it. Though, if, I, if I speak for people that I am not a member of, then I'm infantilizing them unless they hired me to be their spokesperson mm -hmm. or, or legal representative or anything like that, right? I, th I the, think that was the point that um, you were making earlier when uh, I, I apparently cut you off. <laughs> I think that may be the point you were you were making then as well. Uh, that they, that, that a vocal majority... <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's odd um yeah no i 100 percent agree and uh, and mm -hmm. i want to air this stuff out because of the content that we show on this channel um it uh, we're not extolling yellow face we're we want to no, no. have a decent discussion about context mm -hmm. and we have to like in some ways you have to get on the record because we will make a referential dope joke that involves the word dyke and right. i like you know you don't want anyone if you to don't, be if like you don't find dams funny i just don't understand where, <laughs> where your humor is it's... yeah and you know, you know without without um without you know context. ourselves up i i don't want to say oh no we have the right take on this i just yeah. i just want to yeah, i yeah. want to air it out and i want to yeah. talk about it and i i know. do yeah and yeah I, and I, I want to have a good time about it, and I want to allow comedy to be comedy because, frankly, in this current era, comedy is dead, absolutely dead. Because comedy, by definition, is poking fingers. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the there's no um... yeah comedy with rules is not funny. Totally, right. they Correct. should be breaking barriers. They should be stepping over lines. They shouldn't be really too. They shouldn't be thinking too much about. Um, you know whether or not they're offending i think yeah. i think comedy has always served a purpose of actually doing exactly what you just said airing a airing a problem or a disagreement in and a way where you sort of things, take right? yeah take the wind out of it yeah exactly yeah, yeah. well uh, speaking of comedy uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> jeff they're sticking over the channel did oh my I god do, did i do a good job is yeah. that a segue <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's a pretty <laughs> good that thing, right? Do you have do you have a payoff for that? <laughs> well, I'm not in control of the production. I I was just thinking, you know, we what watch you, things. What What are you pointing your boner at? I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I, I think I think what he's trying to say is he's on a segue and he doesn't know how to control it, and he's about to run into a crowd full of people. He's about to go off a cliff. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't he you just guys want you to know. watch more? Don't you want to watch more things? I mean, yes, I guess I, we. I do, I do. But um, uh, we've done enough. But I do want to point out to like first time watchers and um, everyone that um, we're not doing this blindly. We're yeah. not uh, just poking fun at things, and we're not SJWs, and we're not. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We we are interested in context and mm -hmm. uh, history and that sort of thing, and maybe I'm overstating it, but that really is exactly why we started this channel uh, three years ago. When we're showing Charlie Chan films, when we're showing Mr. Moto, Peter Laurie, and that sort of thing in Yellowface, is that um, this is important context. It really is right. Why why were they using European yeah. actors? to play this right. well given yes. the attitudes of the time that was what you needed to do in order to appeal to a to a general audience and rather than censoring it i want to you know keep it out there and i i want people to have a second thought about these sort of things all right i'm gonna get off my soapbox and we're gonna watch something funny let's uh uplift the mood by uh something that uh jethro brought tonight the Winnebago Concepts and Engineering Departments mm -hmm. developed a multifunctional bathroom. Privacy, I don't know what the fuck I'm reading. My man. <laughs> I wonder what the fuck the real dialogue is. What the fuck is this thing? All of the windshield, for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. What? What the fuck did I say? That didn't sound for shit, did it? And here, under the hood, we stored something that'll really come in handy if it doesn't fall out and break my leg. 
<laughs> what we're doing is we're building a fucking industrial film. Trying to give these guys everything they can get to me. That's it. Fuck it. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. We suppose we open. <laughs> Gotta do it again, right now. Boy, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there, dude. Right, right there. No, no, no. It's high as an intense. Fuck. 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 Oh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> Tony, do me a favor, will you please? Will you? Will you, will you do me a kindness? Please. Yeah. I think I want to be walking in and out if you're going to fuck up. Don't give him credit. I, I suggested this film a long this time country. ago. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Tony. Don't slam the fucking door. <laughs> no more. Listen, I've got to give a, a clue here now. I don't want any more bullshit any time during the day from anyone. That includes me. It's going to be very hot. It's going to be very uncomfortable for everybody. Want anybody yelling. We get anybody yelling around here anymore today, and then the shit is going to hit the fan. And they fit the diverse needs of a... It's like 103 degrees in Houston right now. And this guy has had it. Yes. Very big fern, and they fit the needs of a very diverse buyer segment. Buyer segment. I, why can't I remember? I wrote this stuff. Why can't I remember it? Man, why don't I say it fucking right? What does the goddamn line say, Tony? What is the goddamn line? I don't give a shit what the line is. I fucked up the oh, word man. rear. I can't even read the fucking VO straight. That what was the good, fuck was that? Oh, look at that thing behind me. <laughs> we that got thing flies all over great. the fucking place. Son of a bitch. Get out of here, you fucking flies. There's Dude, a fly just just nobody can see your Tony. fucking flies. We got flies coming for us. Fuck. Fuck out of here, you flies. We got three <laughs> flies. Five flies. I can't and if see you will, make them. sure, if you will, we don't have that fly on the left side on the... Well, not in 360p. Passenger <laughs> side, because we don't have that in frame, but make sure we don't have any flies here. And we don't have any flies. <laughs> Oh, it, it's me in the fucking high desert. Here we go. That is every human being in an RV ever. Get out of here, you goddamn jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I got to read it again oh, because my mind is just a piece of shit this morning. God, I can't fucking make my mind work. Tony, give me a towel for just a minute, please. And a margarita. Exactly. That. <laughs> I'm, I'm blinded by that fucking hot light. God damn what, son of a bitch. What about bullshit what do you mean? Well, I'm going to fall okay? off the fucking yeah. thing. Fuck. Just keep running. Bullshit. I'm going to slate this fucker. All right. I, I haven't got time to mark. Let's shoot this fucker. This motherfucker. We'll do it Here live. We again, we yeah. can't hear anybody. Nobody can talk to anybody. Well, I'll turn the fucking thing off, you dumbass. And I'd like to kick your fucking head in. <laughs> <laughs> Meet innovation. Money. <laughs> <laughs> Why, dude? No one what? can see that coin. Like, you know, like, who gives a shit? What a bagel man is yeah, genius. Yeah, he's yeah. having a bad yeah. day. He's having a bad day. Also, Jay, I like you you mentioned that you had uh, suggested this before. You've seen the the documentary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I remember this when this was first like floating around on on you know image boards exactly. and stuff like that. Yeah, you could yeah. download and watch like, it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this he, is a classic. This is such a classic. Not even funny anymore. Son of a bitch! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck! Holy shit. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Fuck! If you enjoy what you do, you never do a day's work. <laughs> right. right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Shit. Shit. Lucky man Son ever. of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck off! What the hell's the line? Shit! What the fuck is it? Can't remember the goddamn line. The accoutrement that you will need. Accoutrement? What? As a uh, set worker, 
I respect the hell out of whoever compiled all of this. Oh yeah, there were tons of of footage that that they had to chop together. Yeah, because obviously somebody was really unhappy having this gig, and they how could you? Be, how could you be happy having this gig? That's this is the I worst know, fucking shit. gig it's... you've ever had in your life. Five well, but hours. the hilarious thing is he's he's mad at himself. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. That's the thing is he he's like he's like I'm he has enough professionalism to know, look, I need to I need to say these lines and do it the right way and all this stuff. And he keeps fucking up and or you know, things on set fuck up, somebody's yelling out in the fucking distance and he's losing his shit. Flies, you know, it's suddenly yeah. a plague of flies, right? Yeah. He does all, not everything is going here. to hell. Yeah. yeah. Just it's all gone. Sure. I get some goddamn diuretic when I sit here and my mouth just never stops. For 1989, each individual storage These compartment has this controlled to, light that you can you put know, up your fern if you want other to. Other people. It feels like the the background people in the Orson Welles wine commercial. <laughs> what shot is it? Oh, shit. What did I do? Did I, walk, did I walk through it? It's going to be very helpful yeah. in keeping you from falling down, you big dumb son of a bitch. You're disturbing my what's left of my brain. Yeah, but my mind is such shit. I to say nothing of the flies in my head. Oh, Got a so fly in my mouth and every fucking other thing happens. If I knew what the rest of the line was, then I would be in good shape. It's amazing how I just okay. dabble. Uh, uh-oh. I guess my mind is going again. My body is dismembered from my mind completely. <laughs> Which is pretty average with me, but... I can't think. Have a drink. Something is wrong with me. Why'd you think I was making this up as I was going along? <laughs> My mind isn't working no, well no. enough to do this any better than it is. I was going bananas. My mind is just ready to go completely. My own mind is deteriorating. Because I don't think I can get out of this thing worth a shit. Nobody can, so you know. Turn up a bobber schnabber rubber. But a shut up, watch it. Catch a shit. Catch a shit. Catch a shit. Catch a shit. What the fuck is it? Did the weed that changed a wheel? I didn't want to talk. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, your move only goes. You just go ahead and go with it, no matter if you're on, uh, on set or not. User offers maximum storage to a very diverse group of the ferns and the docks. The automotive fuses, they're all laying out here in beautiful condition for the fern and the dock. Let's go. Because they got a board of the Goldman. Whenever you find your fern and your dock. I... What's that, Smiley? I think they should, yeah. uh, they should have got Dabney Coleman for this. Dabney yeah, Coleman, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever no, seen no. modern problems? Man. Yes. Yes. They're made with an insulating Chevy material Chase. which really preserves the fern and the dock and the whatever, and I don't know. Shit. The Sunflyer now enjoys a full five inches in increased diameter on the fern. I have used that line so many times. That's and true. the Pearl Watch. <laughs> oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Among the questions that you may be <laughs> asked is, can I get this rig in and out of my driveway? Well, the answer is yes. Fuck the no. departure angle for the all-new 1989 Chieftain is exactly that of the 88 model. Ain't worth it. <gasps> Not this shit. It ain't fucking worth it. <laughs> the Mini Winnie, part of American tradition. And today, uh, that's the line on the cutting edge of design <laughs> and function in a Class C motor home. Let us get the fuck out of here. Do you believe any of that shit? <laughs> You know, when he's doing the fern and the dock stuff, I'm like, this dude has Tourette's, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is clearly not cut out to be an RV salesman. I don't know what his calling in life is, but... Uh... Well, the documentary makes clear he was never an RV salesman. I don't know what the fuck his deal was, but he... He, he just he just tough. he just got he just got roped in to do it. Uh, it was like, yeah. you know, the, hey, we need to make a move. You, Bob, you go do that. I'm in accounting. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? No, no, it's fine. You go ahead. So he's not the like owner of the RV dealership. He's... No, no, he's he's working. He's he's a, he's an employee who's who's been brought in by Winnebago 
uh, cause this, this is, these were videos that they made that they sent out to all of the dealerships. Wow. So this is a, this is a corporate video. I was talking to uh, Jethro earlier about the fact that uh, Winnebago actually used to sell RV helicopters, which is amazing. I don't know if we can show it tonight, but uh, they would take surplus uh, cargo helicopters and convert oh, conversion, yeah, into conversion. RVs so that you could, you know, fly yourself into a uh, Colorado stream and fly fish. And it's amazing. I'm going to guess the sales wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I was terribly, just thinking uh, that. How many people actually bought that? <laughs> well, the brochure looks amazing. <laughs> Fuck. I, and, want, I want the Mad Max vehicle that he's standing in front of at times. You know, that thing with the <laughs> fucking checkerboard grill. Like, that thing checkerboard. looks amazing. Fucking fuck shit. Fuck. Uh, fucking no, Jesus fuck. Christ. God fuck shit. It. What's fuck the line? Shit. shit. Fuck. Yeah, well, and he knows it. He wrote it, and he's still pissed yeah. at himself. And he's like, yeah. why the fuck do I remember this? I wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. And on that note. Hmm. Oh. And now, a word from our sponsor. Finally, Is this going to convince us that uh, cereals are the tool of Satan? Okay, so we're down to six viewers, which is less than the people on the panel. That's the, <laughs> the lies of Thanksgiving. Ahoy, mates. Oh, thank God, we finally got our eye patch. In search of a bountiful car. I'll pay you. Ah, it is cereal based. <laughs> super goop. Yep. A delicious Pirate super goop. Pirate are part of my nutritious breakfast every morning. Why is he whispering? Mm. Pirates are known for being very quiet. Tropical fruit <laughs> yeah. He promised the boys he'd be drinking rum. Yes. <laughs> ah. Yum. Cut! Cut! Come on, friend. You've got to smile when you eat that stuff. Four tasty fruit flavors. Four flavors of cardboard. We're paid to sell it, not to like it. This one calls for a lot of imagination. Lunch break. Everybody back in 30 minutes. Okay. We'll try it again after lunch. Here. Practice before they get too soggy. I want to see Winnebago Band do this commercial. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> These fucking the pirate Fly in my fucking... mouth. You're not kidding. That's what a commercial is. Jesus Christ. I'm not a pirate. I'm an actor. Oh my God, you have Whoa. me for a moment. Oh my God, the my deception. God, you <laughs> I'm Klaus Kinski. <laughs> that takes real imagination. Or Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. And a lot of pretending. <laughs> <laughs> I like cars. I'm Clive Howard. Clive People Howard. who make commercials are experts at pretending. <laughs> you know, making things seem different than they actually... What the like fuck are you leg. pulling out back there? He's trying to take his truss off. Usually. Uh, <laughs> usually they make things seem bigger and better. Oh, wait till RTD sees this. Have you ever bought something that you've <laughs> seen in a commercial, taken it home, and then found out it wasn't really as great as it seemed on TV? Well, that can be very disappointing. Come Only with me, and I'm going to show you how they did it. My life. And there's Karen Carpenter in the background. She's definitely not eating the uh, sir. <laughs> Never pull the Kleenex out of your bra on How many camera. times have you seen a commercial? <laughs> just made a toy or a food. Just and you can fun. scan that computer as you would any human being. <laughs> this is Jay's internet co company. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, at Cox headquarters, <laughs> yeah. let's just jump rope yep, instead. Yep, yeah. 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 we're jumping over. Lip smacker candy bar. We're an internet so provider. Fun when your tummy kind of. <laughs> we just don't provide it to you. Let your lips smack. Let your lips smack. Yes, I don't like that. Happen. Children, you stop doing that. Lips smack. 
That was fun. Black Lives Just is like right. No, show, you might absolutely with it. not it's more fun. than entertain you. They wanted to sell you a candy bar. And they can make eating almost anything seem like fun. No, mother. I want the brown shoe. <laughs> See, the problem is that every kid in America would be like, that's bullshit. Yeah. Welcome to Peace Hut. Sponsored by Big the Celery. The way they filmed it, they made it look like fun. Uh, they could I, be eating almost anything. I have an honest They'll question. They'll stop at nothing. I have an honest <laughs> question. Smilex, do you recognize this guy as like an English actor? Or... I have no clue who this guy is. I'm guessing he's really in the background. <laughs> yeah, he looks... 1976, he looked... I should know him from something, I would have thought. Okay. This commercial. Just, okay. just this commercial. Candy bars, celery, Jokes on you, it's sweat socks, John. <laughs> That's what he That's looks like without bar. the sunglasses. I'm a pirate man. <laughs> Walking on this peg out here How alone. How big do you think it really is? I'm Doing community pirate. service. <laughs> How big was it? How big was it? I bet you thought it was bigger. Uh, get that <laughs> That's what she said. That's a practice one. On a commercial. Things can look bigger if we shoot them from close up. And don't show anything uh, to compare them to. Uh, celery like gel hand. made from you know vegan fire! Is. So if my hand was in the picture, you could tell about how big the bar was. Even if someone's hand is in the picture, is the, if the candy bar is real close to the camera, it will still look bigger. Uh, oh, that's the tricks. secret to my work with toys, too. Exactly. Watch. <laughs> if there's a closet in this video, I'm gonna give it three points. <laughs> no. Go to sleep. The girl and the doll look about the forever, same size. Dolly. But when the camera shows the whole picture, we can see that the doll only looked bigger because she was closer to the camera. Well, how big do you want it to be? <laughs> Television commercials play tricks with a lot of things other than size. The child's actually sitting on the you doll's lap. You can break lap. every record <laughs> with Speed Demon Dragster. Wow, Just keep it. rubbing wow. him. Speed Demon Dragster at your favorite store. Okay, what tricks did you see in that one? One thing we know already. Close-up shots to make the car look bigger. Well... Oh. Also, a hot little six-year-old girl. So, <laughs> right. you'll fall for it. Let's see what it looks like without any special effects. They're all adults. Oh, it's like B-sides. Watch what they can oh, do it's to an make electric the car, car. Look more exciting. Yeah. First, get closer. You've been catfished by this Next, car. Next, add sound effects. Not so fast. Not so fast. Slow, yeah. slow down. Slow down. Slow down. I mean, to be fair, I didn't have a uh, evil Knievel as a kid. And Add some yes, that was missold. Yeah. Now, the evil Knievel cycle was pretty accurate. He crashed regularly as soon as, uh, <laughs> as he came off of the, the launcher. No, he basically yeah. killed himself and survived every time. Same yeah. car. Well, don't let that kid get stuck by a bee. That's all I have to say. If you bought it for all that excitement, and then when you got it home, boy, you an <laughs> asshole, dumbass. Wouldn't you be disappointed and mad? Thanks for making me regret my toy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what special effects can do for another time. Only took me six weeks of begging to get it. Yep. Remember, kids, it's better to regret something. Here's you little Miss Beauty pageant than something, something you all. haven't done. But let me show you what can be done to make her look even prettier. First, put up a set around her. Talking to chipmunk voice while you work. Yeah. Behind the scenes at B. No reason. This is about Next, 15 minutes before the stream before, starts. Get the camera yeah. real close. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Now, every night. throw on some dramatic lighting. Oh my god, look at that. Now, put special filters on the camera to make her look prettier. <sighs> and the light's more dazzling. 
Mm. Add some sound effects and music. Now move her down the ramp and make sure you hardly see the little hand that moves. It's the million eyes And bingo, you've got erotica. I am more cool than the thing. One. That made quite a difference. What is Let me the show you one more thing. You? Here's the end of the real Miss Beauty pageant commercial. He is a special weird effects looking. convince me. <laughs> it was the little Miss Beauty pageant, and all her accessories pants. are sold separately. Watch out for that last part. Often things about the toy are said very quickly at the end of the commercial, like or flashed the, the in small pimp. print on the picture. Like flammable. <laughs> all sold separately means that well, if you want diarrhea. to have this beauty pageant and all of her costumes, you have to buy them all by themselves. <laughs> and that can total up to a Barbara's lot got of it right. money. You see, they can be so tricky. You have to watch carefully. You have to listen carefully. You have to think about what They're the words mean. They're all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. Start your day with a healthy breakfast. Sugar Fruit Giggles, a bowl full of energy with milk to make you strong. It makes yeah. you giggle. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I have about a half gram of breakfast. giggle with my morning coffee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Luckily, you'll develop early. And specially marked boxes get you a free giggle mustache. <laughs> Sugar Fruit These Giggles. children aren't free. The fun part of breakfast. This makes me laugh. I don't believe you. <laughs> Fortified with nitrous I know from oxide. My own experience eating cereal isn't that much fun. Let's go back and think about what they said. You're doing it wrong, uh, son. What a dickweed. I don't think he gets invited to a lot of parties. Sugar fruit gives Yeah, he's, he's the joy destroyer. Energy. Yeah. <laughs> the energy he's talking about. Not the right party. Comes from sugar. <laughs> a lot of cereals are made. Yeah, well, it's the first fucking thing. We on all the know name of that's no cereals. substitute. Yeah, he's for the putting other good things in the fishbowl. That's a doorway to With milk to make you strong. Uh-huh. With milk to make you strong means the nutrition is coming from the milk, not the cereal. You might as well drink the milk and forget the cereal. part of a balanced breakfast. Well, except the milk part doesn't taste like breakfast. fruity sugar, so why the hell would I drink Do that milk? Do you see the oranges, eggs, and bacon in the background? What he is saying is because the cereal and eggs alone are great is for you. not a nutritious breakfast. You should eat some of these other things with it. And that way you can be 450 pounds. You should be at a Waffle House. And specially marked boxes get you a free <laughs> giggle mustache. Waffle House right now. You know why I they put that in there. We were Andrew all... already has his own. One more thing. He doesn't need the cereal. Sugar fruit giggles. The <laughs> fun part of breakfast. Just like at the end of Miss Beauty pageant, you've got to read the small print at the bottom. No, artificial fruit Leave flavors. me alone. Everybody back up Adam, the Adam, my life. Well, Adam, you have to, you have to send go, you have to send a picture of that cereal to Andrew. Why? The free giggle mustache. <laughs> <laughs> he still doesn't get the joke about being Napoleon Dynamite's older brother, and I, I can't excuse him for that because he is Kip Dynamite. Let me make clear, I do not have a free giggle mustache, Remember, okay? We you at least I get free giggle mustache rides. Like fun. You at least need to buy me a six Larger than they actually are and make things seem more exciting. And sometimes they say things you really have to think about to understand. Why are you dressed you like that? This one after yeah. it's over. Well, you really have to think about it to understand. Find. All right, mates. Yeah. You're watching it wrong. Yeah, yeah, my crew is waiting for me out there, and if I don't eat the oh, oh, wizard has to be a thing. Come to think of it, that sounds a lot better than eating me cereal. That's the submarine. That's the iPad that we wanted in the, in the future. My name is Byron. Yep, I'm a jamma. Right. Well, I, yeah. I'm glad he's leaving either way. With Jim and happy. Judy's river raft set, you are ready for an adventure in nature's wonderland. Oh, it's sure Sid and Marty Croft uh, filming Land of the Lost. In action. Yeah. Deliverance, the place <laughs> set. <laughs> With pig squealing action. But be careful, the water may be rough. Yeah. 
Jojo fell in. <laughs> Your dog may die. You can help Jim and Judy save the day. Where the fuck are we going? What is happening here? Jim and Judy's river raft trip Execute includes rafts, backpacks, ropes, and Jojo the dog. Jim and Judy and their jeep sold separately. The river not included. River not included. Well then, fuck it then, dude. I don't want it. Shit. Think I'm gonna buy my own river? I was not paying any attention. To I can afford a real sleep. Oh yeah, just keep that jam going. I'm not gonna... throw, are you are you, uh, are you taking notes? Are you going to play this at your next next gig? Um, you you assume I have a next gig? Oh, oh. I I'm not going to apologize for the feature that, that you were absent from, but I when will you, apologize for this. When Is you it... get right down to it, all things are distributed by vision. I mean, God. that dude. I, by I, the I, way, I don't know that, know that LP records. Uh... Um, I've, I've just looked into who that guy is, by the way, and he has been in some absolutely incredible classic movies, all probably as tiny, tiny little parts. But he he has been in Dirty Harry, The Candidate, American Graffiti. No shit, Jesus. He's been in, yeah, <laughs> Sudden Impact, Mrs. Doubtfire. No incredible. shit. Yeah, just yeah, incredible. Uh, is, is, he like, is he like is he like bum number yeah. three or in in um, Dirty Harry? He is. Tunnel, tunnel hoodlum. Mm. <laughs> that was my nickname in college. That, that was actually <laughs> my porn name. Yeah, there's only one of those in that movie. Well, yeah. They, uh... <laughs> well, there are pretenders to the throne, but but there's only one tunnel hoodlum. The tunnel, yes, hoodlum, yes. not a tunnel hoodlum. Yes, call me sir. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we got time for one more short. It's a bit long, but it is wonderfully awkward. Excellent. Uh, All right, fine. Let's do this and let's sign. Do it. Off. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it till you're satisfied. Do it to I me one more could. time. I like it already. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> it just has that vibe. <laughs> Yeah, it's industrial as hell. I'll let it go, but I yeah, enjoy this, this watching. It's like a mashup of uh, industrial and student film. Or in that Creepy films. point of view. Morals on Parade. Filmed Rick by Dr. Dr. Lovelace. What about sex? Sure. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I've got nothing better to do. A Netflix production. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting my whole life for this information. Oh, God, they're fucking up the anime again. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. Look look at this and compare it to Teenage Zombies. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. All right, mm -hmm. now stop. Compare this to Ahsoka. <laughs> oh, get a lot of wood in this anyway. Man. Yeah. An actual set, not filmed in the volume. <laughs> Tremendous definition on that log. And some legs. I bet you say that to all the guys. <laughs> My pants are chafing. Where is this going? Yeah. This is the Where do you part of the river. Is that Hayden Christmas? Why? Oh, oh, maybe. Grumpiest date ever. It's too active to be lonely. Mm, maybe. Fuck you. It's nice and quiet here. I Does said fuck you! When? Well, when I'm with older people, they think they know too much. Well, well the girls know. say you're I a date rapist. Well. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think they listen well. Especially mom and dad. How can they? They think they need to talk all the time. I said, when I'm with I older people, I got a it's a movie about uninspired. Uh, that's not the first poke you're going to get today. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Can I operate? I mean, I've got nails like scalpels. You mean without an anesthetic? Sorry, no anesthetic for fever blisters or splinters. 
That's not Bieber blisters. It'll be as painless as drug sleep. Well, he's handsome. Besides, my skill for extracting splinters from soft young hands. Getting a Jeffrey Dahmer vibe here. You don't have a very yeah. doctorly look about you, doctor. Looks can be deceiving, ma'am. Now just close your eyes and think painless thoughts. This well, is not the way I played doctor. Professional Hold still now. <laughs> it's a metaphor. <laughs> is it out? For thermonuclear ore? No, no I'll pull it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, easy. Okay. That was quite an operation. Yeah, except Ben Shapiro wouldn't be with the girl. You certainly have an awful <laughs> lot of heart, Doctor. Yeah, I like. It. Why are we so embarrassed over a little bit of passion? Where is the Why? swamp monster? Because we're we're so young. We're old enough. We're not kids anymore. I know. These are the best and actors that they could this, get. Out. This is. <laughs> because I, because I'm, I'm gobsmacked. Because we think anything. I will read my lines. Derek. <laughs> Nothing says passion I like I don't know why we have problems with passion. Honey, I don't want to hurt you, but I haven't thought why it's your nerves. Don't you understand? I understand. When I feel deeply, I've got to do more than squeeze your hand. I want to slurp you. <laughs> I I'm feel sorry, deeply in a I'm peculiar, monotone passion. Yet. You yeah. know that. Okay, so we're not going to jump into bed. I want to squeeze <laughs> your <laughs> hand. What are you talking about? Yeah. I want well, to squeeze your hand. I have physical feelings about you I need to express. You choke them off makes me feel unnatural. Choking them off? Well no. What no. There's nothing <laughs> unnatural about choking one off. No. I've got to be true to what I feel. Here is a V. Too. You wouldn't respect me if I didn't. So it's back to our hand-holding morality again. I don't respect you now. Eric, don't be cynical of my feelings. Okay. What's wrong? We used to agree on everything. We could share things together. The seaweed that gives that me an idea. I don't know. Maybe I like it differently now. <laughs> I don't understand. I can't explain it, really. I suppose... Yeah, he's definitely giving uh, Anakin Skywalker. Can't explain. The sky will survive, Disney. Because, because, now I've got yeah, yeah, but with the, the overacting, he's, he's yeah. totally <laughs> under her. Like you know, She's giving him the higher I ground, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're so you mean. Mean, but that's the way you make me feel. Water is just wet and it gets sorry. everywhere. I didn't. Yes. Didn't what? Not to mention the sand we're standing on. I have the high minge. I had this exact same conversation my first time, but it was behind the dumpster at a fucking uh, Taco Bell. She is lucky she got a stream. She got a stream, dude. That's that's pretty rad. Maybe we do tease too much about sex. Maybe Derek's right. We should be more natural about it. Did yes. it increase well, herself? You've got to be true to yourself, to what you want to make out of your life. Why can't she understand me? I only want to hold her, to say things without a lot of embarrassment. Like his boots. My pants are chafing. I think we need, like, a rug monster right now. <laughs> <laughs> like an attack of the blood beast, like, rug yeah. monster. How much embarrassment Ooh. goes on between couples over sex? I mean, is everyone so natural about it? It's like a reflex? Ah, uh, sweet reflex. Yeah, that everybody worries about. Let's face it, Derek, sex is a national embarrassment. Wow. Then they all talk in that manner. Frustrated and embarrassed about it as yes, we are. You said it, man. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Mr. Jordan? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think this know. is choir, and you guys need myself, to get focused. After five years <laughs> it's the worst barbershop quartet I've ever coached. I still feel embarrassed. Oh, target. Why? Oh, I suppose it's a problem of being able to relate to another person. If you'll pardon the punning, it's as naked as one person can get with another. I have to return now, some videotapes. A lot of people just can't tapes. stand the exposure. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Sex, like any other commitment, makes us vulnerable. And when we become vulnerable, we become anxious and therefore fearful or, or embarrassed. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah. so? And you're saying you can't have good sex without a good relationship. Tell my vibes again. Can I ask you what you mean by good sex? Well, <laughs> yeah, sex that gives the feeling that... Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Can you define good sex? <laughs> I mean, that's always a question I ask my partners. <laughs> what is it you mean exactly by good sex? Because I can't make any guarantees unless I know yeah. what the, uh, the, the criteria... Think. 
Mm-hmm. Dismount. You haven't betrayed yourself or the girl. Then you see you sex. Stick the landing? Good sex is a satisfying psychological encounter. Well, yeah. What do I mean when I say satisfying psychological encounter? Oh, the sex is in all chemistry. That two people in love Did you get well, to bring out the have complex or? lives to satisfy as well as their bodies. That sounds like textbook sex to me. You tell them, Marv. How yeah, you textbook sex. Hey, don't don't do the great sex for the textbook. Sex. I mean, I had to, to resort to that a few times. Look at Marv. He knows. It's well, difficult to explain why the all your thing, textbooks separates the men from together. the boys. How is that? Yeah. Well, it's something we've got to express our, well, our manhood. That says it, Marv. I wonder, too, if it's not skeet, something skeet. we have to express our humanness. Our what? Skeet, our humanness. Skeet. You know, our total self. The whole man. Is that Richard Man, that sounds like an awful oh, lot of sex to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, fuck we, it all. You care to develop fuck this everybody. Well... I think when I talk about humanness, I mean giving ourselves in the deepest level we can. In right. other words, I you don't hold anything man. back. So you with sex, men. if both of you are totally with it, it's a very human experience. Has anybody else got any thoughts on this? Are you equating in some Wait, way well, where it's well, natural? Well, that guy is slurring more than I am. That guy is fucking <laughs> wasteful. <laughs> what is human? I don't know. What makes any well, I'm the, um, meaningful and human? I'm, the I'm, not going into the mono- the I'm not going into the monotone encounter group without being sloshed. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I assume he's another high school coach, just like the last movie. Mm. So they're all drunk. I know? need to watch you shower. <laughs> How natural this is when you put on the society, I guess. Then what you might define as a very human experience, the society might define as unnatural. That is something you feel guilty about. Like sex outside of marriage. Yeah, I guess you could say that. What does a person do if he wants to be human about sex in our society? If I could sit cross-legged and do the answer yeah, to that question, to, I'd be uh, the spiritual leader of millions. Don't be so modest, Craig. Yeah, be wise instead of otherwise. Sorry, I'm no wise guy. I've got a question. What's that, Mars? <laughs> the like the These lines are really good on, really good on paper. The heat of the struggle. <laughs> I mean, it seems to me, you worry about the action first. Then all these questions. Mars, right? Yes. Mumbo jumbo comes you do. In after the action. Yep. Don't you think Thanks, one of the reasons mother. we're talking is to give the heat of the struggle, as you action say? Action first, more then go meaning? out for cigarettes. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, meaning? whoa. So the act of the heat of the, the of the struggle. Uh, I think we're having a different conversation now. Is this about young Debs again? Uh, yeah, possibly. <laughs> Not it's an going animal. full levy. Man, the act of loving you is know a human the act. chase. I won't argue with you on that. What kind of human meaning do you give it then? I don't know. A... Is this a Ted Nugent song? Or... Man and the woman at their best, that's all. You don't have to be told about it. It just happens. In fact, when it stops happening, they might as well plow you under. <laughs> Change your pants. <laughs> <laughs> a metaphor. Yeah, what is this a metaphor of? I don't know. I mean, I, clearly he's rubbing one out he now, but... Yeah. Mary Jane asked her father, what makes the sunset? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Closing the window. Mm. She really goes good with these wheels. She has a little brass in the style. She yeah, lost them rub she one out. like a two-horn band. What's he smiling about? He's probably thinking about all the girls he got with this car. Fuck this it's guy, I have frosted a lips. Flashy ride around town. That's all you need is more publicity. Another guy who doesn't respect you. Why isn't it my luck to fall for a guy who still rides a bicycle? I wish I had a white auto. I feel safer inside. Yeah, see. Wow. A lot of tension here. What are you trying to do, French me? What's the radio for? Because I don't want to talk. Judy? Judy! Judy. <laughs> Turn that off. Judy, Judy, Judy. For crying out loud, what's wrong? Judy. You. Me? Yes, everything I say, you turn into a dirty joke. Oh, come on. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a teenage anyway. guy. What kind, yeah. baby? Oh, you're a perpetual boner. Yeah, like, it worked for like me. Dirt it's dirt on your fingernails. Oh, bull. I didn't say I grew out of it. I just said I was. Come on, one. baby. What gives, Judy? Why don't you give me some self-respect? 
respect all you want? Stop it. Man, you really got yourself worked up. What gives? Why don't you go finish washing out the car? Now you're flashing knives at me. Whoosh. Tell me, what is it? I'm tired of feeling Why cheap, Why don't you Laura. go get more attention? You do. Aw, oh, come on. Pull up your rates. No, you don't respect me <laughs> like a nice girl. Who cares anything about nice girls? Hmm. Thanks. Well, what do you want from me, anyhow? You know what I am. <laughs> yeah, no, homeboy's a smooth well, operator. I'm a guy who gets yeah. what he wants. Well, the Thanks girl the pays the price, huh? Well, Life she wants in the northern way, yeah. town. Hey, well, I don't. Wild, wild. Okay, how do you want it, then? <laughs> I want to respect myself. Well, what's you the trouble? Can't act, but I want you to have here. some self-respect, oh He's hideous. Me? Yes, you. This date Look, is over. So Get away <laughs> from <laughs> each other, yourself? both of you. Ah, uh, you're too full of questions. No, look at yourself. What are you? I don't know. What am I? I am what I am. Well? Mark? He's no George Nader, that's for sure. Yeah? <laughs> Certainly. Yeah, what am I? Marv, I don't know what you are. Yeah, you do. You seem to know all about me. Well, tell me, baby. Respect. Bull. What you need is style. Without it, you're dead, man. That's Let the proofs have the respect. That's all they got. Blow it don't be angry, Marv. Please. Well, quit giving me all this cheap jazz about respectability. Just don't be angry. You don't have to tell me about the prudes. They don't hurt this guy anymore. The way I see it, they have their morality and I have mine. Way, okay, okay. Way, whoa, I've been whoa, cut whoa. down so many times I don't bleed anymore. And I've got the scars to prove it, too. But it makes you tough. Without it, you're nothing in this world. I know. Tough this and guy tough, lives. That's the name of the style. <laughs> you know, you surprise me, Mara. How? That I guy plucks his eyebrows. Yeah? yeah? Hey, where Thus, are you going? The beat generation was born. You don't know what you're missing in here. Oh, yes, I do. Ah! Oh, oh your face. <laughs> it's true, man. Word gets around. Those jeans only hide so much. I don't know. I think people talk too much. I it happens every time know. a girl goes out with a guy. Too many people worry about your private life. You mean who you go out with? Yeah. I'm no angel, but I don't deserve half of what people say the about same me. Same teacher. I don't think you have that kind of reputation, Judy. <laughs> people have a need to talk. That's all. We'll say she's running after the guy, or he's just taking her out because he knows what he did. A haircut was a choice, wasn't it? I know what they say. It, yes, one a minute. But what if the girl loves the guy? She's but I'm all good. Out cheap and dishonest out of it? Are you saying when a girl falls in love with a guy that she's ready for sex? You mean going all the way? Yes. Uh, that would depend just on the Just so you girls course. know, What's right, the guys me, in the same right meeting, I would they were think. like, you should just give it up, and I agree. Look, let's just smell each other's fingers and get it out of the So, a girl worries about sex more than a guy does. Yeah. You mean the girl pays the price while the guy has the fun, huh? Wait yeah. a minute. With pills and Is stuff, there still going to be some be initiating way. going on? Is know. that what's Does going on right now? Really change anything? Well, there be dead. The to Somebody's going to light a pipe. If I see Bob Dylan, we know action's about to happen. No one knows about like somebody else is going to be lighting up a pipe. that makes everything you do right, huh? No, I didn't mean that. What did you Define mean? Pipe. We can't trust society as we once did. <laughs> a few years ago, if society said that this or that was bad, and you did it, you felt guilty about it. Now we feel guilty if we don't listen to ourselves. But it was That's slurpy and like good. And I, I don't think we've come to that yet. I don't either. There are certain things that still have meaning. You know, the family, the church, the school. Most of us still believe in these things. Okay, but Martha what about Washington those who don't think right. they do? For me, anyway, it's bankrupt. Their solutions can't hold my world together anymore. How do you hold your world together, then? With my own meaning. Oh my I know that sounds scary, and it is. But there's just so much self This is a lot more boring than I would imagine a sex addict <laughs> being. <laughs> right? I'm just going to say I that, like, being responsible uh, for your own P, I, I would have so, considered I would have considered attending a sex addict you know. meeting before now. I mean, suddenly your whole life becomes your responsibility. Destroyed. You find yourself with a crisis, and I'd like to know the age of the person that wrote the dialogue. I did this. anyway. What kind of fifty-five? Yeah. <laughs> what does it mean? What did it do for me? What does it mean? Oh. Anyway, what I guess because I. What is the meaning? Has anyone here not seen Shark Exorcist? I have Did never it? seen Shark Exorcist. No, I think I've only seen Nader. RLM. RLM do the coverage. Yeah, of them. well, that's good. Shot that was amazing. It, it feels like that. Kept asking questions. I realized I. There's not I nearly enough people rolling in the dirt. Come on. 
wasn't something I was too willing to admit. Gemma, if you're Muslim, that's fine. When you're our age, you know, you want to think you're ready for everything. She's Life, pretty good about where love, this is going. The whole works. When do you think you'll be ready for love? You know, the real thing. I don't know. When I know myself better. Maybe when I can be more honest with myself. No more Hollywood attitudes about love. Maybe that's why Greg is so important to me now. It all he begins tries to with help me hibachi. be more honest with myself. How does he do I'm that? I'm so glad I didn't go to prom with uh, Barbara. She's just questions. doing, you know, the shadow puppet things you with her hands me. after prom. What's it really like inside? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I didn't like questions like that at first. I guess I just didn't want to face up to some of my behavior. But after a while, I realized he wasn't doing it to be critical. He just wanted to understand how I felt about things. I realized this pants it was too shaped him. That's why I like to tease him by calling him Professor Y. He can't just let Wh things happen. Wait, what? He has to know why they happen. We watched that movie. <laughs> he was in the X Men, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah I guess. There was a wheelchair. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not no, anymore, I, obviously. Because no, I think I think I think I think he was the guy that replaced after Why'd after uh, Multiverse of Madness. Um, yeah, why? They brought in Professor Y. Later, on the Mungus of Davis replaced him. Professor Y is what I feel like he walks around in the other Y. Why so glum? Then on the monkey bars, he looked up at me. Then why all the gloom? No gloom. I just realized I wasn't wearing underwear. Oh. Trying to play pickleball. I just want everything to hang easy inside. To be free, huh? Yeah, like a streamer hang in the Hang easy, wind. be free. I'd like that. Look at all the good. glory holes in be this fence. <laughs> be quiet a moment and listen. Yes. To what? Glory hole reference. To everything. <laughs> Nothing. At the finish line. <laughs> like a symphony. Sounds when everywhere. You're next to me. What did you hear inside? Have your butt against the fence. It's a bittersweet inside? symphony. Yeah. What'd you hear inside? Funny. Nothing really. It's fun That's to it, eat huh? up at the Y. <laughs> yeah. It's fun to eat Come at over the here. Y. Close. <laughs> oh, now you have uh, Lockjaw. Sorry. Yeah. You should have touched that fence. Sweet. Neither of them have braces, right? Candy. Yeah. Why so sweet? <laughs> Mono guarantee. I, I thought it was. <laughs> Hands off Worst love. glory hole ever. That was yeah. I'm not afraid to post Is that what you're really telling yourself? Inside. Come on, Fiona. Well, no. You can do better. Oh, that maybe it's I have city. to hang up with Dude, love. Dude, that's a city public you know, park. That fence literally has sure. AIDS. You're sounding like Professor Y again. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Being in love makes Pepsi. things add up. I mean, it makes things seem important. That's exactly how he ends up. Oh, like you Can you imagine instance. the index cards that Being Vince has to fill out? <laughs> Not in the world's eyes, but mine. When you're important, I'm when did they get here? It's like, how simple, fucked up is it? She's I'm like, you make me we get like here. What the hell is going on? Being loved. More Not importantly, enough. what fits through that fence? Why? I guess I want to share things what with you. What does it? Not be owned by them. You're being too vague. Well... When two people encounter one another, you know what might fit through this fence is some new that coke. That is, if you want blah, the encounter blah, to be blah, any good, it's a Kodak film. anything is possible with such a relationship. You're free to explore yourself and to share what you find with someone else. Does that make any sense? A little. I'd be worried too, Does Gemma. She may make you a star in yeah, the Acolyte. Sexless too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I see this kind of sexy myself. You Fiona, what? that's kind of a given. Do you think I don't know how anybody got their parts in this movie. None of them can act. Did he I don't just know how this movie. himself is sexy. What don't you know? Why this? Oh, movie? about myself. About whether I could trust myself. Look, it's a poor dog that can't wag his own tail. I suppose that sounds like a confession, doesn't it? No. What I mean is, I don't want to risk blowing our relationship sky high with a lot of sex. Blowing. Played on the yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, that was the only word I took out of that sentence as well. <laughs> I mean, it's just an you know, expression. You don't you actually. You look wild agree. and beautiful behind that wire. You look pretty beautiful yourself. Well, I do. She may not. Wild -eyed beauty. <laughs> and cut. Bow Go ahead, Ralph. Stick with this this uh, is the no. biggest chastity belt I've oh. ever seen. Hard cut to anal. 
<laughs> you English. Three see. minutes later. <laughs> yeah, I can fix them. I think when two people become committed to one another, you know, an understanding relationship, they become vulnerable. That is, they can both get hurt. But I suppose when you think about it, that's what being human means, being vulnerable. I get well, the I feeling was being you hurt. something about freedom here, too. How's that? Well, when two people become committed to each other, they choose, in a sense, to become unguarded. You know, they choose to drop all the conventional masks that people hide behind. And their trousers. It's these masks that prevent us from being free and open. I don't think a person can drop all his masks. We no, I let to keep a wrestling mask. <laughs> <laughs> not all of them. I'm not people. taking on my Batman yeah. mask for anybody. All of us Lucha need to protect Libre. some essence, some basic part of ourselves. Where's the balance lie then between overprotection and underprotection? Has I don't anybody know got anything any thoughts about on that, this? Fiona. I, I can either confirm nor deny this. So. Really? I've argued for mean, underprotection well, a lot lately. Take, for instance, the problem we're concerned with most. Anywhere. Because sex is so perfect, we all use a lot of masks. Cellophane tape is a perfect way to keep from getting hurt by it. it. Here's a I man mean, who's mad the sweater vest doesn't mean too late. It's because their defenses act as a barrier. When communication I mean, is hot. open, when both people respect each other, then it something should. human can take place between I them. I mean, I share his rage. Does that make sense to anybody? <laughs> I think I follow your first part. I agree. Most of us have too many. You know, we're being awfully selective with the term say. "human." Murder is another mean, human though, thing. Uh, I don't really need to get close and open area. up my feelings How on that. Communication I do fitting? too, Fiona. Or I do. Does it? I think it does. <laughs> I mean, the object is to carry on a dialogue over the walls, so to speak. Through both the of you exchange feelings. <laughs> if I may. Both of you if I may. I was just thinking about him. I really miss that guy. His concern is genuine. Wish he was rebuilding these encounter groups. Is that any clearer? What you're saying then, Clark, is... If you engage in anal or the in the butt, if I may. <laughs> if you will. That's right. <laughs> I wonder, does this lack of communication also exist in other areas besides sex? If you will. Well, I'd say it was true with sex. Whoa, oh, then, she's getting Then, say, randy. fashion or politics or new cars. Let's face it, our whole society's hung up on this sex thing. On well, what way do you think it affects your own age group? Let me Who turn knows? you out. Yeah. I tried to say, punch you. I mean, I you get the feeling it's the only thing little. that's supposed to happen between two people. At times, I can't help thinking. Why do you have to limit yourself portion. only between two yeah. people? You can't see the forest for the trees. Our well, people make some big mystical experience out of it, yeah. or make it into some myth that nobody understands. Well, they certainly didn't grow up to be Does actors. Does have a way of putting it into context? Yeah, Ed Harris is right. It. It's something that happens to you. I'll like put it into it. anything. So why make a big thing yeah. about it? I don't necessarily agree. Why? Okay, so it isn't the big event that admin beat their drums about. Neither is it on the same bodily level as scratching your scalp. What do you mean? Well, it's my is that a it's just another way of personally defining myself. You know, yeah, I've been scratching my myself. scalp a lot lately. What makes it so tough, yeah. though, is the fact that it's such a personal scalp form of communication. Scalp, I mean balls. <laughs> you see, we define ourselves in everything we do. I'm just glad the uninspired well, left. is a little head and, and shoulders. I'll buy that. <laughs> I don't know. It seems a little bit more complicated than that. Like, well, like a very complex game where you have to keep making up the rules as you go along. Of cat That's and mouse. Calvin Ball. Sometimes That's Calvin Ball. I wish the rules, the my mouse rules anyway, my made a little bit more sense. But isn't that one of the challenges the of the game? game is hot. To make it yield some sense? Give me a game with rules any time. Yeah. I don't buy all the claptrap moral schemes of our culture. It's like living in a condemned house. At any time, it's liable to fall in and break you up. Spread out your butt cheeks. I'm only pessimistic when people don't want to be a part of the moral conscience of our society. A better society, or world for that matter, doesn't come from better it's rules, but from each of us living better. But we still need rules, some guidelines to live by. I agree. I don't know. You've got to have more than just I rules. I know they're not doing anything Your illegal, life is the value you really decide to put on it, and not what the rules say. Party. No, it was right illegal. Now. It's something you have to choose for yourself. Come on, guys. I know Just this may sound too simple. Someone light up a joint, please. Get... <laughs> they need to stop lighting them up. That otherwise, <laughs> as good as you think you are. if you insist. I got so high, I forgot to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this orgy. <laughs>
Oh, God. God, it Jesus. just... You know that scene's still going on somewhere. Oh, exactly. <laughs> For about 45 years, they've just been they're, 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 they're been laid and they're all still talking in that monotone. But what about our feelings what and our personal sharing? I don't know if I'm a human unless I define myself. <laughs> I'm not sure you're a human either. Feelings. It Nothing more than feelings. <laughs> He's still talking, and the movie's just like, you know what? <laughs> Even the movie got bored. Done. <laughs> tired. We just, we just have to grow. We're never going to shut this end. This sentence never ends. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to spend any more money on 16 millimeter stock. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad that Un Uninspired left before he saw that because he took oh all these cool sex lessons from the first half of this. Yes, show yes, it's and not the second half. Yeah, no, this is not. This is not going to be helpful for you, sir. <laughs> Don't worry, I will subject him. Those group sections could have used the Winnebago man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a little bit more passion. <laughs> well, wow, my goodness. Uh, uh, now, 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 I, I, I think I don't want to have sex for like the next couple of months after watching <laughs> that shit. Jesus Christ! Well, I'm not going to do it with you. That's this, this video make my dick soft. <laughs> Anaconda malt liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, you know, um, we were watching a movie with Klaus Kinski, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh. I saw uh, a film called Nosferatu in Venice, which is like an unofficial sequel to Nosferatu, where, like, I guess Kloskinski really wanted to do the vampire thing again. So he makes another movie, and it is like beyond fucking terrible and it apparently has like seven different directors including Kluskinski himself. That's because he with, killed the other six. <laughs> <laughs> with his cock. Or a gun or a knife depending, you know, it certainly threatened Werner Herzog with. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. We've got Badgers. Mm. There's energy for you. Uh, Vampire Mush in Venice. Room, mushroom. Vampire in Venice gets for five point two on IMDb, which is at least two points more than the uh, the film we actually watched. Yeah, yep. really? yep. yeah. Very unfair. Nosferatu okay. in Venice is a terrible, terrible film. <laughs> I think I think uh, Million Eyes of Samuru was uh, review bombed. Oh yeah, it must have been. It's a great film. It's yeah. obviously. A conspiracy. Yes. Well, I give it ten. That's it. I love gonna, that movie. We're gonna bomb it the other way. Everyone listening, all four of you. <laughs> <laughs> right after this, name <laughs> TV. <laughs> we'll see you there. We will crush them under our might. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if we can't, the sad thing is, there's probably only three fucking reviews for Subaru <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So that's exactly what's going to happen. Whoa. All, all of them from this panel. <laughs> there was that one ass cloud that gave it a 3.6, and he's got to go down. What Thank a jerk. Uh, <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting close to the end. Uh, the French. What happened here? Uh, a question we've been asking ourselves for the last hour. Yeah, I feel mm -hmm. like you're you're basically the historian of the future when you say that. Wow, <laughs> that feels impressive somehow. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. What happened here? Atom Brada Nikto. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> what? The past can be uncomfortable, Adam. You've already demonstrated that. Right. Oh my God. No fate but the one we make. Jesus Christ. You guys have no idea what I go through backstage. You have no idea. Jesus is not here, Mrs. Thorne. We have some idea what we go through on stage. 
Windows 11 sucks balls. No, really. You're just coming to this conclusion. No, I'm not just. I'm reinforcing it. Oh, oh. Uh, do, 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 do. Really? We needed someone from the future to come back and tell us that. That's the best you can give us? If Vex was here, we would do the lesbian thing. Mm-hmm. Charity did it while she was watching uh, Samuru. <laughs> Son of a bitch. There were a lot of young Debs that uh that got turned out in that movie. Look, I will make you watch Yum Yum Hot Dogs. Uh, here we go. Ooh. Oh, that's me. Oh, God, not again. Yeah, the eagle from the Muppet Show. Oh, oh boy. Europeans pay no mind. I had, I, to watch this, I had to watch this on Stupenzo stream. I've been oh, basting gosh. for 24 hours. So I'm ready. I'm Bill Johnson. Around here, they just call me Dad. I've been well, trying I'm to free, read, Johnson. but I just can't seem to do it. Thanksgiving Day. We Johnsons had a Thanksgiving. The best we we've ever Johnsons. had. We jumped in the What made it better was a feeling, a pipe rack. real feeling of thankfulness. That's a pipe rack. And that's odd, too, when you consider the shape things were in when I got home from work yesterday. <laughs> My personal My kids, shape. Dick and Tommy and Susan were all home from school. Mm-hmm. And of course, Mother and the baby Dick, were there. Dick Johnson. His kids were. Really? Yeah. Mine were living yeah. tomorrow, right? Little along Dick with Johnson. Dave, looking right. forward to Thanksgiving. <laughs> His brother, enormous. Like most men, <laughs> I'm glad it was mother instead of me who had to break the news to them. We're too big. Sorry, we're broke. Medical experiments for the lot of you. <laughs> you get nothing. And dressing and pie and cake. And fruit salad and whipped cream and cranberries. Gee. I can it all sounds so boring. <laughs> well, you know, children. We've had a lot of expenses this month, and uh, it's just nice to see acting thought. again after what we just subjected <laughs> ourselves to. <laughs> actual emotion. Is, wow. The context. This, year. this no is a well, comparatively. We'll have plenty to eat, but <laughs> yep, Barbara well, got we'll it. just have to get along without turkey. Mom, She's blaming it all on Joe. She said the sheriff is near. <laughs> Yeah, kids love dry ass turkey. Yeah. They're getting a little bit of a children of the corn right on these three. That I came in. They're gonna right in the definitely kill their parents and eat them or something. If only the little Joe's Hello, testicle had dropped on its own, we wouldn't Jake, have had Susan? to get that operation. But instead, well, what's been Thanksgiving going on is here? ruined. What's the matter it's with everybody Christmas. anyway? Mom says we're not going to have any your surgery. No turkey, no good thing. A fat lot oh, we're going to have to be thankful for. <laughs> Look at oh, Dad. I don't think you kids really mean that. We do too. We've always he looks had like I feel. Yeah, yes, he's about to go out for cigarettes. Have it this year. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've always had it, just as a lot of Americans have had it, and we'll keep on. I would it. too. Oh yeah, let me run out and Thanks. get the turkey. Woo! <laughs> <American laughs> <American laughs> go out. But what you kids are saying makes it sound as if the turkey is the only thing we had to be thankful for. Well, gee whiz, no, Dad. It's not that at all. Well, I, I get the impression he comes home to this kind of attitude every day. I think he, at this stage, he probably just keeps the engine running. So well he doesn't know why he comes in. He's, he's earned that hairline. <laughs> well, we know it'll mean no, a lot more to us. That's for rubbing his head. The shit well, sure. out of his head. Exactly. He's, he's earned it. We're still a lot better off in the pill. That's it, Dick. We have a house cat. We don't need to say. Even as old as Tun has been rubbing his shit out of his head. And his wife. God damn. And out of those what a bunch of masterful of head rubbers they all are. <laughs> I'm not sure where this man learned his history. We All the freedoms and privileges the pilgrims gave us. Now, I don't think that's how that works. You've got the idea, but it isn't something you can write down. You know, when the pilgrims wrote the Constitution and fought the Revolutionary War. you down deep before you can really be thankful for anything. i tell you what let's do. And let's take a little more time to think this over. When you get right down to it, there are some pretty tough decisions in making up your mind what means the most to you. That's right. Your life? For sure. Instant. That's one thing you can't get along without. But do you know that there are some places in the world today you where don't you have to get along without just about everything sustenance. else? You don't use that to Golly, Daddy. And if you didn't know that, if you keep whipping up, you're going to find out. But I'll bet you one thing. 
if we really think over what we have to be thankful for, when we sit down to whatever mother fixes to eat tomorrow, we'll be one family what in America fuck that is will he really wearing? have a Thanksgiving dinner. And if I'll bet another well, thing, it's this entire it apartment on the Johnsons the didn't have any turkey. <laughs> and the kids, no, I mean everybody, likes to make something special out of a special day. And the kids so we are the turkeys. As old as the pilgrims, <laughs> Let's carve them up. up the common <laughs> we roast the baby because it was the most tender. <laughs> that night, I'd see Dick there building his model airplane and Susan just playing. My Only only was just was waiting so long. They but I came in and said, over, you know, Susan, if we didn't get that paper doll book, we could have had a fucking turkey. <laughs> mother and Tom and baby Janet. And yes, me too. Uh, nice direction, uh, Dick. We had our eyes open oven. for the first time. Seeing all the things there were to appreciate in just any ordinary day in America. Will you stop talking? I'm trying to read the paper. When Thanksgiving Day got here, we took our places around well, Black the table. Black Lives got a winner. And then, well, we all knew it. There are some things you just can't say. But everybody in his own way knew what he like had Negro. to be thankful for. And that this was the time to think about it. Tom was first. I am thankful for getting plenty to eat all the time, with extras that count, like cookies and milk after school. Like Mom says, I'm hungry all the time anyway, and if I didn't live in a country where there was plenty to go around, golly. And I'm thankful for the free public library, where I can get books about adventure. Jack London, Richard Halliburton. Gee, the way they tell a story is as good as being there yourself. And Holy it's shit, free, this changes with only everything. a library card. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna do this yes, podcast Tommy anymore. Thought about some of the things he ought to be I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna get a library card. And somehow turkey and trimming <laughs> seemed to be a whole lot less than he thought they did yesterday. Well, then it was Susan's turn. Susan's a happy go lucky kid. You'd never credit her. The narration will be done dog, by Harrison Ford. Right into the yeah. spirit of it. <laughs> Fucks around a lot. Snooski, that's what my ex-wife called me. Cold Though fish. Mother says it's hard to keep up with us. We grow so fast. <laughs> Black life is on a roll. <laughs> many clothes it takes for all kinds of weather. I'm grateful how for believing you. To do without the right ones. I'm glad to be able to go to Sunday school or go to any church I want any Sunday. I'm thankful for my mother and daddy that they are here with us that both of them aren't too worried about things to take time to have fun with us. I'm glad we're a family, that families are still important in America. Whatever. Glad for dads. I guess please. Dick, being the oldest, was having some pretty serious thoughts. <laughs> I like I getting a job. Tell me about it. able to get an education, for living where schools, all schools, open their doors to a guy who wants to learn, where school books are studied instead of burned, for living in a town large enough for an alternative and community bookstore. Is by how well it teaches him. <laughs> for reaching the I age where I can be, be called play, Richard. <laughs> banging a ball around once in a while. Stuff like that. I'm we all like banging the ball around growing up in America. <laughs> sure. And I'm thankful Maybe that Mom hasn't found young that young special to sock. understand the big word Thanksgiving. She's too little even to tell us the things that make her happy. I'm we thankful for diarrhea. Maybe she's, <laughs> maybe she's thinking about the fun of splashing around in the tub. I'm thankful I don't have to change my own diapers. To be clean. <laughs> about oh, playtime with mother and the man. security she feels in mother's arms. And as for God, mother, it's like a nesting doll. Seems she's always working, uh, I'm cooking, thankful for ironing, but... tending children, daylight to dark. What does she have to be thankful for? Certainly not him. I'm thankful that my children have the privilege of being born safely and of growing up healthy and strong. I'm thankful that I have the privilege of guiding them as they become useful men and women. And that I got that tubal ligation. And I'm thankful for all the things our American system mine. makes possible for the Smiths and the Browns and the Johnsons. I want that washing like machine. Damn it. Washing machines hot I'm water out of a tap and a telephone to call the doctor when one of the family is sick. Hello? A car to There's get dad to work. Give me the doctor. Yes, what a privilege. I'm thankful yeah. for all the things free people thankful working for together coats and all produce. the things they cover. 
<laughs> I'm thankful that when my neighbor drops until in I don't want them covered, hour, we've got the right to talk about anything we want to. The parent teacher project, <laughs> the new mayor, or, or Jane Jones hat. And last of all, I'm truly thankful for, for the peace of mind that dad's job brings. And for what order, that, even though there are lots of luxuries we can Miss afford, Studebaker. There still will always yeah, so be man. enough to go around uh, for the things we have to do. How we do we like to invest I'm in a plane? Dad doesn't work slave hours. All right. Well, I cleaned all your poop. Want, I want I want that Ray Bestus brake linings uh, cap that he has. <laughs> That's mother for you. Grateful for what America means to her family. Rattling on and on about and nothing. Now for me. I've got so many things to be Look, thankful for. Let's not. Uh, I don't want to talk I'm about it. It may need a coat of paint. Hammers, it has uh, a mortgage, legitimate. but it's ours. A place where we can be together in privacy. And I'm thankful for the thing that makes this house our home. Yeah, the happiness no. here. Not mm -hmm. just today or on Christmas morning, but on a day-to-day -day basis all through the year. As a father, I'm thankful for... For knowing that a knock on our door means nothing to fear. You might be eating that wallpaper. Or maybe a bill collector or a kid selling magazines. You never know what to expect, but you can count might on be one my thing. Bookie. It's I didn't not expect going the to be IRS. Some political gangster coming to drag one of us off to jail because we believe in freedom. <laughs> oh, I, the old days. I'm glad that that freedom Where are we we've going? Let me choose the kind of work I like. Actually, do, do expect the IRS to Taking a sluggish motor and making it hum again makes me feel that somebody got to his work automotive or he had to go just because I'm thankful of me. for the free hat I got like at Waffle that House. gives me a lot of satisfaction. <laughs> and I'm thankful for my newspaper. Just a few cents worth of printer's ink and paper, but more oh, valuable yeah. than any amount of money. Because in it, the editor's got the privilege of printing what he thinks. My I've nickel got the is worth of propaganda. agreeing with him or not. However, the and I'm thankful for me. the God above us who took my hair and just both to of be us, the editor and I, <laughs> have the right to act on our opinions on election day, to vote for the principles we believe in. And finally, I'm thankful for being able to believe, in spite of everything, that somehow, someway, the unity we've got here in the Johnson family will someday spread to men and Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Nations throughout the world. <laughs> for all and also, I'm things, thankful for the hunger. Truly and starring Susan Sarandon and David <laughs> Bowie. David Bowie, supporting role. Who's hot? Cow House, soundtrack. <laughs> oh, man. God damn it. How lovely seeing all those Johnsons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice proud to be an American, <laughs> where at least I know I'm free. Fuck, man. Don't forget. And we were thankful to have that dirt. And we were grateful for walking uphill both ways to school. Exactly. And sometimes we ate sand. You ate sand. We ate sand. <laughs> One time Jeez. I thought. I'll make my own cry, Daddy. You bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for uh, celebrating the holidays with uh, B-roll. I am profoundly grateful for B-roll. Jesus. More than anybody here, I think I'm very Yes, I, I think that you... Well, no. I, I think that's my story. More than anybody here, Jethro is thankful for B-roll. <laughs> it does me all. Listen. For now, listen. Listen. Wow. It has been a very fun night, but we should wrap it up. We're closing in on five hours. Holy shit. Do my Ted Nugent voice just for you. Five yeah. hours? I think you mean four. 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 Well, four fifteen. Look, listen. No, listen. No, listen. You know, as a as a as a time traveler from the future, Adam often gets confused with reading the clock and understanding what's yeah. going on. I often get confused just going to the bathroom. 
I, I have been to the teacher one hour in advance, and I've come back to let you know. Yes, you should go ahead and close the show. <laughs> <laughs> you close it, you bastard. <laughs> Look, we had a great feature tonight. We had it a- was wonderful, man. Really- I really dug the hell out of like the visuals, everything going on in that movie, and you could tell like it is kind of a mishmash, you know, like I am from here. Borderline offended that you don't know the million knives of Subaru. I know that is uh, a cold. and and I have I have rid I have ridden in a Subaru, you know. Oh, Fiona, don't be full. had all wheel drive. <laughs> he has drank himself sober, a miracle of first order. Uh, I'm about to drink myself sober. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck the holidays. Yeah. Jeez. I have no patience. Who needs just three sheets? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, the French. The rest, the rest of us oh. are the extras. The rest of us are the extras. Adam is the Orson Welles of this dream. <laughs> I am basically holding my bottle. <laughs> I am dancing in the background. And this fucking smile plastered to my face the whole time. All right. Well, that's where we're going to go out, folks. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching the replay. Subscribe, okay. Patreon. Subscribe, Patreon. Please. Give us a like. Give us an interaction. Turn camera. Marks. 102, take one. <laughs> With overlap, action fees. The start of every episode. Action awesome, please. Just do anything? <laughs> Just no, do anything? Sorry, okay. uh, yeah, right. uh, 102, take two. Thank you, Eraser. Ah, the French <laughs> champagne <laughs> has always every been celebrated for its excellence. <laughs> there is a California champagne by Paul Masson, oh, inspired man. by that same French excellence. It's fermented in the bottle, and like the best French champagne, it's vintage dated. So, poor my son. Mm. One, two, take three. Uh, Action, please. Uh, 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 champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. I feel so bad for the secondary actors. Like, they're trying so hard. Is it going to find a champagne friend? Poor Mass. They're working with Lawson Wells. Have you guys ever gone and watched that, that same that, French the excellence? It's fermented. Oh, yeah, I grew up watching like this. French yeah. Champagne they used like, vintage dated. They used like one so second. So, Paul Masson. So- mm-hmm. They yeah. used like one second from what you're seeing in the oh, commercial. God. It's so like, good. There's no like, there's no like audio sync up with Orson Welles at all. They cut the shit out of that, dude. Oh yeah. Well, you see what they're working with. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They're just like, okay, well, this, this is or- Orson Welles in this commercial is Winnebago Bagel Man without the good taste, <laughs> without the, the cred. I have never like I cannot imagine what they walked away with from Winnebago Man. You know, like what, what, what do they have? Somebody walked away with all those uh, extra cuts and uh, made yeah. himself a nice little video. Yeah, yeah. It traveled 14 million views. Hold on, hold on. Or 1.4. Well, it, you know it what? Started out, it started. The numbers mean nothing to me. You know, he just like, made the VHS and, and handed it around. Than the simple it's act of people getting together. Good. We know a remote farm in Lincolnshire where Mrs. Buckley lives. Every July, peas grow there. Do you really mean that? I, yeah, so in other words, I'd, I'd start half a second late. Don't you think you really want to say July over the snow? Isn't that the fun of it? It's, it if, you go, if you make it almost when that shot disappears, it'll make my... I think it's so nice that, that you see a snow-covered field and say every July, peas grow there. <laughs> we know a remote farm in Lincolnshire where Mrs. Buckley lives. Every July, peas grow there. We aren't even in the fields. You I actually think he's right. <laughs> We're talking about him growing, and she's picked him. Yeah, that's oh, got a good point.
This motherfucker has you. words when he was, doesn't even need. <laughs> when we get out of that motherfucker done fucked up out, the words. We were onto a and I wrote them. Why are there two yes, of you going there? I don't want any more shit that. during the day. Yes. Well, that's about where I say No more July. bullshit during the day. In, in July. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Sorry. Um, There's no known way of saying an English sentence in which you begin a sentence with in and emphasize it. Get me a jury and show me how you can say in July. <laughs> and go down on you. That's just <laughs> idiotic. <laughs> forgive me if I say so. That's just stupid. In July, I'd love to know how you. I wish Orson had been running those sex uh, encounter groups. <laughs> Impossible, <laughs> meaningless. I think we'll be a lot more fucking. They didn't want to. He isn't thinking. Orson, can we just do one last? Yeah. Week? And it was my fault. I should. I said in July. If you can leave every July. You didn't say it. He said it. Your friend. Every July. Every July. Butt plug. So no, you don't really mean every July. It is. No, that's but that's a that's no, bad copy. It's in July. Of course, it's every July. It's too much directing around here. What? Too much what? Direct. Can I have just one more take of that? Why? I just did it right. <laughs> Who are you look, talking I, I'm not to used to having now? more than one person in there. One more word out of you, and you go. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I take well, I take directions from one person under protest. But from two, I don't sit still. But who the hell are you, anyway? <laughs> well, why the hell are you asking me for another one? Well, I thought there was a slight bonk, and I would like just like to be safe. Jesus. <laughs> what is a gonk? Do you mind telling me what that is? Uh, a bang from outside. A bang from outside. Oh. Norway. Fish fingers, no, fenders, no. <laughs> We know a certain fjord in Norway, near where the cod gather in great shoals. That's me at the grocery Jan store every Stangeland. fucking time. Shit. A fraction more on the on that shoals thing, because you roll it around very nicely. Yeah, roll it around, and I have no more time. You don't know what I'm up against, <laughs> because it's full of, of of things that are only correct because they're grammatical, but they're tough on the ear. You see, uh, this is a very wearying one. It's unpleasant to read. Unrewarding. She had the full calendar. Because Findus freeze the card at sea and then add a crumb crisp, cool crumb crisp coating. <laughs> ah, that's tough, crumb crisp coating. <laughs> I think, no, because of the way. I don't know why I find that so funny, but the crumb crisp. Yeah, yeah. Coating. Is it is pretty scary. I, I love the I love the fact that Orson Welles, the 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 animator, rolls his eyes up like he's thinking about eating something that has crumb crisp coating. It's written. You need to break it up because it's not it's, it's not as conversationally right. written. It's not right. What? Take, Ooh, what crumb right. Take crumb out. Good. No, it's like great nuts. Here on this protein. And I'm a big fan of alliteration. But that is just like crumb Chris, crumb Chris, crumb Chris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do not want to be say. drinking. You don't drink before that take. That's a that's a post. Uh... This man created Citizen Kane. Crumb <laughs> Chris coating. Yes. Burgers. We know a little place in the American Far West where Charlie Briggs chops up the finest prairie-fed beef and tastes. This is a lot of shit. You know that. <laughs> Well, the fucker has words in here. You, you missed the first beef actually completely. What do you mean, and, missed and it? You're emphasizing prairie fed. But you can't emphasize beef. That's like he's wanting me to emphasize you can't in emphasize before beef. Come on, fellas, you're I losing think your head. That all along. I wouldn't direct any living actor like this in Shakespeare. Well, you do this. It's impossible. Austin, awesome. you did six last year, and by far and away the best. And I know the the reason. The right reading for this is the one I'm giving it. At the moment, I spent. 20 times more for you people than any other commercial I've ever made. You are such pests. <laughs> now, what is it you want? Like In flies. Depths of your ignorance. What is it you want? Whatever it is you want, I can't deliver because I just don't see it. That was absolutely fine. <laughs> you, you can't listen to it. No money. <laughs> We're done with you. We're done with you. That is kind of <laughs> absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Loved right. it. Loved it. I'm I'm feeling festive, so uh, I mean Barry White would have been able to deliver those lines. <laughs> All right, look, we're gonna go out on something that is probably gonna get a copyright strike. Join us every Friday, Saturday, and copyright. Oh shit! 
Did we do uh, in July? Uh, Super Thunder Sting Car last week, or did we not? That because this is amazing, and I feel like Smilex, you put this up. Does not sound familiar at all, dude. This is amazing. Um, is there anyone here that doesn't know the Thunderbirds and Jerry? Oh, right, yeah. No, I know the Thunderbirds. <laughs> no. Oh, oh the my fucking god, puppet guy. <laughs> Right. I, I think I thought you might appreciate this one. <laughs> oh my god, it is so good. This is um, a whole America, fuck yeah, whatever that movie is. Yeah, Team America. <laughs> Team America, but it's all based on Jerry Anderson. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. We might get shut off, but I think this is a good way to go out. All right. <laughs> remember, remember. Yeah, I'm going to no uh, If we get shut off, we get shut off. I'll see you next week. Why is this big? Excellent. Gary Scavala. So this is uh, Dudley Moore and... Peter Cook. What? Yeah, Peter Cook. Yeah. And Dudley Moore. Parliament will be blown to smithereens. Yeah. And as Drew Gordon would eight. <laughs> Meanwhile, hot. in Cox Internet, hot. Topic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's no hot yeah. hail. That's not even my panel. Hot percent agree. Excellent. Oh, he's jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> I, for one, am glad I hate England and all the people. <laughs> <I know. laughs> We got away with yeah. it. Hooray. Well, I mean, like, like, let's face it. Like, it's just it's the the epicenter of uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, colonization, well, and uh, you know, like, it should be destroyed. The brilliance of doing a live-action uh, Thunderbirds. Oh, my yeah, God. I'm in love with that. No, it, no, it, no, Fiona. We did not just see this. That was deja vu. That happens a lot yeah. when Adam is time traveling. Um, did you want to see the anti-homosexuals movie? Because it means have... nothing. Alcohol's not involved. So we have no, a lot I am not the one criticized. I, I do not deserve yeah. Sid Davis. So. You can't decide if we have seen... Just, just, just make Fiona watch Sid Davis. You know, target you the, uh, the stream. You don't, always see, you don't always see the... You don't know what we have seen. <laughs> you okay? You said I how you drunk. You seen no. what I have seen. No, you're talking hey, about I'm drunk. Okay. I I call you. Andrew. Why have you known I've been on the internet? There's a emphasis in me. Listen. Oh, listen. <laughs> Y'all are things. a mess. I'm fine. <laughs> yum Let's yum it's a the... meal in itself our all meat super dog enjoy one now finally a film I can relate to well certainly some pickup lines I've used <laughs> Jesus Christ this is my only fans <laughs> what a mess uh okay well no one else has any shorts Jethro, no, we're all we're all going commando uh, on this stream. Uh, Jethro, you put a link in the uh, in the private chat. Did we show it? Yeah, oh, that was no. Winnebago man. Just Winnebago man. Okay, all right. And well, and there's Beaver, Beaver, Beaver. I haven't done that yet. Beaver, Beaver. I mean, that, that is an appropriate follow up to Yum Yum. It's a meal in itself. Our all meat super dog. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. I think I can do this. Oh my God. I, I, I tried to call it something else and I was corrected. Cover and for it. Smilex has snoozed on this one. I'm sure it's not Beaver, Beaver, Beaver. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. Badger, Badger, man. Badger, Badger, Badger. Badger, Badger, Badger. Sure badger, badger. It's 20, 20 years of old. That Do it, yeah. <laughs> now, I worked in a phone bank. And uh, I worked in a phone bank in the Midwest because apparently, like, at the time, people felt like people who lived in the Midwest. Yeah, the lack of accent. There was so lack many. Lack of uh, accent. 
telemarketers that were set up in our area. Well, it's not just that. It the weird thing is that uh like Columbus, Ohio in particular was a a very heavy target for uh demographic marketing because the the uh uh demographics of Columbus were very much in line with the whole country. So there was a lot of marketing testing in Columbus. Also Used to be a swing state. Yeah. Also, the home. The swinger of, state. All right. Hey. Used to be a swinger state. Publisher's Clearinghouse. Every day's in. Yeah. The, the sales of fish bowls in Columbus was through the roof as compared to the rest of the nation. So, once, just for shits and giggles, <laughs> I was there late at night and I put all the computers on badgers 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 and i stood <laughs> back and i watched it for a while and i liked it i liked it a lot mm. well that counts for something yeah, yeah. we uh it was, we used to uh, it was, it was mess- really fun it was really fun to see 30 fucking screens all doing badgers 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 no, we we used to mess with people by making their new uh their new email sound or the hamster dance yeah. Scenes today as internet antique Badger 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 celebrates 20 years of being and a new version is released. Wow. Wow. Thanks, I hate it. Yeah, me too. Uh, featuring the original cast of the animation, but motion captured so we don't have to look at old things. <laughs> <laughs> the original piece made uh, in flash. Remastered <laughs> Lucas <laughs> across the globe. I've never seen that movie before. <laughs> Eventually becoming a successful horror series on the Time Life Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Joined today by Mr. Weevil, granddad of the yeah. internet. <laughs> hey, white guy, if you will. Granddad of the internet. Fine. <laughs> 20 years ago today, you made a thing. Yes, a whole thing. And you're very famous for making that thing. I mean, fairly famous. And yet some might say you stole the idea from an old 8-bit computer demo called MosesOnDope.exe. N- no. And that version's actually better, isn't it? What are we doing? What, <laughs> what has happened to this chat? I'm not sure. Well, we're, just having, <laughs> we're just having a great fucking time, and I'm sorry you guys, if you don't recognize it. God damn it. Maybe. Isn't Wait. it? Yes. Let's have a look at today's newspapers, shall we? That's, That's just true. a bunch of shapes and colors. You're just a bunch of shapes and colors. Is that a uh, legitimate Damn. actor? Who is oh, that? I think that's him. Oh, I do man. think that's the man. Uh, yeah, it's, it's him. Who knows? Just how deep does this badger hole go? Cave <laughs> <laughs> <Game> painting. <laughs> badger, badger. <laughs> All right. All Why right. is Brian all May right. thanked in that? Clearly a sequel. Uh, he's um he's a big conservationist and he has an awful lot of to do with um, badger rights badger. in the UK. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> badger rights. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here's a question. Did, did, not we know watch, did, it, by the way. did we watch Arcade Attack last episode? Because I was blacked out hours before that. Did we watch it? Uh, I believe I found, a, I, I found the link for it. In we Sony, talked but about I don't it. think we used it. Oh, we talked about it, but I'm, I definitely pass out if we did. Okay, it. so we didn't watch it. No. Anybody in the chat? Okay. Well, I cut it down to uh the best part of it not knowing if we had watched it 
<laughs> One moment, please. Please silent while I find this file. Does does this also involve motion capped uh, badgers? Did oh, you so. say be silent? <laughs> Did what he say silent? As far as you know. I wasn't no. sure if he said silent or if he was like, it's okay, talk amongst yourselves, or if he said be quiet. He said, he said enjoy the silence, so why well, don't you go ahead and perform what, that, that for us? What? What? Yeah, enjoy the silence, so you perform that for us now. Look, Jethro, you've known me for 30 years. I would never be sarcastic. Ending it. Cover for me. my pretty little girl. Got creepy. Holy shit! If you watch, if you watch the badger thing for long enough, it does become slightly hallucinogenic. I refuse. I think if you, if, you, if you give it a good sort of 25 minutes on the loop. <laughs> mm. uh, the stripper thing, okay, I tried. I tried. I cut it down to like three minutes. The uh, amenid, uh, amenid, uh, amenid, uh, mushroom, mushroom. where the girl takes her skin off and uh, none of it passed through copyright. I cut it down to like 40 seconds, still. It's, a, it's an Empire film. Mm-hmm. Right? I, don't, I don't know what that means. So, so you're saying that Grand Moff Parkin owns the uh, copyright on it? No. Um, Grand the Moff Emperor Moff himself? Moff. The Emperor himself has this? Grand Charles Moff Parkin. Charming uh, full, to the last. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what file was that like? Full Moon Entertainment, dude. Uh, Charles Band. Oh, he, he, he really. Do, holds- do we need, do we need like a, a breathalyzer unlock for the stream? So that, you, know, you can't, you can't actually show a video unless you blow in and, and the, and the read, readout is uh, below a certain. What good alcohol. would that do? Well, it might help the, uh, the, the chat. I, 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 I don't think the audience cares. Oh. Uh, what good would you do? I legitimately forgot what it is. It's my for. stream. <laughs> Don't you forget? Jesus <laughs> there are people watching us watching this, and it blows my mind that that is a thing. It is. Absolutely. I'm right. not sure there's anybody watching us at this point. That's that's no well, uh, okay, that's fair. I have tried really hard to talk about I mean, Jam, Jamma's already demanded a refund because he was <laughs> promised beavers and he got badgers. He oh got, no, we were gonna watch uh arcade attack. He got, he got badgers. Son of a but he wanted oh. beavers, that was what it was promised. I mean, we, we could be facing a lawsuit now for false vamp, advertising. Vamp, vamp. Hang on, getting there. Uh, go ahead, Jethro. Uh, go ahead and give us the rest of the greatest of the eighties. Yes, um, twenty years of badgers. No, we uh, we had that. I'll I'll make you watch Gravity again. Uh, Who's gonna drive you home? I hope it's none of the people on this stream. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh shit! We can only have ten videos in the. Whole you time. can't go. Right, well, there we go. Maybe exceeded our capacity. Thank you. <laughs> this motherfucker fucked up the words and the, and the videos. Wrong. Pork pie. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, Let's go to home. <laughs> <laughs> It really is being on stream with Orson Welles. We didn't watch We talked about it a lot. Oh, yeah. So this was shown a lot. On HBO, HBO, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a filler thing. 
but it is a part of a uh, 20 minute uh, film that is a documentary about like a a personal guy's pinball museum or whatever and he had a uh, you know, his own collection of machines and he showed it off and whatever. And it ends in this. So this is the prequel to Pixels. Sure. Prequel, man. Go ahead and look at it. Folks. I love the fake Sinistar. I like the combination of live action and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're using so many of the Sinistar sound effects for that. And they're incorporating real backdrops for pinball, like, I mean... Yeah. Smashing through the glass and all that. Those are real pinballs. It's an amazing collection. <laughs> yeah, that's like a real well, that, nice collection. Incredible. What you see, I feel like what you see, yeah. Stargate. Roland Embrick will save you. Roland Emmerich, power up! Somebody got a TR-808. They remind me of rock and roll. Thundar, the Barbarian. Watch out, it's Capcom. They can't sue us because they have to sue Peacock first. Dude, I love Rampage. Oh my god. This is before Rampage.
pretty good animation. Not bad. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Reminds me a lot of uh, Ralph Bakshi. Yeah, it does have a Bakshi vibe, doesn't it? <laughs> you know that. Heavy one. metal uh, Bakshi. Yeah. 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 Wish I could ride a silver ball away from all of life's problems. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Tron. Me lucky charms. MCP has had enough of your shit. Yeah. Your pixel hated. That's fair. Yeah. Legit assessment. All right, one more. Yeah, that was not great. So, so, so was that an allegory about how the video game is killing pinball? Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Right. On, yeah. One more, and we're done. Focus. Oh. Focus Clearly. the picture and adjust the sound level. Feel the Clearly, we know what's happening the here. Do not rewind after the last showing. Return all oh, film parts the around tits. the proper reel. Thank you. Now there's a globe that spins. Sometimes, if we are observant, we may learn something from nature herself. You immediately know this what is Mary uh, Jane. State this she is watching the sunset. She God, wonders so what cute. makes the sun set. She decided to ask her father. Father, what makes the sunset? Asked Mary Jane. I like my men like I like my coffee. I'm afraid I don't know, said Father. A plastic cup. Mother is in the kitchen preparing supper. <laughs> Why don't you ask her? Tobacco comes from a garden hose, right? Or is it, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. All right, let's go back to cleaning car. It's me in real life. Mother, said Mary Jane, what makes the sun set? He's a dog. Well, I've been cleaning so much pudding. I don't know, said Mother. Maybe your big sister could tell you. I think she may be occupied. So Mary Jane asked Big Sister. My favorite part. <laughs> Do you know what makes the sun set? Asked Mary Jane. That's what but I Big Sister was too busy to answer. More armpit action. I'm fine with you. I'll ask <laughs> Great Grandmother, thought Mary Jane. She's seen lots of sunsets. Oh, not well, recently, but she knows. Black lives. <laughs> it doesn't smell so good. Great grandmother asked Mary Jane. <laughs> what makes this <laughs> sun set? <laughs> Nothing to say, eh? <laughs> I love. Dude. The presentation of this, I love how yeah. how well it's framed in the whole industrial educational thing. It's amazing. <laughs> the the uh, musical the, cues in this one little bit with the the grandmother, you know. <laughs> but great grandmother didn't say. It's pure psycho. There was still one more person Mary Jane could ask. Ask Big Sister again. <laughs> so mad. The very next day, Mary Jane stayed after again. school.
Perhaps her teacher would know what makes the sun set. <laughs> I love this guy. This guy's great. <laughs> Perhaps. So his alphabet chart only goes to T. Yeah. <laughs> it's Look, there's been a lot of budgetary it. cuts. Who gives a shit about those last few letters? <laughs> well, Mary Jane was so excited about her new discovery that she almost forgot to say, Fuck Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, said the teacher. And fuck you too. And fuck you. Let's learn more about gravity. There's this is the shortage. Carl LaFong Foundation for Gravitational Research. Inside, a team of expert scientists is hard at work, night and day, exploring the various functions <laughs> of gravity. <laughs> Director yeah. of the project is the world-famous Dr. Thornton Waxman. I never Dr. Waxman agreed that. to show Mary Jane around the laboratory. <laughs> there, That's Mary Jane thing. saw some of the complicated experiments these dedicated scientists perform every day. There has to be grips and filmmakers or producers in this team. I love that guy. Dr. Waxman even let Mary Jane look in the big microscope. She saw that gravity is the chemical compound GR12, which tends to pull objects down like the sun. Uh-huh. Then Dr. Waxman revealed a startling new discovery. <laughs> there is a serious <laughs> gravity shortage. Very cool. <laughs> yes, scientists all over the world have recently discovered that the Earth's supply of gravity is not an unlimited resource. Careful experiments have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Earth is running out of gravity. This is not a matter of conjecture, but an indisputable fact, or so the theory goes. It's science. You can help. But our friendly scientists can't do this job alone. It's up to all of us to participate in a gravity <laughs> conservation program. And here to tell us what we can do is Jiminy Gravity. Uh-huh. Hi, kids. You know, there's there a girth shortage. We can help take some of the strain <laughs> off of our tire. We're saying it help. Gravity. That's what my wife tells me. There's a gravity <laughs> shortage. We ought to do whatever we can. Like always carry a helium balloon So when you walk down that road You can lighten your load There's a gravity shortage Let's conserve our reserve for a while Go take everything down off of the shelves And never sit on chairs Let's lose weight to lighten ourselves And always stay downstairs there's a gravity shortage, and yeah. the ending's depending on. Let me see those balloons. Don't think it's the past you guys. Is depending on you. Yes, Jiminy is right. All learn if the we all pitch in and work <laughs> together, we can surely lick this problem. Yep. We need our gravity, be it at home, at church, or at school. For not only is gravity an important part of life in America, it is also an important part of our American way of life. That's hey. <laughs> I love the teacher. The teacher's brilliant. He doesn't know gravity. what to do with his hands in that last shot, does he? <laughs> yeah. It's great. <laughs> Fantastic. I am thankful for gravity. Oh, God, you bastards. It's been fun. Yeah, Let's it really it has. And uh, I look forward to this all week. There's yeah, no do. doubt, you know, seven days from now, I'll be super excited to be back. I'll be back and I'll be slurring just as much as you. Well, it's not really slurring, it's speaking in cursive and it's fucking elegant. 
It's not a con- it's not a contest, you know. Like, I don't think you can even tell because I'm from the Northwest. Like I kn- no one I kn- knows. Go, yeah. No go one ahead. knows. That, I, no one I challenge knows everyone right to now. say crumb crisp coating. Crumb <laughs> crisp. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's not cursive. That's slurring. In July, <laughs> peas grow there. It's the crumb crisp coating. <laughs> In holy shit, I almost got there. It's the crumb crisp coating. <laughs> the you know crumb crisp compels you. I feel you. like I did all right. I did all right, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Christ showed up in the middle of yours, so that was. I mean, it was a, it was a miracle of first order. Well, truly, the bullshit, Lord is smiling haircut upon me. guy. Oh my God! Thank you, everyone. Uh, Black lives for sticking around, Chamalema. <laughs> Uh, we appreciate you all. Please, Yay, thank you. Please leave us a tip on Patreon, even if it's just for one month. Give us a couple of bucks. We need it to keep going. The electricity on, the lights on, and all. tell your sex encounter group to subscribe. Debs, rally any Debs yeah. that you get. Make sure that as part of the initiation process, they have to subscribe to B sides. Let's just yeah. say you're wearing Hound's Tooth out in public and someone is like, nice coat. And you're like, you know what to say next. You're going to point him. You see a girl in gingham. You know that she needs to you subscribe. Know, yeah. Well, God bless. Thank you all. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, thank you, uh, Smilex, for staying up at weird hours. <laughs> That's quite all right. I love it. All right. Well, you'll be here every week. We promise. Good night. Good night, everyone. Take care, everybody. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. But don't Please really drive home carefully and didn't. come back again soon. Good night. <laughs> I, mean, I don't give a fuck. You can't decide if I'm a dude. <laughs> 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 <laughs>